1991, birds and people are living together in seemingly perfect harmony. Until one day, a young man catches fire. This is Phoenix. Like a fix, you first in a fire burst. A first in desire, you transform my own bit of flesh. What's up, what's up, dude? Mm -hmm. You first in a fire burst. A first in desire, you transform my own bit of flesh. Who sings that? Who sings it? Phoenix by Netrum. Here. Let's keep it that way. What the? What the fuck? All right, so you didn't want the song to right, I see how it is. I see how it is. Okay. 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 Oh. My voice is beautiful. What my mama told me. What's up, Red? Say good day, Dope. Always doing better. Doesn't even have to be a good day. Doesn't have to be a bad day. As long as I'm always doing better, or as long as you guys are always doing better, that's good enough for me, right? Always doing, trying to do better. Can it be a good day without Mad Dog? Oh, yeah. I actually just, I just took it earlier. I was like, kind of like letting it rest in my mouth, too. It's kind of, it's kind of good. At break. Hopefully the stream doesn't crash today. Some desire. Oh, in the posture, spread your wings and I turn the ashes. Hello, Vertibuck. <clears throat> I wonder if I messed up anybody's stream streak yesterday. Because their stream crashed. <laughs> More like a computer crashed. It's my favorite song. It's my new favorite song right now. We get what we deserve. And we're down we go. go. Holy moly, dude, nice shifty with a 50 stream streak. Oh, God damn it, damn. Yo, I welcome back and appreciate that 50 stream streak, brother. Thank you so much, man. Oh, good Lord. Hmm, excuse my little bit chest. I hope so. How's your stream streak, Vertibalk? Am I ruined it yet? Still waiting to ruin your stream streak, of course.
34, you've been keeping count. Oh, good lad. Yo, it's cooking. It's cooking. It's my favorite. My favorite part's coming up. Guys, 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 listen, listen. Oh, ad break's over. Just in time. Thirty-five's next. Oh yeah, the thirty-five stream sheet is coming out then. Yo, what's up, kid? How's it going, dude? Cheers from Wired. Thanks for streaming, Bulwark. Hey, no problem, dude. Oh, hey. <laughs> Wait, Wired. <clears throat> wired. 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 That's company, right? <laughs> oh yeah, it is the publisher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm streaming above Twitch and YouTube at the same time right now. We just started a stream and whatnot, so we're just gonna let the time cook a little bit, people, so people don't really uh, miss out on some content today. Hey, I appreciate you for stopping by on YouTube, though. Thank you so much. What's up? What's up? Next year should be 35, so we should be able to get that notification of getting 35, right? Is that how it works? Yo, what's up, guys and gals? Oh, yeah, god damn it, dude. Spider Cat's fucking getting to me here now. Uh, what's up, guys? Uh, hope you guys are doing well today. Hello, hello. I love how the dragon is just magically floating here while the ship is, like, waving back and forth. That's kind of hilarious. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! Yeah, I, saw, I was like, wait a minute. That sounds familiar. Uh, you guys did send me two keys, by the way. Just, I just want to point that out. Um... Uh, I think I'll, I'll send back an email to refund one of the keys, but you guys did give me an extra key because uh, I did I did sign up on the um, I did sign up on the the the, the document thing and then you, and then I sent an email, so I, I will have to like uh, send you guys an email because you guys did give me an extra one um, and I don't want it. <laughs> uh, let's take a little look look here. Give me a second. I'm gonna put us up the camp. Give me a second, boys and ladies and gentlemen. There it is. What's up, guys and gals? God damn it, Splatter Cat. I, I, I watch him so goddamn much, because I do get game uh, ideas from him, too. Uh, so I do watch him quite a bit. So now, now he's just rubbing on to me. Hey, yo, no problem, dude. I'm glad to be checking out some uh, Bulwark. Uh, we get to, we had to, we, we, we played the demo yesterday. Uh, and then on stream, I had to, like, ask for a key. I was like, oh, okay, this game is actually kind of uh, interesting. It's interesting, but it's weird. It's something that's out of the norm of how a city builder should be. I just want to point that out. When somebody's going to go into this game, they're going to be like, is this game like Anno 1800 or Anno 2070? Because it gives that vibe since we have a lot of islands sitting about. And then, of course, there's, like, trade routes that you have to protect and all this other stuff. I haven't really gotten that far into the demo because the demo didn't allow me to look at all that content. Hence, so I was like, you know what? Let's, you know, let's ask for a key uh, and check it out full uh, full time. Uh, you, don't, you don't mind me going straight to Scenario 3, by the way, right? Um, I see Scenario 2, Scenario 3. I think Scenario 3 is where gonna all, be the, all, all the funsies he's going to start. Also, you get to play as the Empire. The Imperium. My favorite faction. I love being an Imperium because I'm aggressive that way. Uh, but yes... So, yeah, welcome, guys. Welcome. Uh, just doing some double check here real quick. I mean, last time we played this game, this game didn't really destroy my PC. Thank God for that. I would love to see an FPS meter, of course, like a, a max frame. One thing I don't like having is V-Sync on. Hello, it Mr. What's up, you bastard? What a great start. And now there's a bunch of sevens. What's up, Petsy Cookie? Good morning. What's up, Dropkick Alien? What's up, Digits? It was very sandboxy. I think it's still sandboxy. There's scenarios that you play as, too. Let me take a look at the cost of this game. Because uh, I'm trying to, like, cook up a review here. Is that out yet? Why well, can stream it out? There's an embargo of three hours before the stream. I'm late by an hour and thirty minutes. Uh, we don't we don't know the price of this game yet. You can't. All right, just making sure because last time I um there, there's one time where I streamed the tower defense game and I had the option to play the very last scenario. I clicked on it and then they uh, canceled they, and then they canceled me uh, my contract. I was like, oh, 
Oh, it didn't say anything about me not being able to play, so I had to make sure. <laughs> uh, I mean, we don't really have a contract for this game, obviously, but it's always nice to, uh, you know, it's, it's always nice to ask before I start doing things, especially when the devs are there. Um, that was like a long ass time ago. That's like four days ago and whatnot. Y'all, welcome, guys. Welcome. Uh, so today we're playing a city builder named Bulwark uh, Falconeers Chronicle. It has, I can't really think of another city builder to compare this game to because it has a such a unique layout but there are some flaws from what i've seen in the demo obviously and i wanted to address it as well because again we when we come into a game think of it as like a city builder with tower defense we think of it as a city builder tower defense right um there are some areas that i like to question uh what is the you know the 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 um the challenge not the challenge but the opportunity the mechanics i guess the mechanic the, the 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 reason behind these mechanics um and then what do we get the fun out of it right so this game does offer an extremely an extremely sandbox vibe very similar to a lot of city builders games out there and there's nothing wrong with that obviously but as someone who plays a lot of Anno, as someone who plays a lot of Father's Frontier, someone who plays a lot of like just city builders in general that has survival mechanics or just a regular sandbox city builder, stuff like that, right? And I look at Bulwark and I'm like, okay, I can't really compare this game to any other game because the building system is so unique that not a lot of games follow this type of format. And honestly, I think it's kind of awesome to have that kind of format. It's cool. It's a cool, it's a cool new uh it is it feels refreshing right i think the best part is that it feels so refreshing not having other mechanics but one thing to take in consideration what makes a city builder an actual city builders for the player um we didn't get to answer that question during the demo yesterday because we didn't get that far obviously but we're gonna have that answer today and it's probably gonna be within like the first one hour or two uh this game does focus a lot more towards exploration which i'm really looking forward to because it looks like the main gist is obviously getting a sandbox feel of your city and then exploration exploring the world and see what the world has in store for us it's the same way of saying there will be genocide. Um, yeah. <laughs> flaws, objective flaws. As Every game has a flaw. Gameplay not being clear, having bugs or not being flexible, or are they relative flaws, like you not liking the way they do something? Also, sorry, this is the only way to make sure my messages get sent. Praise be Jeff Bezos. Oh my fucking god. Podgies. Sub at late night, something you want to do. Looking forward to this. Happy to caught the stream. Good, good. See, that's why we're we're stalling. This is why we stall stream. A lot of people ask me why we stalling stream. It's because I don't want people to miss the beginning of the stream. Uh, obviously, we would be jumping in the very final scenario because that's where all the funsies are at. That's where I see the funsies, and I just want to be able to, you know, just fight. I, I'm a fighter. I, I like killing stuff. So war is my middle name. You don't want to play with me in Stellaris. Uh, unique how do you place buildings with right click well the thing is is the way you build your city the way you build your city is revolve around sours and that for a city builder it's kind of interesting to see that we have a city that builds itself right for an arts like for a real-time strategy i say quotation real-time strategy it's not a real-time strategy game it's just that it's in real time it's technically a strategy ish but i guess real time city builder i guess would be a much more explanative way of saying it where you have a city that actually self-function right there's no don't, don't and another thing to keep in mind that we come from a background where we play a lot of survival city builder there's no survival in this just keep that in mind i, I don't see survival in this game at all is it tactical war fried rice or tactical war for rice? Yo, what's up, dude? What's up, Slammer? How's it going, dude? Where's my middle name? It's tactical war rice. <laughs> Is Poe your first name? Poe War? Yes. What about my last? What's 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 my last name? Somebody guess. What's up, Balrogs? Good morning, dude. Calabum. Sari. Hello. Hope you guys are doing well. Happy Tuesday, everybody. My thermal pace is coming in tomorrow. Thank the gods. And then I'm going to just look at my PC like, all right, well, how the fuck do I get rid of the other thermal pace? <laughs> I think you have to do it with like some kind of alcohol, right? You, you use like a Q-tip alcohol and you just rub it, try to rub it off or something. I don't, I don't remember. I'm going to have to look up some Google guys for this stuff uh, before we apply the new thermal pace in. 
for my PC and see if that actually fixed a lot of the issues with the uh, game itself. Uh, not a game, but the computer itself, because we've been getting a lot of crashes to my P uh, stream because my PC was having a meltdown because we've been playing a lot of these these beta tests or these these public tests that literally does not have a cap on their frame rate. So when they don't have a cap on their frame rate, my PC is like, all right, guys and gals, we are going 1,000 frames per second. Overdrive that shit, baby. Did somebody say overload the reactor? Hell fucking yeah, and that's what happens. We just overload the reactor. Use rubbing alcohol? All right, I'm pretty sure my roommate had some of those, so I can probably just take some of that. Uh, just rinse up the paste under uh, under warm water. Oh, so you want me to put my CPU under warm water? I, I, I'll, okay, I'll remember that. I'll, I'll try that. I'll, I'll try it. First thing I'll do is rinse my CPU underneath warm water. Got it. Do not rub alcohol on your high temperature components. I don't trust you to clean off the alcohol well enough for your CPU. It might actually catch fire. Well, we're going to let the CPU dry itself and cool down first, obviously. If you have an NVIDIA card, you can set a global frame rate limit. Oh, I probably I do have an NVIDIA card. So we do have an NVIDIA control panel. So I guess I can do that in the NVIDIA control control panel. You can also microwave it after cleaning it with the uh, water to dry it again. I was going to put it in the oven. I think putting it in the oven and putting it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit is probably good enough for the CPU. Is it, isn't that really healthy for the CPU? I think we'll be fine. It's got to be cold for your CPU. Oh, okay. So we should put hot water then if you let it dry. <laughs> What's up, Pan? How's it going? Dude? Good morning. Uh, You can't actually do that. Wait. You can actually put your CPU underneath warm oh, water. Are you fucking serious? Wait, I was just... Giggity, giggity. I was actually just joking, bro. No, I, 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 was, I was kidding. I'm not gonna put my CPU under warm water. Yo, Drock Sizzles, I appreciate the follow, by the way. Welcome on in. Uh, Storm, uh, let's see, more alcohol always solves my problem. Giggity gig. <laughs> All right, you might as well just drink Everclear at that point, Pizza Cookie. Uh, stick it to the freezer right after it help cools off. Stop the pace of that motherfucker. Slap it hard. Slap the pace. Bruh. I'm gonna put the entire, like, the tube on it, all right? We're, we're not gonna have any leftover. Just slap the entire tube on it. And you know what's funny? Uh, we're gonna slap the water cooler on it, and then it's gonna slide right off. <laughs> it's gonna spread the pace all over the place. I saw the fact that you can put pace on your uh, GPU. I thought that was weird. I was like, you can put pace on your GPU? I'm like, oh, I guess you can. I might have to replace the uh, pace on my GPU too, apparently, uh, too, I guess. Duct tape with face tat? Yo, last time I used duct tape, it killed both my hamster. So I don't I don't think I I think I want to stay away from any tape. Yeah, I try to like see see this little thing right here? I try to close off with their gap in their cage with tape. And they ate the tape. So fuck. I'm still I'm, I'm real I'm still that, that brings bad bad that, that brings back bad memories. I'm an electric uh, uh, IFR. You can clean enough water and don't short stuff with minerals inside the water is possible. Let's, let's reread that again. I'm an electric. You have to clean enough water and don't... Okay, so you have to have the clean water and you have to get rid of the minerals so somehow. Yes, both Ruby and Fried Rice are dead. They are. They passed away. They're buried in my backyard. Uh, I hope to God my roommate's dog doesn't eat the corpse. You can wash uh, your entire motherboard in the sink as long as you let it dry properly before plugging electricity into it, Red uh, said. Would you like to buy a pet frog? Uh, 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 something that's slimy? Bro, I can use that frog as a weapon. I can use it to threaten people. Holy shit. You know what? Nah, I'd rather buy hamsters. I'm so uh, I'm so used to buying hamsters that I think I'd rather just keep it as hamsters. Otherwise, I don't really want any other pets. If there's anything that I really want, though, it's either a chinchilla or a prairie dog. Uh, black tail prairie dog, yellow tail prairie dog, whatever it's called. Uh, one of those type of things. Right? But a pet frog? Man, I'm not really used to amphibians. I do want to buy an aquarium, though. Like, I think I'd rather have an aquarium set if I'm going to buy another hamster instead of this cage that I have right now. Because it's just safer for those uh, the hamsters. Hamsters live between two to three years, Lego Pro. What's up, dude? Good morning. What about a guinea pig? Nah, no guinea pigs. Too big. Uh, the reason why I want hamsters, they're just much more like, I don't know. I, uh, every hamster I've had had such a wonderful personality. It's either aggressive personality or wonderful. But I, I miss fried rice the most here. I think fried rice has been my best hamster I've ever owned before. Because that was the only hamster le that lets me, like, pet her uh, pet her whiskers. And she just sits there and closes her eyes and just lets me pet her. He thinks frogs are slimy. Are they not slimy? Man, the last time I picked up a frog, it was screeching at me. And it was in front of the YMCA. I remember it quite well. It was just running away from me. Like, oh my god, it's a frog! I was a wee little lad just chasing after the little frog. Oh my god, it's a fucking frog! And I grabbed it, 
And then I didn't realize the pressure of my hand. It started squealing. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's squealing. What do I do? How about a ferret? Too stinky. Definitely too stinky and too high maintenance, yes. A ferret? Yeah, a parrot? Oh, you know, my friends have definitely told me, it's like, okay, so you should probably should stop buying hamsters. They're just going to keep dying like that. Maybe you should buy a parrot instead. They're, I'm like, birds? I've owned a parakeet. I've owned bar parakeets once before. Once. Get a waifu too hard, dude. What's up, Yippie Kaye, motherfucker? What's up, Faller? How's it going, dude? Hello, Ilaria? What's up, Bogo? Uh, I don't know if I didn't say hello to anybody else. Speak now or forever you hold your tongue. Buy isopropyl alcohol, 99.9%. .9%. Do not listen to these guys saying the water sink is safe. Should just ban to be off. Dude, we were fucking around. I was not going to use water. I know to I know to use rubbing alcohol or, or alcohol or isopropyl. You know, I'm pretty sure we do have isopropyl alcohol because my roommate solders a lot. So he has the, the, listen, listen, I wasn't going to use water. It was a joke. I'm not fucking using water. My roommate is a salt. He's he's a, he's, he's an electric engineer. He's an electric engineer. No, not electric. He's a computer engineer. I'm a computer. I'm a software engineer. He's a computer engineer. So he has a lot of tools for cleaning this type of stuff. So listen, I'm not, I'm not going to just look at my chat and be like, oh my God, you guys offer a great idea. I'm going to go ahead and bring my waterboard into the shower and take a shower with the motherboard. I'm going to rub soap all over it with a sponge as fucking sexily as possible. Just rubbing that bad boy, man. No, no problem at all. Right, guys? Don't let eat the shit out of the animals. Maybe they don't scream at you. Well, I'm fucking sorry. It was, I was a kid and there was a toad. I was like, oh my God, it's a wibbity, wibbity little wabbit. It's like a little tiny slimy wabbit. Man sponsored by alcohol and chat. Chatter is right in thinking you are retarded. Make sure. Hey, you can't say that word. You just made me say that word. You bastard. Help that he doesn't trust us. I mean, if you let it drive for a week, it should be fine. <laughs> if you let it drive for a week, it should be fine. So he put put in the so, so you're telling me to put that thing into the uh, the oven. Is that what you're telling me? You you want me to put the motherboard into the oven, and then uh, put bump that bad boy to 500 degree Fahrenheit instead? What I think streamers IRL what? <laughs> Void virgin. Oh, is that what you think of me? Oh, it's okay. Everybody think of me different ways. Yeah, I think uh, water should be safe, but you know what? Also, you are a bastard. Uh, whether it is clean, 99% bleach, depending on state town. New York has a little shrimp in the tap water, for instance, which are extremely unhealthy. But that's food. That's protein. What, you, do not, you don't want your water with extra protein? How's your stuff dirty anyway? It's been two to five years and I have fuck all dust in my rig. No, we were talking about cleaning off the thermal pa the old thermal paste from my CPU and it somehow fucking ended up with, should we put our CPU underneath the water sink? We were talking about how dirty my PC is, but it is pretty dirty. It's a little bit dusty. I kind of need to get an air horn and start fucking blasting the shit out of my PC. Um, do a double check here just to make sure everything is good. Good, ready to go. Of course, her faction color is black like my soul. Uh, let's see here. HDR output. I don't even know what that stands for. Chat, what does HDR mean? HDR, high detail resolution. Is that what it means? Not detected. High detail resolution luminance. Dude, another big word, bro. What does that even mean? Luminance? Is that something with light? Gamma? Gamma? Yeah, I know what gamma is. Stalker gamma, for example. For the CPU, get the RTX MX6. It's cheap and good thermal paste. <laughs> you know what's fun? Wait, did I buy that? Wait, I gotta check my Amazon, guys. I think I bought that one. Bro, you didn't have to tell me twice. I saw bigger... Dude, there was a... There was an RTX MX4 and an RTX MX6, and I'm pretty sure I bought the MX6. Um, Let me take a look here. Orders. Oh, what do you know? We have an RTX MX6, 4 grams, ultimate performance thermal paste for CPU, consoles, graphic cards, laptops, very high thermal conductivity, long durability, non-conductive CPU thermal paste. Is that the one that you're thinking of? Yeah, it's arriving tomorrow by 10 p.m. I already ordered it. See, I smarge. I smarge. See, this is why I'm an engineer. I just smarge. I see big number, I click buy. So easy. High dynamic range, but yes. All right, same thing. Got it. Uh, frame rates, V-Sync, visual quality, um, I don't really care much about that, but as long as my PC doesn't get fried, we're good. Uh, clear progression, join the Discord, there's a Twitch, there is Twitch integration in this game. Knowing how my chat works, especially when I played RimWorld with these guys before, I know exactly how my, my chat functions. 
first of all, we all rat jam. And then second of all, my PC crashed because we all rat jam. So given the fact that my Twitch here, my Twitch chat, the ability to interact with my gameplay, I'm pretty sure my stream will crash again today. So I think we're just gonna not allow Twitch integration here. They did they did highlight the fact that there is Twitch integration integration in this game. Um, but as somebody who doesn't touch Twitch integration, uh, I think we're just gonna ignore this. We all vote for the highest difficulty? Well, that's exactly how it's gonna work. We are gonna Okay, chat. Do we wanna try out the game with Twitch integration? Let's let's be real honest here. I'll give you I'll give you the option. I don't even know why I'm asking you, but when especially when you guys are gonna say yes. I honestly think y'all y'all just gonna say yes at this point. Alright, so do we do we want Twitch integration? Or do y'all wanna just look at the gameplay and see what the base game is like? Because as someone who advertise these type of games i always show off the base gameplay to see if people like to buy, want to play the, uh, buy the game because a lot not a lot of you guys are twitch streamers so most of you guys aren't even going to check this uh twitch stuff i think like later on maybe like once we, if we ever decide to play this game more often i'll probably allow it only if we screw with you and using it i mean you obviously haven't been here since rimworld probably or obviously haven't seen my rimworld streams with twitch integration on i had how, I, what was the, not, the highest amount of rats that we got? 2,000? 3,000? I think we had 3,000 rats, and the game just refuses to run. Do one without and then just get fucked with? Play one hour without chat first? All right. It seems like everybody is just uh, done and deal. We're going to play a game without chat then. Good. Fuck you guys. Uh, anyways, we played Scenario 1 during the first run. Uh, the reason... I think the scenario is based off of what factions you're leading. So, like, let's see here. The Imperial Remnants wants to reform their expansion. Its empire imposed the Mansa Order. So, you do have an arc enemy. The Mansa Order wants to reestablish their oppressive monopoly on technology and science. So, we have the Tech Goons. The Tech Goons are the Mansa. We have an Imperialistic. Obviously, I am an Imperialistic type of player, right? Every game I play, I always follow an Imperialistic routine or a doctrine. Which is, everybody that's bordering me is probably going to die. So, uh, yes. This is probably what I want to play. So we have the Imperium. We start at the mall. Uh, I don't know what this big-ass fucking line thing here is. We have starting extractor, one of each. Extractor range is low. Extractor provide resource limit only by the uh, range that you can travel across your settlement. At lower range, you need to design more efficient settlements. All right. I don't know how exactly how to, um, I, I really didn't understand how the range worked when we played the other, um, played a demo yesterday. Um, I think it's how far out you can, like, build your base. <clears throat> Just remove random encounters, uh, that leads to hostility towards you. The negative impact of war is somewhat reduced. Raids enable. Resource depletion is enabled. <clears throat> resource location deplete based on the amount of buildings these apply. The resource range of your wood, mill, mines, and quarries may progressively shrink and eventually render the location inactive. Ooh, why would they add this option? I don't know. This game has such a simple, like, resource um, mechanic in the game because there's only, like, what, five resources? You have population, wood, stone, iron, and I think there's one more. There's one more out there somewhere. We only get to experiment with the first four that I just mentioned. And I didn't know that there was resource depletion or how that even works, but... I mean, this game is so limited already, so I, I don't know, dude. What's up, Kikuni? How's it going, dude? My favorite Egyptian streamer, bro. Anubis is the best gods. Prove me wrong. Look at that giant portal. I'm almost out of water. What the fuck? I really like the voice acting of this game. The Empire. One day, redeem ourselves. We are the Empire, boys. Witness. Witness me. Your Emperor. Your God Emperor. Alright. Let's go. So, you start off with an airship. Is that wood? That, that has to be wood. You use an airship to move around. There's wood. I don't see any stone. The fuck is that? So we- Oh my god, this island is tiny as fuck. How do I build an outpost then? Where is my outpost? Let's take a look at the map here real quick. Uh... Not a lot of information. So I think the mall is a relatively hard place to, like, build a base in. There's quarries to the south. 
I don't know who the fuck these people are. Oh, I think we got Pyrus to our southeast. The Naughty Lock Bacillus. The Basil uh, the Basilicus. The Shard. I have no idea what that is. I don't think there's anything to the north. We have Salad Mound. Molten Stream. This is the world map. We also have a Soul Tree, which I don't know exactly what uh, how it works. I think these are like people that you interact with or some sort. Yeah, these are your commanders. Um, so this is Brad. How's he on, dude? Seth hands down. What the fuck? What the hell you say to me, punk? I I, I ought to just execute you. Anywho, yeah, let, let's ignore him for now. Okay, so we have wood extractor. This thing has fifty-five wood. Apparently, I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a wood extractor down. All right, well, I don't think this place is big enough <laughs> for a citadel. Can I can I look to the right? All right, so this was our last base, right? This is this is where we base in the demo. Um, oh, you have to drag to move around. Man, I don't know. I don't know, man. Do, do I want to build a base over here? Do I want to build a base over here? The resource would be extremely far. I think we're just forced to build a base here then. That's a tiny-ass island. I hate islands. All right, anyways. Um, where should we put our outposts? I think we should put our outpost over here ish. It's a little bit far. I don't know if we should place our outpost this far. Uh, let's put it here. All right, is that how you build it? All right, there it is. Yep, swapping it back to my uh, airship so we can place down this wood uh, workshop or wood gather. Very, very weird way of building, by the way. Oh, I didn't mean to put it there. Whatever. Uh, God damn it. I don't think I can delete it either. All right, and you need to connect. Is missing access to workers. You gotta press space to build. Left click is just selecting. All right, so now we have wood. Uh, we can build multiple towers to defend our city. Um, or set up new city. That's how you build your uh, city, by the way. You just set up towers. Uh, can I put a tower up here? Oh my God, we can definitely put a tower up here, boys. Oh, dude, delicious. What a great tower spot. Uh, over here. Move a tower over here for now. All right, moving back to our airship because we do need to slap down some harbor. And the reason why we want to get some harbors down is because we have stone to our south. So the way resource works in this game, you put down an extractor and you collect resource from those extractors. Um, that is stone right there, right? That's stone, there's iron to the left. Dude, this place is massive. I don't, I don't know what this mall is though. I think it's dangerous. Maybe I'm not supposed to be over here. Uh, but yeah, so you have a couple resources. You have uh, wood, stone, iron. You have to, if you decide to build over here, you have to put down a harbor, which is basically an extraction point. And you have to link up that harbor to your main outpost. Tiny ass island for a tiny ass man. You mean my tiny ass dick? Hey, oh, I mean, wait a minute. The mall, what's up Francis? How's it going, dude? Is this bird simulator? Well, I mean, you use a uh, airship to actually, like, move around to build stuff. So, yes. Technically speaking, yes. All right, we're about to answer them all. What the fuck? That's the mall? Oh, I bought a resource. All right. Uh, oops. This is the mall. Wait, who's that? Who's Who the fuck is that? Deacle Bound Sea Tree Co. Let's exterminate them. Okay. Alright, slapping down the extractor. Right there. So, <laughs> we're building inside the ball. That's kind of dangerous. Alright, and we need to put a anchor down. Yeah, I can see that, idiot. What do you want me to place it then, moron? I don't think I'm allowed to build here. What do you want me to build then? Over here? It's too far. Bro, so you're telling me you put a quarry inside the ball and you're not gonna let me build a harbor? <laughs> all right, all right. I see how it is. I think the mall is basically like a uh, huge water current. I wish I could rotate the map. I'm an idiot. There it is. All right, so let's take a look. How do we slap down an anchor for this building? Because I just put down the quarry, but I can't. I can't extract the quarry. Get fucked? I actually got fucked. Boys, what the shit? Oh, oh my god. I I actually got physically fucked. I, I can't. Who, who puts a quarry here? You know what? I'm, I'm restarting. <laughs> Guys, give me a second. We're restarting.
I, I think I'm just gonna move somewhere else. One of each, the ball, Imperium, low extractor, enable, hostage, encounter. Okay, everything is there. I give up. Yep, yep, that, that city's dead, boys. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, you can't do this to me! No! I don't want to build here! Oh, I, I know how to fix this. I know how to fix this. Dude, it keeps your progression! Yes, clear the progression. There it is. There it is. All right. Uh, I think I just clicked free build an accident. Son of a bitch. Wait, wait. Game? Okay. All right. All right, guys. All right. Wait, was that a different cutscene? Only the mall. Bro, who, who put stone in the mall? Who does that? Let's, let's, see, let's do the exploration see if we want to place a sentiment somewhere else here. Walkie, boy, yesterds. There's like a shard up here, too. Please be wood. I need wood. I need wood and I need different stone. If we can find a uh, stone quarry somewhere else, that is. I don't think anybody wants to build here. There's nothing there at all. All right, what about to the northeast? There's a lot, there's a lot of island. There has to be some kind of wood uh, production over there, right? People who like to eat dirt. Why do I feel like I'm being attacked? First thing I do after rejoining is reduce the volume. I'm not that loud. Oh, wait, there's stone up here. There's stone. I think that's wood. Okay, there's wood. We're going to be right next to a different faction. That is absolutely okay. Fuck them. We'll kill them. We'll murder them. Get him, get him the fuck out of here. My mouse keeps going off my screen. <laughs> hey, get, him, get him the fuck out of here. He is. I cruise. Beautiful, beautiful map so far. All right, so we'll just move away from the mall. Now that we have resources to the southeast, I think we need technology to be able to harvest the stone inside the mall. Your ears are working? Hey. Hey, he right. Why does this look like an expansion area? Yo, you can't build a city here. Bro, 141 wood. This is an expansion area. I got scammed. Can I put a harbor on it? Okay, what's in the southeast? Can I put a city over here? All right, let, let me experiment here real quick. I want to see exactly how you can place cities and harbors. Can I put my base all the way up here? I think I did. Excellent. Oh my fucking god, really? Are you are you joking? Are you actually joke? Are you <laughs> What the fuck was that? This is the word of advice. Oh yeah, I could have deleted so Wilson here with V. Oh, you can delete with V. Now I knew. Did I get your mail, Big Danny? What game are we talking about? Unless we talk about this game. Can you, can you uh, remind me? I probably did, and I probably forgot. Overrider. Which one is that again? Is that the roguelike? It was the action roguelike, right? I think I did. I'm gonna have to recheck the email. All right, you know what? I'm just going to build here because that, that looks like an expansion area. Is the hover boarding, boarding roguelike? Oh, okay. Uh, I think I, I'm pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure I did. It's just that I forgot to reply or something. So I, I tend to forget because I'm always bu busy doing something else after stream now. Like I've, I started working out. Yo, I forgot to tell you guys, dude, I was running yesterday. I, I ran two minutes, by the way. Fuck yeah. I ran two minutes and I walked the rest. While I was walking fucking deadbeat tired, my, my my calves were pulling. Dude, this lady drove by saying, Woo! Woohoo! And I was like, huh? What the fuck is going on? And I see her driving by and she's just shaking her fist out the window. Like, you can do it! I was like, oh, and I was just, and I just kept walking. He's like, I can't fucking run. My legs are broken. That was the first experiment for experience for me where with some random passerby just going by, near uh, doing a drive-by encouragement. Rice, you are evolving. Go fuck yourself. You were good at throwing, and now you're throwing without even beginning. Listen, I'm so trying to put a tower on top of an area, right? Lights, if you will. And then press V to destroy. Do I get my resource back? Oh, well, I restarted for no reason at all. Okay, thanks for letting me know that. Hiya! We have an outpost that provides workers. Uh huh. Be mindful. All right, and we'll place down the uh, wood extractor again. Right here. What a deal. All right. And we build. This resource extractor is missing access to workers. Oh, I can't put up here. What the fuck? But I can build on a shroom. Wait a minute. 
What the fuck? Oh, now I can. That was weird. Alright, alright. Boys, we cook it. What the f What the hell? How'd you even get down here? Oh, there's- there Okay, there it is. There we go. Now now we place the tower on top. Okay, we, we, we control the top area, boys. Make the tower higher. Yeah. Yeah, we control the high ground, Anakin. Uh, one more, one more, one more, one more. Uh, can I put one up here? Ooh, delicious. All right. Yes. Get the high rocks. Get the high rocks. I, I, I think you get an advantage whenever you place a uh, build on the high rocks. I don't know. It just looks better, too. So you do notice that buildings are automatically being placed down around the um, towers. Uh, typically, that's the automation. So what this game doesn't really have is population management. Uh, but the only, the only thing you really manage here is resources so you can further upgrade your tower. So let's go and press control. We have four uh, resources that you work with. Sorry, not five, four. You have workers, you have wood, stone, and iron. I think you get more workers more by outposts. I'm, I'm not too particularly sure or remember, but uh, or either that or you upgrade your Imperial outposts, I guess. Uh, let's go and press space here. Okay, I thought so. So you need stone before you can upgrade to the next tower level, especially your outposts. So we do need to get stone. I need to go back into my airship. We saw stone to the north. I think we're just going to get the stone up here because obviously I can't build stone here. <laughs> I obviously can't build stone in the mall. But we'll move up to the north. There's stone that we saw up there. There's also more wood, so that allows us to expand our sediment. All the blood was on my dick because you ate too much mad dong, no matter how uh, your, your calves cramp. Hey, Lamel. What's up, Ramil? How's it going? Dude, good morning. Where the fuck do you get wood from a barren rock island? Mushrooms. You see that giant-ass tree right there? You can collect wood from that. But mushrooms. Giant-ass little mushrooms. I, I call it mushroom because it looks like a mushroom. Uh, yeah, I'll check out your game, Big Danny, in the future. I don't know exactly where to fit it in right now because we, we're really, we have a really busy schedule at the moment. So I'll try to get it in. Um, no promises, of course, because I really don't know either. <laughs> Uh, maybe I could have got wood from the other one. Uh, who, who knows? Who cares? All right, there's my quarry. All right. So you place down the stone quarry, and then you're supposed to see this little anchor sign, so you put down a harbor, and then you have to go back to the base to place down another harbor. So there it is. Now we got stone production. Captain Salad Tree, the man, the myth, the legend. I don't know why he has an iron thing right there, but is there anybody else? Okay, so he can actually use stone. Okay. What? Oh, is that what he's? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is what you want. You want what? You want stone and workers, because you, you he's bringing the workers over here and he's bringing back the stone. Yeah, that, that's what the captains are used for. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to understand exactly what, what what the icon was. Uh, now we understand. Now we need to go back so we can actually put down a harbor next to our main base so we can bring back the resources. Um, am I back? Alright, sweet. Sweetie, sweet, sweet. The refugee settlement has been spotted on Fuck them. So we're gonna place down a harbor right here to get the stone. I think it connects automatically. There it goes. So now we're getting stone resources. Harbor N. Uh, we should be getting stone resources. God damn it. I'm getting really confused. Plus three. I don't know what that plus three means. So yeah, there's there's a stone resource that allows us to upgrade our outposts. Okay, large outpost. Now we need iron. I don't know if I want to go back into the mall to get iron. I don't think that's a great idea. Can I even upgrade my uh, harbor? I think you can. Oh, we don't even have stone anyway, so... Rip. Oh, no, we do have stone. We do have stone. So now we can upgrade all of our outposts to stone. No stone available for this what the hell you mean? Oh, no, we don't really, we really don't have any stone left. <laughs> um, is it because it's based off of distance? I think it's because it's based off of distance. I need more like... It says that we have stone here, but I think it's because the stone is actually being transferred over to the other nodes. So now we have stone in the wood mill. Um, but we need that stone to actually transfer over to these other towers so we can upgrade them. Uh, and then later, you get to be able to make a, uh, like, a command post, and that, those command posts are going to be your defensive towers, right? That's what we learned during the demo. Uh, alright, so let's go ahead and try to look around for iron. We know that there's iron in the mall, but we also realize that we can't really extract the iron from the mall. I think we're, we have wood and stone to the north. What we should probably do is move to the east here. What the fuck is that? Uh, let's go to that question mark real quick. I think those are people that wants to talk to us or some uh, sort. 
Let's go talk to the question mark people then. They're a little bit too close to my area. Hmm. Can't really be having those people this close. What do we got? Who are these people? Do we need a genocide? Who the fuck are you? Our research post has not been supplied in over a year. Our so I can decline to kill them off. I don't... I think this is our enemy. I think this is the, uh... The goons that do a lot of research. The Mal the Malcolm? I, I forgot the other faction name already. It starts with them. Aaron earned and Iron earned a Lamel. Offensive against what? There's combat? Now there is combat in this game, yes. This guy's our enemy, technically speaking. Outpost to salvage and relocate, increase Mancer alignment in place. Fuck the Mancer. It's the Mancers. Fuck the Mancers. Genocide. All right, so we killed them off. I think that's what we did. We killed them off there because we didn't allow them to stay there. Yeah, I'm not going to let them stay there. We're the Imperium. We only allow Imperium. Mancer, no, no. I think the free house is fine. Free house could be a neutral area or alignment, but I want to go to war with the Mancer. So we're going to keep preventing them from being able to build next to us. But there is battle. You have to look around for question mark to get your own ships because you have to hire like uh, mercenaries to defend your base or build towers specifically to build ships. I don't I don't really know exactly how it works just yet. I remember building a tower that allows me to have air for defensive ca uh, purposes, of course. Um, there is a tower right there. That's a random ass tower, but there's no iron. Where is it? Where, I think those are the pirates. The not lock Beliscus. The mole. All right. Well, there's no iron up here. Where the hell can we find iron? We really need iron. Bad. My ship isn't finding any iron around these parts. Um. All right. Let's go ahead and do. I want to travel all the way up here. I don't think I want to build an iron production uh, facility up here to the northeast. Or do we? I mean, I guess we technically can. I don't. I don't like how that there's only iron to the southwest. What if I? Did we find anything up here? Wait, let, let's teleport up here real quick. I'm pretty sure I can travel here real quick. Nice. So, yeah, you can fast travel uh, towards any facility that you slapped out. What is that to the northwest? The Imperial Hold. So, these guys must be my allies? Question mark? I, I don't see any other resources nearby. I see, I see wood, but that's about it. Lots of wood. I'm going the wrong way, by the way. Idiot. Uh, actually, let's go next to this uh, area. What, I want to see who these people are since we're in here. There's a little settlement with airships. Yes, you can utilize airship as combatants too. So we can talk to these guys, I believe. I'm trying to talk to them. There it is. This area used to be the primary source of wood for the entire northern Ursi. But the market kind of collapsed with the war and all that, you know? We're about to pack up and leave. There's nothing much keeping us here. Oh! You can declare war on these guys. So these guys are trading iron for wood? No, he, he wants to buy iron for wood. You're gonna need some wood. Hey, chat. Chat, guys, do you, do you, are you guys in need of some wood? You, you guys need some wood? <laughs> Love the fucking way he says, hey, you need some wood. You need some wood, mate. But they're, they're packing up and leaving, but I don't need wood right now. I need iron. Um, unless I can find another extractor. I don't know exactly how to make an extractor because I do like to get some more wood so that allows me to build more towers uh, to expand my settlement. Uh, so Also, the more towers you have, the more population you will get. What's up, Rob? This last going, dude. You got plenty of boarding wood left over. A hey, same, bro. Same. Another refugee settlement. Is this going to be an ally or an enemy? Is this going to be the Imperium or is this going to be Marcus or Mantis or whatever the fuck the faction is called? I always forget. All right. It's time for you to choose a side. The Imperium! Alright, we'll accept them. I think that allows them to settle nearby. Wait, can I still talk to him? Wait, did it, did, did it just allow me to build? He's allowing me to build, I think. Is that allowed? <gasps> you can build with these guys? The fuck? How does that work? Wait, what the shit? So these are refugees that you can control. Interesting. I, I I don't know exactly how it works, but that's a, that's another teleport point, I guess. There's a ship nearby. 
I want to probably investigate that ship too. That, that could potentially be a war frigate or a corvette. They, they're called corvettes in this game. It could be a war corvette that we could hire. Um, typically speaking, you don't spend any resource to hire these ships. You just got to look around for them. And then just work underneath you. And then they uh, guard your trade route or some sort. <clears throat> I still have not been able to find iron. I guess the only way to get iron now is to go into the mall and see if we can try to put a harbor there. But I already know I can't put a harbor there. A refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Again? We literally just went by there. Well, how, how the fuck did you just went by me? Anyways, the more interesting is ship. That could be a war frigate. It looks like one. Greetings. It's a transport vessel. From House Mercius, but that might include a steady commission for a route here. What's greetings? I'm on contract from House Mercius, but that might include a steady commission for a route here. Okay, we'll take him. They can be assigned to transport. Oh, so what happens is that you kind of assign them back at the um. The, oh my god, I just my mouse went off screen again. I hate it when my mouse go off screen because you can't really see your uh, mouse down uh, uh easily. Okay, so what happens here is that that was another captain that provides um stone and population transport. So I, I can assign them to the stone quarry that we had. There's another one. I'll take them. And we found another settlement. So we really got two fucking trade ships. Okay. Both Imperiums. Good. Our faction grows. Alright. This is the entryway. This is the entryway. Historic last stand for House Borgia when they opened to the start. The gate now may now lie wrecked, but the Shar remembers. You remember the way this world existed before it can exist again. They are aligned positively. That's what the blue flame is for there. I, I don't really know. You can declare war on them too. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like he offers anything. He's, I think he's just a regular city state. So apparently I can go to war with him and just destroy a city. Uh, this is single player. There's no multiplayer. I don't think there's multiplayer. I've never really checked if there was multiplayer, but I'm pretty, we're playing a scenario right now. But I, I honestly don't think there's like multiplayer for this game. It's just pure single player. And it's a uh, pure, it's, it's, I guess, sandbox city builder-ish. All right, well, the problem is here is that how do I build a harbor that's not inside the mall? So we, we need this iron bad. Okay, slap down the iron mine. So where can I put the harbor? There, oh, 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 barely. Fucking barely. Okay. Or assign you there. Nice. Unconnected. That's fine. We'll go back to the main base. Good. That means our main settlement can now grow. Just need to slap down another harbor specifically for iron. Um, how's this gonna work? I think we can just put it here. Does it have to be directly connected to the outposts? I feel like it does. I think we're gonna slap it right here then. A refugee settlement has been spotted. Oh my god, there's so many refugees. Oh! Perhaps. Okay, so it connects to the uh, nearest outpost. Interesting. Um, do I really want to put that there? I think I want to actually not put it there. All right, uh, see if we can place down the harbor, like probably up here, because it's, it's closer. Easier for transport, place here then. <laughs> they have to go up the elevator. <laughs> uh, all right, done. So now we should be getting iron. What the fuck? I like how I can't press escape again. Okay, there, that was weird. I believe that's iron. Let's take a look. Iron should be coming in. What about my stone? My stone is barely moving over to the next set. That means we need more captain for that stone. Unless I can get another extractor. Actually, let's go up here real quick. I do have a couple of captains I can uh, replace. I think stone might be... Oh, excuse me. Holy shit. Um, did I teleport over? Okay, good. Uh, how do I select this? Not that one. Idiot. This one right here. Alright, Captain Hellsworth. Is that another one? Safe route? Okay. Wood, wood. Stone, that's another one. All right, stone workers use this too. So you can decide multiple, like, uh, ships. I think we need more stone. I think we need more stone. Okay. Trade route's good. That should bring back a lot more stone then. 
Maybe I should have just built inside the ball because it looks like that one particular extractor could be placed uh, just, just a similar way as the iron. Great work, thanks. I smarge. I smarge. Alright, let's take a look at resource. Stone is still steadily moving into the towers. I need to get these three of the towers over here upgraded too. But now my iron's coming on this side. I think we would try need to try to find like more ships how do we get more of these extractors because we placed out all the extractors we can place down um i might have to go explore around a little bit and see if i can grab myself more ships maybe go over to dunkle bun bound the sea tree co they probably have ships for like uh wood trading or some sort i guess uh let's go over there then Drink! the navigation for this game is a little bit conflicting I wish there was a mini-map, so I can actually go the right way instead of just pulling my map every fucking time. <laughs> so one-man army, sorry, how's it going, dude? A resource colony ahead. All right, all right, we can probably trade. I can probably trade out wood. That's what we want to trade. Um, there it is. There it is, boys. There it is, right there. What do you have in store for me, beautiful city? It's a shame if I destroy it. Fucking stone. Can provide wood in exchange for stone when connected to a I don't have any stone, bro. I'm broke. Can, can I just raid him? Can, 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 can I not just raid him, please? 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 Pretty please? Please? I'm a warmonger. All right, so how do we get more extractors? Do we just have to explore around for more extractors then? Uh, Because there's another stone. There's a stone node right here. We just have to build it more towards, like, uh, the outskirts. So I can actually put down a harbor. I don't know what the mall is like. What, what is the mall? Like, it, it's so hard to tell. I know it's fucking pretty blinding lights, which is cool and everything, but... Maybe... You, uh, uh, okay, so it looks like it's heavy hills. What? It looks like the water's going up instead of down. Okay, interesting. There's probably, like, some kind of gravity manipulation down here. That's, that's kind of cool. What's up, Cuff? How's it going, dude? Good morning. Did the uh, demo first came out? You wouldn't believe me? Well, hold on. Hold your horses. We're still exploring the game. We're still exploring the game. See, when when I played, I play a lot of city builder that has a lot of management with the population. This is a game that completely negate that factor. This is more of a, uh, a a city builder that works with basic resources that allows you to keep upgrading. So this game has a linear progression ish, linear progression instead of complex, where I came from a complex progression background. Um, so hold on, hold on that thought. See if I like it or not. It's a completely different play style. Uh, Stone still struggling. I don't know why Stone is struggling so hard right now. Is it because they can't really go through the wood mill? Or is the wood mill containing, or uh, stealing all the resources? Okay, so let's see if we connect the Imperium Large Outpost. Not the Harbor's End, you absolute idiot. Uh, connect it to the other towers. I'm an idiot. There we go. Okay, now, now it's going towards these other towers. Like, well, what's the issue here, guys? So now these guys are getting stone. What if I upgrade them? And you can upgrade them twice. There is no iron available for this upgrade. What the hell you say? I don't know why it's not going through the sawmill. It's it's weird. It's weird to me. Uh can I connect this to the main tower? Okay, good. Because we want the iron from this tower to go down. But it doesn't look like the stone is moving over to these other towers. You cannot build on top of the sea tree fungi. These are needed to produce wood. So Can I build get on top stone of it. Daddy, you. Uh, LML. Stone yourself, idiot. Yeah, I, I don't know why we're, we're not getting iron here either. This is, this is really weird to me. Okay, no, no. Th this harbor is bringing in iron. But for some reason, the iron is not being shipped. Is it because it's too high? What's up, Ken? How's it going, dude? You're gonna need a lot of Mad Monk to get through this street. <laughs> nah, dude, this ship is powered by Mad Monk. We learned this in the other, like, in the, in the other uh, demo. We didn't have an issue with, like, uh, transportation and resources. Okay, the iron's now moving over. Okay, okay. But we need that iron to go over to the main outpost. I just don't understand why it's not going over here and the stone is not moving over to the right. But this, this tower over here is now getting iron. So we can upgrade this tower. There is no iron available for this upgrade. You can't even upgrade the wood mill. It's so it's so weird. 
do you have to like fully stock up an iron and stone first before you move into the next uh, tower? If that's the case, then these other towers should be full in stone. Or is it because the main outpost is like uh, taking out all the stone? We probably don't have enough population, do we? Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, we may not have enough population. And to get more population, you got to build more towers. Um, let's put another tower right here. You cannot build yeah, that thing's in the way. Fun guy? Didn't know he was that fun of a guy. Okay, I want this tower over here to build an expansion tower here. And now I want to go ahead and conquer this uh, uphill. Maybe this will give me more population. This, this should be consuming the wood. You see like a steady line of population in wood. But what does that stone thing mean? That should give us more population, I hope. Maybe? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm still learning myself. What about foundations? We can build foundations too, like this, for example. D does that allow me to, like, keep more population in? Yeah, I'll just put foundations all around my base, see how that works. I don't think it does anything. Oh my god. Bro, look at this city. It's already cooking. Let, let the city cook, boys. Let the city cook. Let it cook. Yeah, the game, the game taught me about foundation, the demo, and I had no idea what the foundations were used for. <laughs> I was like, oh, sweet. So we can place down foundation. But what what does that even do? There it is. Beautiful. I, I'm pretty sure this allows me to house or house more population. And I guess the more population, the more resource that we can extract. Probably. Uh, Woodmill is at plus three, but I don't know why that thing's blinky. Why, why is it blinky? Oh, uh, we're at 48 resource left. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh my. Hmm. Does that mean I have to keep moving around the map to keep expanding my city? What, is, what does that even mean? Who needs tutorial? Bro, I played the tutorial, all right? I already played the fucking tutorial. I didn't understand the tutorial. It was confusing to me. It tells me to do this, do that, but it doesn't really explain to you why to do this and do that, all right? It's not my fault. All right, so my population is now steadily growing because we're just consuming quite a bit of wood. See, I, I know how to play, kind of, ish. We're fine. Our city grows. Don't don't worry, guys. Don't worry. All right, let's take a look at our big boy tower over here. This can be converted into a military tower, I think. Oh, do we even have enough firing? Oh, we do. All right, and then here's our command tower. This is our command tower. We can put a commander in. Oh, uh, oops. Yeah, so we're supposed to explore if we want to find more, like, commanders. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, otherwise, I guess we just keep building our battlements. You make a tower taller by putting down multiple foundations. Um, probably shouldn't do that. Yeah. How does that work? I'm pressing V, but it's not letting me, like, delete the building. Oh, oh, okay, weird. What the fuck? No, I don't want to put that there, you idiot. I'm trying to get rid of these foundations. Oh, you're supposed to hold V, because we, we don't want to hold those foundations just yet. They're pretty expensive. Okay. Minus two. Yes, it's, it's, we have plus six population. Population's completely maxed out. Ish. We just need more wood and stone, if possible. Uh, I think building this many cities is not really that good. Also, we have ad break right now, so I'm going to go put ADS. We're going to take a little, quick little break. I got to get water. We're running out of water. We're back, guys.
can't feel my calves. I can't feel my calves. <clears throat> Hello, Brian. How's it going? Good morning. I just saw that outpost Infinity Siege is out. Oh, God. Boy, I didn't know it comes out today. Give me a second. All right. Anywho, did the game pause? I don't know. All right. Well, I got to explore. I think our biggest issue so far is that we're not exploring because we need to explore to find more extractor. You think we should take them in? Hmm. Are they Imperial faction? Do we take them in? They have to be Imperial faction. Wait, do I have to put down harbors for them too? I think we might have to place down harbors for them. Yeah, that's workers. Oh. Wait, so do, do we connect that to the main settlement? I don't think wasting a captain on that's a great idea though. But, oh, excuse me. Looks like Imperial. We are but humble refugees. They are uh, Imperial. So apparently I can salvage their city, right? Yeah, so there's plus three workers right here. I can salvage their city. Yep. Select a spot on solid ground or in shallows where you can rebuild it from the survey. Oh, yo, okay, that's lit. So you get their outposts, I believe. How, how do I look at my inventory here? Because they never taught me how to use my inventory. All right, so we can actually move up here too. Delete them and pick up their building. I walk like I shit myself. Bro, I fucking ran yesterday, all right? I can't feel my legs. Leave me alone. <laughs> I can't feel my legs. My legs are gone. They're gone, Summers. Gone. Gone, goddammit. Anywho. Uh, let's go up here. I kind of want to just explore a little bit. That destroyed quite a bit of my population. I uh hi 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 uh We are going the exact wrong way. Actually, okay, we want to go to the left. That's that's why the navigation in this game is a little bit confusing. Ooh something strange. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's like some kind of cloud anomaly. Alright, what do we have? It's like a random event that just pops around. Run into the bathroom isn't as exhausting as you think it should be. What's more valuable than a warm hearth in these bleak times? Well, look no further. Master fabricator, boilers, and heated housing at your servers had some minor mishap at my previous Patreon. But I assure you I can deliver fabulous mark. What does that say? It sold mark two heated houses. Okay, sure. Business appear. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring them in. I like businesses. I don't know why, but the music of this game reminds me of a lot of but towards Dune. It does give that feeling too, because I feel like this game has a lands uh grad a lands lands rad um type of style of factions, that is. But it's exhausting go to the bathroom. What do you mean? Every time I come out, I feel like I lost a fight. I lost something within me, always. <laughs> Alright, so we got more iron up here. Is this where we expand to grab these iron? Uh Fallen Peak. Oh, speaking of, I probably should have went back to the other uh, area, but eh, whatever. But we got iron resources up here that we can grab later. Two iron resources. No, there's wood and iron. I could have built a base up here, guys. There's also pirates. I think those are pirates. My foot's itchy. My foot's really itchy. Ow, 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 ow. Just need some water worms. It does. Sharknado endgame. Yo, I saw those little sharks just spinning around in the uh, in the in the sea. I'm like, huh, huh. <laughs> All right, there's my wood. Eighty wood. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at the settlement. Maybe there's some ships that we can like uh, hire to our cause. Oh, uh, they look kind of creepy. Maybe we, wait. Maybe we can hire these pirates. Bro, they even have like yeah. skulls in front of them. Still no. Still no. We can provide you stone if you want it. So they sell stone for workers. Here, but we'll need some of your workers to collect it though. Okay. Yeah, it's a thing of beauty. To the whole 20 clans to tear down Imperial Peak that stood before. We've been rummaging through the debris ever since. You wouldn't believe the riches those Imperials had stored there, away from This guy's an enemy. We have to destroy him. I don't have any military units to fight him, though. He has, like, three ships or some sort. He has, like, three or four ships. I'm kind of surprised they don't really attack random zeppelins just coming around. Dude, there's so many resources up here. How does this work, bro? There's our main, like, here's our main base. There's another part to the southeast. Maybe we can uh, set up trade with them. These guys sell wood. 
These guys to the north sell, sells wood. What about multi stream? That's another pirate. Um, we've been exploring around. We don't really see that many anomalies so far. I don't think I should be this far up here. There's like nothing valuable at all. Oh, let me go back to the iron area first. Can you build a fleet? No, I don't. I don't know how combat works in this game. I think it's automatic. Yeah, you're already in there. It's not you. You're only wood. So we only have three captains left, but we have no extractors. I'm trying to look for extractors. I can also place down new outposts if I really feel like it, because we have enough outpost production. It's just that how do I check? What's our inventory? There's, there's like a ship inventory. There's map, demolish, retreat, open resource flow, floor down, floor up, zoom out, zoom in, switch between ground and surveyor, move surveyor, select tower, build an upgrade space, camera orbit. I thought there was an inventory system, because I'm pretty sure there was. I guess not. Pressing I doesn't do anything. Uh, so we want to check out this faction over to the right, then. There's a lot of exploration, but my city building could probably use... Oh, wait! No, my stone isn't moving. Yeah, my stone is barely moving, man. How the fuck do we get our stone to move? Do we have to fill up this, like, center island first? There is no, there is no iron available for this up Oh, the iron's up there. It's just not moving between the two towers for whatever fucking reason. I feel like I placed my ship in the wrong spot. Am I supposed to put down another harbor for these towers or something? Have you ever given Airborne Kingdom a try? No. I don't think they sent me a key. A lot of these games I don't normally try to buy. <clears throat> I'm just trying to figure out how, like, in the tutorial that we played, all the resources went to every single tower. And now in this game, the resources are not being distributed between the tower. And I don't know what's what's causing it. Is it because I have too many uh, towers? Or do I actually have to, like, strategically place my harbors? Maybe that's the reason why. Yeah, I feel like that's probably the reason why we're, we're, we're not getting anything here. Is because we didn't really strategically place our tower. So if you notice the stone from harbors end, we have a direct connection between harbors end to the main tower. Which is basically guaranteed to have that resource. And then we have a little squiggly line, meaning it's slowly decaying. So I feel like, for so I, I think it's the amount of resource that we need. To provide, to provide a thin line, that is. And then, from a thin line, that allows me to get a squiggly line to a different tower. Uh, in that area of aspect, again, I, I believe. Time to, time to restart? Nah, dude. Is there a bottleneck bug? There's no bug. It's, it's, the bottleneck is based off of, like, the amount of resource that you're given. So, the way resource, uh, being brought between each tower and from a harbor to a harbor is that how far is that resource and how far is that resource to your main city or to your city that you're trying to provide those resources uh that's the only thing that's really affecting it right now uh that's what those was clarifying during the demo but do we, we only start with one extractor so like how, how do i get more extractors i feel like we can fix a lot of these like squiggly lines or a bottle i, I guess we can call it bottleneck uh i don't know how exactly how we can like fix these bottlenecks besides just having more extractors yeah we're going towards that colony right now i want to see what colony that is not not the one to our right there's a pirate faction over here what's up van well i mean what i could do is probably delete or delete the uh quarry that we've slapped to the north and put it in the mall yeah, another refugee settlement. I'm going to ignore that refugee settlement for now. I'm not really interested in them. They're bringing me towards the refugee settlement, son of a bitch, dude. I'm trying to move over to this faction. I want to see what we can trade. We can, we can trade population. We can trade population for more resources, basically. Uh, It's another pirate base, I think. All right, let's see what these guys have. Ah, a bunch of renegades. All right, I see. Uh, they're not even interested in uh, trading either. 
declare a war. We don't have military. I have to explore around to find like um uh, like captains. No mercy for the wicked. Is there another settlement somewhere? He, he was saying there's another settlement somewhere. Yo, let's go over to Multi Street. What's up there? War is good, okay? Listen, man. I'm an Imperium faction. Of course, war is good. We conquer to get our resources. That's how it works. And I can't conquer you because I have no <laughs> I have no units. I need military units. You have rocks, right? The most ancient of it all. Yeah, but we have we don't have anybody to use those rocks. I gotta find a baby in the middle of the ocean to be able to use those rocks, you know? Be a covenant? That's not how it fucking works. Alright, so you're trading stone for iron. You are funny, but we ain't friends yet. Yeah. Lecter, Campbell. I don't have anything to trade. Listen, I can't trade any of my resources because I don't have the resource room. I also don't know how to get extractors, so like... I think we're just bottlenecked. <clears throat> so like this game for a city builder from what I'm seeing so far is so linear that it's confusing that it's this linear, right? I played the tutorial. I understand exactly how resources work. It's just that it never taught me how to get more extractors. I assume you're supposed to explore for extractor. There's no technology tree. I think the biggest uh, bane of this game so far is there's no technology tree for its uh, city builder. So this game definitely has more of a sandboxy vibe where you just try to build your city as big as possible and you expand to get resources to continue to expand your city. I don't know how the combat's like because I can't really get combat ships and declare war. If I declare war on someone, I think they'll just attack me and then I'll just die. You know, we, we can try to declare war on someone. Um... We should declare war on the Naughty Lock Basilisk. Or the Shard. Let's go to the Shard. They're closer. I want to see how declaring work works here. Can I attack him with my big boy ship? Declare war for science is exactly what we're going to do. What the hell is that? Wait, that's a fortress. It's like a maze fortress thing. A substantial settlement in the distance. Substantial settlement in the distance. Yes, sir. Look, boys, guys, 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 we can talk this out. The war! Ah! Ah! Let's all go! What the fuck, bro? Dude, they all come with batteries! What the shit? My ship is defenseless. They have nothing. <laughs> oh, God, they're chasing my main Zeppelin. All right, all right. We're bringing them back to our base. I want to see what happens. Are they not following me? They're not following me. So we declared war. Oh, yep, they're attacking. All right, the ship is going out to explore a bit. Yeah, my ship, my ship is my ship is not even attacking at all. Oh no, it's attacking! It's, it's shooting! It's shooting back! Yeah, fuck, fuck them up! Fuck them up! Enslave the women and Bro, they children. have fighters! They got fighters! What happens if I lose my zeppelin here? Uh oh. Missiles? That's a ship. Ship with anti-air. Oh, thank you. Uh, about my military, if I had any. He's so slow typing that down. Raid has been spotted. Yep. So there's a raid? Do, do do my facility join in a fight? I don't think they can because there's no one to join. Alright, so how does raid work here? Nothing. Oh, there's my inventory! Oh my god, I found it. So yeah, we have no extractor stuff. Uh, in surveyor hold, battle group experience, rookie, freehouse, cloud runner, speed, that's our surveyor. This is the amount of Imperial outposts that we can slap down. Group of refugees waiting to resettle into a new outpost here. Launch your faction will spread its influence. Outposts provide workers can be upgraded to a citadel. Um, that's it. 
Yeah, we have two 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 outpost potential. So that allows us to expand even further. Hmm. It's very unfortunate. All right, so we, we declared war for science, and uh, we're, we're losing. <laughs> we don't have any military units because we weren't able to find any. I don't know if we were able to produce our own military units, unless we just have to find it then? I think we have to find them. Yeah, it's too bad. Enemies are wreaking havoc. Captain has lost their ship. Uh oh. Yep. All right, they're, they're attacking the main citadel, boys. Uh oh. Get ready to repel their oh god. All right. Attack. Yeah, they're attacking a trade route already. So all, it looks like all the combat in this game Enemies is automated. Yeah, that fucks up our fucking economy, basically. Yeah, we're not getting stoned anymore. Stone's gone. Now they're attacking the main base. We have no defenses. We have no captains for our defenses. Dude, there's so many fighters, bro. Alright. So this is what I'm seeing from this game so far. Right? Because I wanted to see what the combat's like. The combat is a simulation. The city builder is a simulation. There's nothing complex about the city builder whatsoever. So as someone who comes from a game called Anno 1800 with a lot of like population management, resource management, uh, city management, and so many different aspects, coming into this game, this game is simplified to the point that it just doesn't really offer the content potential for an actual city builder. City builders ha are one of the more higher content driven type of games which takes several days to finish for a game that's sandboxy like this it doesn't really offer a lot of replayability in my opinion because there's nothing that you can really i don't know i feel like the reward system for this game is a little bit weak right i'm gonna have to give this game for a city builder the graphics look good the graphics good it's a completely new building system no population uh, management for a city builder is a no-no, typically speaking. Even if it's automated. Um, resources are basic yet unclear and probably clear. You have extractors, but you can only find extractors through exploration. You can only get military units through commanders in exploration. Um, you can't automate your own industry to make your own military units for war. Uh... There's no micro, there's not that much micro or macro management in this game. This game is so basic that you can't really get replayability out of this game. I don't think this game's going to have a lot of shelf life, unfortunately. Um, and the reason why I'm saying this is because I come from a survival city builder background. I play I play a lot of, like, Farthest Frontier, I play a lot of... Anno series, those You're games offers. A simulation of a simulation of a simulation of a simulation. I'm just gonna let it. I'm gonna let that pass. Of a simulation of a simulation. It's not game of the year, unfortunately. No. So I give this game more of a 50-50. 50, 50. 50 out of 100. It's a half marker. And the reason why is because I look for city builders that could be, that that offers a lot of replayability. This game doesn't offer that replayability. It's a simulation. It's a sandbox simulation um, with nothing to manage, right? If we don't have anything to manage, the gameplay becomes dull. I think this game will is good for some people out there, but this is not a game for me because I play, again, Anno. I play Anno because I like to manage my people. I like to manage my people. I like to upgrade tiers. There's no technology in this game from what I've seen so far. You, the only thing that you upgrade is your towers based off of the resource that you harvest. And... That's that's a linear process. It's just not that complex, unfortunately. Um, I still like the graphics. I think graphics, animation, nothing wrong with that. I didn't see any back-breaking bugs for the game. But this game did not capture my heart in the first one hour, <laughs> unfortunately. I tried giving the full version a chance to see if there's anything that really stands out. But it's just relatively the same as the demo. Is up you get to explore more in the actual game. You just get to explore more. You get to go out there. If you're really interested in the story, maybe maybe that's something that you want. Because we we don't even know what the mall is, right? 
I'm kind of disappointed. All right, when I say people management, I'm saying something like you're providing them resources so they so you're allowing them to tear up. And no, I never played 202005. I skipped that game because I heard it was dog shit, so I skipped it. Anno 1800 offers a better complexity for people management. There's people man when I say people management, you're managing their resource need. What do they need so you can upgrade their house tier? That's what I meant. Or what what would you call that? So what game next? Uh, there's a new game that just came out. <laughs> Literally just came out, and I want to play that instead. Outpost Infinity Siege. That's humanities. Literally just came out today. I want to buy it. It's $25. Going to download it, and we're going to move over to that game instead. Um, This game, I was kind of hoping I would play the entire day today, but I'm going to be real honest with you. I got bored. <laughs> I got bored. It's because I don't know. I, I like when, when I play a city builder, I like to have full control of, over my city. Like I like to build my city. I don't I think the tower aspect is cool, but it's not something that's attractive to me. Right? It's not attractive to me at all. Um We're downloading the game right now. Hopefully we're not losing frames. We're gonna move over to Outpost Infinity Siege here. A lot of people are already streaming it, boys. This game might kill my PC. I don't know yet. It looks so graphic intensive that I, I, my PC may die. So it really depends if I refund this game or not. But I want to give it a try. And Power World was the same thing, too. Power World fucked over my PC a little bit. So hopefully this game isn't too much. Um, I'm going to announce on Discord. Do you like the idea of it, Mitocotton, for this game, or are we talk about the other one? You like the space part of it, but they hate the combat? I thought the space thing was cool. I never get into the combat part yet. Uh, but as someone who plays a lot of regular Anno 1800, um, let's get out of this real quick here. As someone who plays a lot of Anno 1800, this was just something that really didn't capture my attention for a proper city builder i want a proper city builder that's very similar to like farthest frontier and 1800 the bulwark it was unique i i, I can't establish not establish but i i can't deny the fact that it was a unique experience but the unique experience wasn't that good it, it wasn't something that gives me a dopamine hit while build my city Along the way, I just like, all right, build towers. Okay, cool. Things are building themselves. Cool. I'm managing resources so I can upgrade the towers. Cool. I can't figure out why the shit, my shit's bottlenecking because of trade routes. Cool. Um, that wasn't really the main issue. I, I probably could fix it, but I have to explore it. It's just so tediously goddamn slow. This is not a game that I want to stream either. It's just too slow for me. Um, but see that that's 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 one problem with city builders is that city builders has an extremely complex problem that they need to fix and it's really hard to fix and it's just how do you get your player to engage into your game properly that is right and this game didn't allow me to engage into the game properly uh Yeah, a lot of people are checking out this game right now. So, wow. That, that's why I'm like, wait a minute. And I, I got an email on this game. I was like, oh, fuck, dude. They came out. Because I've been eyeing this game for a while. There's a lot of tower defense uh, mechanic in this game that I want to check out. But I'm just sad, dude. I'm just sad. It, it's just not the game for me, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Uh, How big was this? Fucking 31 gigs. Okay. You can do really big towers, but that's it. Yeah, and that's not interesting at all. You, it's cool that you make big towers, but there's nothing cool about building big towers. And I, I want to see the uh, tag for this. City Builder. With the moment I see City Builder, I expect City Builder. It was a City Builder. It's just that it's not a City Builder. It's a minimalist. What the fuck is a minimalist? What, what else is there? Strategy, combat. Yeah, sure. Relaxing. 
Open world steampunk, stylized grand strategy, fantasy simulation, pirates, cinematics, single player. The game, don't really know the price for it to get yet. Yeah. You just build a pretty fucking big city and that's it. You look at a big city. It's more like a cinematic game. Now that I think about it. Yeah, it's more of a cinematic game, if anything. Just because you're trying to build a big, big ass city. But there's no complexity behind maintaining that city. You just get more basic resources, you upgrade the city, and that's it. There's nothing else. It's just... It, it the, the idea is cool, but it's... I feel like it's just... It's not managed well. The idea wasn't managed well. You have islands, you have a war that fucking break apart factions. Hell, you can continue... You, can, you definitely can't continue that war in the new fucking uh, age. Try back to the farthest uh, frontier new alpha patch. When did that come out? Let's take a little looky look here. I'm too lazy to play this, dude. I, I got lazy. <laughs> I keep looking at it. I keep eyeing them. And I'm like, I'm lazy. I'm really lazy. I like survival city builders. A lot. It's just that as someone who played it so much, it doesn't really offer like the same exact, like, I don't know, longevity that Anno 1800 should. Do you know why Anno 1800 is so good? Do, do, do you guys understand why? Here, let me uh, type it out for you. I think it's easier for me to type it out for you guys. So, why is Anno 1800 so good? Focuses on population management, where you provide them resources, they grow more population, they provide more tax, and you can upgrade their tier later. That's what makes the game extremely fun. You always have a huge progression system. And of course, when your population tiers up, so does your technology. You have a technology that is locked because of the amount of population you have for each tier. Uh, and then... Buildings are immediately built. There is no downtime whatsoever aside from having a warehouse to carry resources to it. And oh, you don't have to wait for people to go to work. You don't have to wait for wagons to extract the resource. You, the only thing you have to wait for is that the only thing that's bad is if the resource overflows. So, like, if they're capped out on resources and the warehouse is not picking up resources. That's fine. That's logistic management right there. You don't have to worry about your population taking a long-ass haul to work like in Farthest Frontier. That was the problem with Farthest Frontier. You have to manage your distance. Right? You have to manage your distance between your housing to your recreational area and then to your work area. And of course, you can build like these other houses so they can encamp on the outskirt of it. That's okay. But it just wasn't as good as Anno 1800. Anno 1800 removed so many bad designs that didn't make a city builder fun and then kept the good shit. Did overbuilding. Exactly. Proving resource to your population, overbuilding it. Exactly. You're basically utilizing those resources to further boost your own economy so you can actually keep growing your colony. That's what made Anno 1800 so good. And then you have Farthest Frontier, where that's why I'm so burned out for it, because I don't want to deal with fucking, okay, I got to put my housing area here, and then I have to put, like, and then I have to worry about them going to their workplace. No, no, I'm not comparing. Sorry, I'm not comparing Bulwark. I'm not comparing Bulwark. Um, this was actually a comparison for Farthest Frontier. So, what, what, why is what? What's the weakness of Bulwark? Weakness of Bulwark. Bulwark. Um, we can delete this now. The weakness of Bulwark is that it it identifies as a city builder. The only thing you build is towers and foundations. Oh, sorry. Towers, extractors, foundations. <sighs> um, and then you can upgrade only towers. 
up to a command tower, which is basically a combat tower, uh, commanded by a captain for combat purposes. All right. Like, for example, the captain that we had in the demo was an air purpose type, uh, which we didn't have for this one. We were supposed to find them. Um, let's see here. Four basic resources that you have to keep management on to be able to upgrade towers, uh, which is wood, sorry, population, wood, stone, iron. Very basic. No population management and population build up their own residence around towers all right so the thing about the city builder is that if you're going to classify a game as a city builder you have to let the player build their own city somehow without the use of towers you want them to be able to build population building a housing area what, what the fuck is the point of not having what, what, what the fuck is the point of a city builder if you can't build your own housing area it's like okay well i'll just play fucking um let's see here first dwarf is the city builder ish you can build houses there's a colony management right this game you're just building towers but you're not building houses um what else is there combat this here there are no factories for combat only captains and random events or random ships that you find in the sea there's no economy that revolves around military. Sorry, there's no economy that improves military. Besides the fact that you have extra towers, command towers, to further boost your military. So, combat is purely a simulation. Um, and that's fine. It's a simulation. I mean, there, there's nothing. I don't think this game said RTS at all. That there's no, so that's fine. There's nothing. There's nothing wrong with this. So it's purely a simulation. You declare war. Both sides sends you know troops towards each other to fight uh, or interrupt trade. Um, yeah. So try to like type up. And then city builder should have an economy. City builder should always have an economy to manage, no matter what. For this game, the only thing that you manage economy-wise is the four basic resource, which I already explained above. Wood, population, stone, iron. Hell, when you trade, you, you trade in one of those for something else. There's no gold. Uh, the, yeah. By the combo with animals, did they force you to get into it with the story? And that sector allows you to build every resource. You don't get limited on what you're allowed to build. So we're back to Anno 1800. Uh, it's just that Anno 1800 is, is one of the best city builders for a reason. It's just that is 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 the things that they provide that makes a lot of sense and to get rid of the things that obstructs your ability to be creative so this is one of those games that allows you to be creative with what fucking towers okay so again bulwark allows you to be creative with your city building and again the only thing you can manage with city building is fucking towers It's towers. That's it. There's no, there's nothing creative that you can do when you're only limited to something that's so small, right? And of course, again, this is more of a city. This game I, I, I classify as a simulative city builder. That's it. It's a simulative city builder. There's nothing complex around that makes it rewarding. Nothing feels good. So the thing is, what I'm saying is the gameplay is dull. It's dull. As fuck. That's it. It's dull. Nothing interactive. Nothing reactive. 
You just go out there, collect resource, you upgrade towers, and that's it. So that is their problem. So what is the problem with Bulwark? How can I make city building a bit more engaging and interesting? All right, that's what the first problem. How can we have an economy? Uh, how can we have an economy that could be managed yet encouraging to manage I, I i don't know how to like my way with words is so fucking hard um because i'm not really that good at literature uh how can we have any so we want to have so sorry how can we have how can we make economy management more interesting aside from just for basic resource that they have all right uh let's take a look what else we have here and I'm not trying to trash them. I like to sit, figure out the problems that they have to make the game a little bit more interesting. You can have a streamer play this game for one day and never play it again. That's, that, that's what we want to point out. City Builders actually has one of the highest replayability value if done correctly, right? And that's that's the problem that we're trying to figure out here. Um, the, the game has combat. Um, how can we have that economic management relate to combat because when you have a huge economy you should have huge combat prowess because of that huge economy right not to be complex i'm more of a complex enjoyer yes exactly i'm more of a complex enjoyer but when the game is too linear it's it's dull that's the problem with not making a game complex because it com the complexity if done correctly is fun if the complexity is hard and not easy to understand, then nobody would play it. Obviously, th that's also another problem. How can we keep a game complex yet fun to learn and utilize? Right? How do we fight a linear, progressive system because linear progressive system typically tends to be dull. Unless, again, done correctly. There are games out there that has linear progressive system. I, I'm trying to think of something here. A city build. It, it, city builders aren't linear, typically speaking. I played so, all, all the city builders I played till now are all complex. There's always so many different resources to manage. Super linear and boring compared to the second game, which was so good. Shadow Warrior 3. Is Shadow Warrior one of those games that you uh, you, you you utilize stealth? Is that, is that the one I'm thinking of? Shadow Warriors, I'm pretty sure that is. Yeah, it's like a tactical, stealth tactical game, right? Ish. Yeah, when you have a linear game, you're making an arcade game. And when you're making an arcade game, that's a roguelike game. What's a linear game? Survivor games. Those are linear. Do you know how hard it is to make a complex, easy to learn survivor game? It's really hard. There's, there's, there's a couple games out there that did it almost correctly, but sometimes they don't really last that long. Death Must Die was actually a linear... Death Must Die is a linear game, but it's a roguelite. The linear system is that you have a gear progressive system, and then you utilize that gear progressive system to utilize your build in the game. It, has, it, it, it plays faster, it has some kind of combat micro, I don't know. Yeah, but they're, they're, see, that's why I'm saying it's a simulation. So, like... For combat, how to make the simulation much more enjoyable to watch. To watch. The simulation is there because you want to watch it. Do you know what provides really enjoyable combat simulation that I've definitely played in the past that you don't really control the outcome of your uh, combat with your strategy? Um, they, 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 they used to be like grand strategy games too. Fuck, which one? Oh, dude, I'm trying to think of the name. It's, it's a Roman. It's a Rome game. 
you you manage your cities, you build an army, and then when that army attacks another army, you have two lines, and they, they move towards each other and beat the shit out of each other. Uh, there's a lot of, like, battle, simu battle simulations. There you go. Doom, while the second game was more RPG because you have levels and grinding. Yeah, that's... See? Okay, so Zero Zynga here from YouTube is pointing out Shadow Warrior 3 and Shadow Warrior 2. So what he said about Shadow Warrior 3 is that it became like a Doom game. And that's a linear progression. When he said, com when, w in terms of complex progression, the second game was more about grinding and then having levels. So you have some kind of progressive uh, play style. So, okay, so th that's another good point. Thank you, Zero Zynga. So one thing about Bulwark is that how do we have a pro no wait wait so okay there, there it is so how do we have a linear progressive system how do we find a linear progressive system there it is um without it being too complex yet rewarding or in other words how do we feel more progressed as we play through the game I think that's the best way to word it. When I played Bulwark, I had no sense of progression as I keep playing the game. That's it. I didn't feel rewarded. I have to explore to find ships to join my colony so we can fight our enemies. Right? That's why it's a simulation. Uh, when you have a simulative game, you don't really have a game. It's like watching a movie. <laughs> I think I'm just going to pull up Gladiator and just watch the first... Uh, scene where the, the Romans were fighting off the barbarians. See, that's that's what I want to watch. That's what that's the problem with having a simulation. Simulation is cinematic compared to a regular game. Even though you do have some controls, it's just you don't have a lot of controls. Um, and that was the problem with Bulwark. This game wasn't that engaging. It wasn't f progressive feeling. And these are some of the problems that they have. Th there's more problems. There's more problems. All right. There's a lot of problems. But these are some of the most basic problems for a city builder is because when you play a city builder, one thing that a lot of people like to see is, for example, a real time strategy city builder should have a tech tree. You guys want to talk about the Gord? Gord? Gord anybody? Remember that game? No fucking tech tree. Enemies respawn. Resources are limited. Oh, not to mention enemies respawn <laughs> on those resources. So... Gord was actually one of the, the one of those games that had so many problems that they need to tackle to make the game a little bit more engaging. Because Gord was one of those games that keeps punishing you, punishing, punishing. And of course, this game doesn't really have a punishment system. The punishment system is declaring war without units. That's my fault, obviously. That's me. But there's no RNG that fucks you over that I saw in a city builder. Thank God. Thank you. Thank you. To Bulwark, I didn't need to rewatch it. Yeah, you probably, yeah, I would highly recommend rewatching it. Um, it's just that the gameplay was relatively slow for me for a city builder because for a city builder, I should always be managing something, my brain should be managing something from one place to the next, right? In Anno 1800, all oh, right, my population needs food, they need beer. I got to put down a fire station. Okay, so now I got to boost up some wood production because I need more wood to build more houses. Uh, there's just so many different things you need to do in that game. That's why it makes it complex yet fun. It's engaging, right? Just a way more towers, Alamel. Oh, yeah, I love Kenji. I think Kenji is amazing. It, it is technically a city builder. You can build a city in that game. Um, enough of that for now. We're going to be trying out for the survival game. Um, it was. This has been a, a very fun, engaging um, topic because these are... As someone who plays a lot of video games, I like to find out what the problem with the game is for replayability. How do you keep me involved in the game, right? How how does a game keep me involved? How does a game keep drawing me back? And of course, there's games out there that fixes a lot of these problems, like RimWorld, Kenshi, Solaris, Dell even fucking Day or Billions. Fuck it, we can put Day or Billions in there. Um... Live service games are, you know, replayable for a reason because it's live service. MMOs depends on how you look at MMOs. Escape from Tarkov. I play Escape from Tarkov single player. Speaking of, there's a new update for that coming soon. And these, most of these games I'm naming is a build your own story. It's a build your own story game. And Bulwark is a build your own story game.
you refunded this game? Uh, am I gonna wait? Which one? Am, am I gonna refund? No, I got this game for free. How do I, how do I refund a game that's for free? If anything, I would like to give them ideas. If they're gonna, it, 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 I believe this is an early access or is this a full release? Okay, this is a full release. So they're probably gonna do bug fixes, all this other stuff. Maybe I try to add more content. But what I'm trying to offer here is probably problems, which the fun part for devs is to provide a solution to. That's your that's that's your job. You're trying to solve. I give you the pro the, the main problem with your game, and then you try to solve it. Impress me. <laughs> Refund the outpost. It's right here. No, I just no. I, I haven't played this game yet. We're about to play it. We're about to play it now. <laughs> Let's play it now. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. So I was I was um, I was trying to figure out. We were talking about our previous game. Um, I need to talk to you. I need to do YouTube stuff too. YouTube, we have problems with the stuff. It's really hard to like manage your um. Let's take a looky look. I need to change titles and all that stuff. I think I can just show this online. I don't think it really matters. Oh wait, does it show my stream key? I think it shows my stream key. Give me a second. Let me double check. Okay, it doesn't. Sorry. Um, we're good. All right, full Balconeer, full release. Balconeer was later. Okay, so outposts, and I'll just rename after stream again. Uh, what we played during that stream because this this live this, this thing this thing about YouTube is that they don't separate into chapter. Survival, it's a survival tower defense game. It looks really good. This is one of been one of my most hyped games that I've been waiting for a while. So we'll be playing it. I spent twenty five dollars for this. Hopefully it's worth it. If it's not worth it, well, hopefully I get it back. Um, all right. I think the game is launching right now. Is it's trying to launch? Give it a second. All right, guys. If my computer crash, uh, oh seven, oh seven, boys. Age of Wonders three. It's basically a Civ six building, but combat is turn based strategy. Yeah, I don't play those type of games. Definitely, definitely don't don't expect me to play those games. I'm not a turn based type of game. All right. Uh, hello, Zeon, Garrick. What's up, guys? What's up, Beer Food? Good morning, dude. Magma Salad. I blastlet. Our Rigji. How's it going, my dudes? Perfect for refund speed running. Oh, is it that bad? Is it is it really that bad, Our Rigji? No way, bro. No, don't tell me this is a scam. No, dude, you can't break my hopes like this, right? No, bro, bro, bro. Listen, chill, chill. Let, let me let me experience the game. No, dude, don't don't lower my expectations for this game, bro. Come on now, I've been waiting for this game. Don't call. Don't tell me this is gonna be a the, the day the the day before. I like how my frame is running at one FPS, Lamel. Uh, we allow us to collect statistics you play which you improve your game. Um, Jesus fucking Christ, bro. What is what is going on with the main menu? Guys, dude, bro, why is my frames at 20? My frames at 20! Someone help! Oh! <laughs> Alright, the 30 V-Sync's off. Motion blur. Um... Minimap zoom, shadow quality, texture quality. God, my game's dying, dude. This is just the main menu. How do you make a main menu kill my PC like this? It's all much, bro. I gotta fix this fast. All right. Uh, that didn't give me any FPS back. Bro, please, 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 please don't be dog shit. Please don't be a dog shit game. Please. I've been looking for an actual tower defense game for a survival game. Please. Don't be shit. I beg it, thee. All right, we're at 60 FPS again because I fucking put everything to low, bro. We're going to be needing a thermal paste that's coming in tomorrow soon. I'm gonna be so goddamn pissed, dude. I'm gonna be so goddamn pissed. If you can't have 60 FPS, no, we had 60 FPS, thank God. 60 FPS is not the FPS, the FPS I want for a shooter, though. It's, just, it's technically a shooter. Oh, there's voice chat. Don't talk to me. I might turn it off. Apparently, this game has multiplayer. Sorry, I wanted to say that this game is the best Chin Chan Chong game. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not offended. I'm Asian. 
I get that a lot. If you want to put in a uh, making fun of Asian type of way, go for it. I'm not offended at all. Just keep it uh, TOS friendly. Uh, Star is too kind of a game to mention because they take years and years of rework to make it perfect. Yes. 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 That is true, Cuff. And that game just came... Bulwark did came out. So I want to see what the dev has intentions for it first. Before I... But that, that's the problem that we have for with release. Uh, I Blaziani, what's up, dude? Bloody Niner, good morning. Yeah, this just released. I've been keeping my eyes on this. Please, please be... Please be a good game. I'm going to pull up my uh, control escape here. See, my CPU is currently at 76%. See, GPU is at 41%. Uh, the ex ex acceptable odds, acceptable numbers. All right, I, I love how we move into the setting. My game is dying. It looks like dog shit already. What a deal! Is this another demo? This is the full game. So if this game is shit, I'm re I'm refunding it. Um, 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 depends on your monitor. Plus, it's an AI shooter. You might see scene sharing if you have higher than 68 hertz monitor. I actually, I my 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 monitor can go up to 144, but I try to keep my max FPS around 90 for most game. Please don't be a scam. How does every main menu destroy my PC? I don't fucking know. Dude, that, that's always that's always a bad sign. That's that's poor optimization. Why is super sampling on? Should I turn that off? Wait, should I turn that off? Chat, which 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 one which one should I do here? Wait, no, I'm in video. You can't even turn it off. What's TSR? What is that? A futuristic orc must die. Maybe I should play that. I want to, so I want to go back to Ban. So, okay, guys, guys, I want to go back to Banner Lords. I want to play uh, the Shogun mod for Banner Lords. That's a, that's on the menu. I want to go back to eventually Star Sector, but Star Sector is gonna be on hold. There's there's a lot of games out there. I just want to go back to and play again. <laughs> two hour return window. Well, if the game isn't scared, you can technically go higher than two hour. I can just tell my system can't run it. <laughs> if you got 144 hertz, you have a minimum of 144 hertz, so that doesn't look trash in your end. Hopefully. Hopefully. If this game run on 144 hertz, I'm pretty sure my PC would be screaming. But we got um everything in low graphic is 57 50% CPU, 30 to 40% GPU. See if my GPU ever hits 100 percent that's a bad sign. Bloon is a flash successor. I wanna play Oh, Al Council of Alchemists. We we wanna add that game to our list of games to play. I forgot about that game too. The man, the myth, dull legend. Yes, it's me. The tactical fried rice. Yo, you missed my billions run too? I appreciate it, Neil Dynamite. Uh it's gonna be a while since I come back though. I might come back during June, during my next subathon, but I don't know yet. I just haven't been play uh feeling to play uh their billions. I, I ran out of content unless beer fruit here wants to give me some uh, content advice. Mr. Beardfruit here plays. Man, I forgot to shout your bitch ass out, dude. I try to shout out my boys. Beardfruit here, boys. Lads, lads. Yo, give Beardfruit a follow. He plays a lot of Dare Billings, man. If you're looking for Dare Billing content, he's your man. Plays a lot of Dare Billings himself. Does a lot of content. I think the latest thing he's been doing right now is times two, uh, times two zombie amount, times two zombie HP for his campaign run, by the way. Very interesting to watch. I think that's the last time I saw you play. Uh, but definitely give him a check out. Give him some follow. Give him some love, butter. So you fun that shit have to hit the fan? Uh, it's what it, what it is. What it is. I mean, if, I, if it's a game that I can see like a lot of potential in, maybe I'll like it. Who knows? Many times eating up my refund time. Ah, who gives a shit? I'll just beg you guys for money. Isn't that how it works? Guys, please, dude, guys. I'll post Infinity Siege. Oh, I can't believe I bought that game for $25. Please feel bad about your streamer. Guys, yeah, send, your you send your favorite streamer $25 so I don't have to refund this game and never look come back to it ever again. <laughs> uh, Get back to Risk of Rain too? Nah. Yo, I'm getting tired of playing roguelikes right now. I played so much. Oh god, the cinematics like lagging. Nice FPS, by the way. Dude, that was the cinematic. My, my screen is at 60 FPS and it was lagging during the cinematic. That's the game fucking lagging itself. That's hilarious. Yo, you got any, um, I can't hear him over the music. I, I can't, I can't, I can't hear you guys over the music. Speak, speak louder. Why is it just showing me cinematics? Or sorry, why, why is this game just showing me screenshots? 
Okay. What what the fuck? Hello? What the fuck was that? I didn't understand anything! Oh, what that cinematic! Oh, okay, I see more people. Yo, I appreciate it, Zero Zinga. <laughs> Engine limits. Alright, now, now okay, there's there's a true cinematic, boys. From a strategy game, <laughs> probably. I'm not skipping this. Streamer, due to such harsh times, I will provide to you a donation of 15 copy beans. Let's fucking go. That is all I can afford to share. I hope it sees you through these hard Please be good. Also, nice Halo with Sanctum crossover. <laughs> the yeah, yeah, yeah. Has completely inaudible dialogue. Deploying. Outpost 5 deployed to the front lines. Dude, that guy sounds like a nerd. You fucking sound like a nerd. Nice rocket. Watch those wrist rocket, boys. Oh, sorry. Did I say wrist rocket? It's a shoulder rocket. All right, boss. This operation is far too important for any errors. All right, guys. Just think of it like this. I spent $25 just so you guys don't have to. Ooh, sensitivity. Okay. We have ad break, by the way. We do have ad break. God damn it, guys! My refund time. No, my three minute ad break that's going off right now. Whatever shall I do? <laughs> God, Modern Warfare anthems uh, cross red alert. That would be Pog. Mech Warrior Tower Defense. Yeah, that's why I like to see it as Fat Baptist. This game looks more like Mech Warrior uh, Tower Defense. I don't know. Maybe it'd be interesting. Okay, it needs to be a little bit slower. Yeah, I can just fuck with this while the ad break's going on around. Thanks for the penny, penny peasants. I appreciate the pennies. Give me the pennies, goddammit. Is that better? Uh, it feels a little bit better. At least my computer's not dying. Okay, that, that's what I l like to see first, is that my PC's not dying. Even though we're playing on the lowest graphics. I'm gonna go with 60 here. I'm keeping my DPI, because I like my DPI as it is. Typically, I play my games. Oh, okay, that's significantly better. I don't know why so fast. Why are you guys bald? Low Tyler one, is that you? Uh, what? <laughs> guys, you see that? You see that little marker to the left? It's just stuck there. Reloading the outpost, orbital strike cannon, pre-war Leo system. Uh, ad breaks is still going on, by the way, so I'm just gonna reach out here real quick. Ready to go into depth with this game come out, so this better be good, otherwise I'll actually survive tomorrow. By the way, I just noticed you're a semicolon, wherever it is, call for your Twitch after HTTPS so it doesn't link it. Oh, oops, sorry about that. Yeah, let me fix that real quick, lads. G give me a hard on second. I'm trying to get a hard on second, by the way. Hard, hard on, hard on. Yeah, we love hard ons. This is a hard on stream after all. G give, prepare your wood. Prepare that wood. Hey, yeah, sure. If you come, come on over to Twitch if you want to, dude. Yeah, my bad. I just saw that semicolon. Come, come on over to Twitch so you don't feel alone on YouTube. I don't, I don't mind. Nobody minds. <clears throat> Thanks for testing, Captain. You're welcome. Always that service for your sacrifice. <laughs> It looks like COD MWTD. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm looking for a good tower defense game, man. I'm looking for a really good tower defense game. It, it's been a while since I played a good one. The ad is Jova. Yeah, 10 seconds, boys. 10 seconds. Bonnie Swap, welcome on into Twitch, Zero Zinga. You became one of the cool boys. <laughs> YouTube is just there. So, like, we have a recording of the game on YouTube, and it just stays there forever. You can relax a bit on the riff a bit on the riff breaker. Listen, man, listen, listen, guys. I promise you one thing. Once riff breaker releases co-op mod, I'm coming back to that game to play it, and I'm gonna play it with Shadeless. We're gonna bring Shadeless back into it too. And I think you can have a third person. I'm pretty sure we can have a third person. All right, welcome back, guys, from the ad break. Huh? So he, he can't move you out of the way. Can I ride it? I'm, I'm fuck. Okay, what the fuck, bro? He just. So you can't jump, okay? Okay, you can jump and ride it. <laughs> you can jump and ride the fucking bot. I, I just make sure. I can't 
<laughs> what the fuck was that voice acting? It's, he sounds like one of your Call, call of Duty voice actors, bro. In the middle of a game. Am I supposed to fucking jump this? All right. Uh, four, five is holster to draw. My wrist hurts. What are you doing? What are you doing standing there for? Okay, you can slide. You can crawl. Jumpy jump. Sprint. Okay. Can I vault? My game's dying. Good to see that. My FPS is jumping to 28. Randomly. Might be an optimization. Uh, optimized. I, I love how it tells me to attack. <laughs> That's how it works, bro. Yo, this thing. Yo, this Replacing wood is like front. nailed shut. How do you just break through that? What the fuck is this? The voice acting in this game is so dead, dude. So how, how do I destroy the beacon? You want me to pull out my gun? Okay. Is this like a shotgun or something? It's like a semi-auto rifle. It's a shotgun. So what caught my interest in this game in particular? Why is there a dead dude here? Bro, we just landed here. Is there already a dead dude here? What the, what the fuck, bro? Uh, anyways, um, besides the fact that it is a shooter type game, there's tower defense. There's a lot of defense of, uh, it's a wave defense type of game. That's why I was super hyped for it. I'm hoping it's good. It's, I'm already making fun of it as we speak. The hell is this? Okay, there's multiple dead people. We, we just landed here. Why is there so many dead people? It's a tower defense. It's not, it's, it's a tower defense. It's, it's a lot more towards tower defense. Uh, when you look at the trailer, you'll understand. Am I supposed to like oh, this here? Hold L and B to R and B to right toggle right. Uh, press R if you want to reload. Okay. Uh, how do I get up here? Moshi mosh. <laughs> am I am I not allowed? Okay, I, I guess I'm not allowed. Fucking walls, dude. Pretty sure I can shoot through here too. Oh, oh, this is the, this is a landing operation. I see. Heading there now. I also sound like a nerd. Special report, ammunition. Where am I supposed to go here? Did they, did you just open the door for me or something? No, that's a no go zone. No bueno zone. What the fuck? What am I supposed to do? Where do you want me to go? Cause you are a nerd. I am a nerd. Wasn't Trudeau the name of some Canadian minister? I think so in Canada. Yeah. Can't blast it open. I'm supposed to go down there somehow. I believe. I'm oh, wait a minute. Okay, I found it. There's no fall damage, is there? Okay, I I, I thought that thing was moving for a second with nobody riding it. I'm, I'm not the only one, right? It wasn't it wasn't just sliding, was it? There's no fall damage. Ammo box. While holding tab, uh, use your mouse to select an item and release tab to equip it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, game, please. No. Oh. Chocolate! Chocolate! This this fucking icon to my left is annoying me. This does not annoy anybody else. What the fuck is that? Why does it just show up randomly like that? Hello game, please no. Don't do this to me. Knock knock! Who's there? It's me. No fall damage. Oh, as an FPS enthusiast and pro player, I'll be harsh to this game's mechanic. Well, I don't play FPS. Thank God for that, because otherwise I'll get arthritis. LML. Uh use ammo crates to do the quick slot. Wait, oh, you're supposed to use it. Okay, press G to use select the item. Thanks. Levi, the explosion just blocked my path. The OSC is already deployed. There's no time to clean up. Search nearby for something. Seven system on the left, I see it. 
I think that's wait, no, that's shield. There's no stamina system. Oh, that's a stamina system. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. That 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 that, 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 that still annoys the fuck out of me. I don't know why. It just annoys me. Okay, I have a new weapon. <gasps> There's an inventory system. There's an inventory system. Oh, boys, we're morbid. It's an upgrade. 20 damage extra? That's a lot of bullets. What the D, what the door doing? What's up, GG Ben? Top right is the quest log? Yes. Press 2 to switch to Slingshot Zen. Aim at the ground uh, to deploy it. D do you want me to, like... Oh. Aim at the ground to deploy the slingshot. It's Morbin time. It sure is. Okay, so that that's a special skill. So these weapon comes with a special skill or something. Here, give me, we, we gotta do it again. That's how we jump. Nice. Pretty cool. Cool mechanic. Back to uh, offensive. Do I have any grenades? Probably not. These are the robots that you will be fighting in large amounts later. This game has a lot of swarming techniques, so. Levi, the intruding harvesters have been eliminated. Outstanding. Return to your outpost immediately and prepare for battle. <clears throat> also, if you really want to catch my attention, by by the way, just use TTS or just at me, so it shows up red on my chat. If you guys really need to get my attention for something, especially when I'm like captivated by a game. Just want to point that out. Or redeem Hey Listen, I guess, to annoy the fuck out of me. This is a Hey Listen stream after all. Press M to enter command mode. <gasps> it's a siege tank! Let's go! We got big food tank, baby! It's like the ammo maker and craft ammo. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. The good old times. It's like the ammo maker and craft ammo. You, you got any arrows? It's right there. Wait, can, can I not like move around? There it is. Oh, okay. There, now we can move around. So this is your base. This is your tank that you're supposed to like utilize. Thank you. We have the CI double S, the armored wall, more turrets, gun turrets, twin barrel, light turret, uh, CI double S automatic assault component with higher rate of fire and best use for close range combat. Your one and only security guard. The fucking cruiser cannon. Big boy gun, material load of level 400. Hey, hey. <laughs> Read your comment you provided to me already. But yeah, just, I just want to point out to people that you can't get my attention if I'm ignoring you too much. I don't, I don't want, I don't, I don't want people to feel like I'm ignoring you. We have combat miners. Automatically gather nearby resources and convert them into material. I have to look around so I know exactly what I'm dealing with here. There's materials. I think there's a max storage of 1,560, 96. Uh, reverse nice. 300 out of 300 power. Is there like power Bam. generators? Uh, okay, this text is blocking, so I can't really read most of the stuff here. Okay, so we're supposed to craft ammo. ROS has detected our presence in this area. Activate turret. Press Z to activate. Prepare for immediate action. Boys, get ready. It's battle time. It all comes down to this moment. Fight to the end. For our deeds today shall echo in eternity. Beautiful speech. Beautiful speech. What a what a great day to live down my life, guys. What faction are we again? The Dominion? <laughs> Failure. I hope we have lasers. There probably is. There's like cruiser cannons. Um, lots of battleship stuff that I'm really digging. I think there's also like Sam's. No available action. Okay, so now I can read stuff. Cool. So this is efficiency module. Greatly improve the efficiency of your miners by installing a magnetic acceleration module. Reload mods, reinforce that structural weakness for greatly improved survivability. Uh, ZX, I think this just makes it more tankier. But apparently, okay, that's so easy to upgrade in this game. There's nothing complex about it at all. So yeah, using materials to the left, as you can see there. Uh, where's power? I want to see what power looks like. Is that light? Can't select it. Oh, hey, human uh, EUA soldier. Machine gun turrets. I think they're already activated. I believe these CIWS are not activated, so you kind of want to activate it on your own. What does this do? I think I'm supposed to move there. The Titan spike. Expand X uh, field can be set to assault mode. One spike all covered. Charging mode. Titan spike again. More S. That's a really bad spot for an MG turret, I guess. There's the ammo crate. 
Oh, there's two of them. There's two ammo makers. And I guess you just make like what? A bunch of ammo? Is there like a specific resource for ammo for your turrets or something? You know, on a game with low graphic, it doesn't really look that bad. I don't see power anywhere. I, don't, I guess 300 power is all you can get then? So you're limited by power, so you can't have like a full massive battle station. Build a support facility. How in the fuck do I build a <laughs> support facility? Small artillery formation. Oh, it's right here. I think. Core tower? Please tell me this isn't shit. Well, we haven't really got far into the game yet to understand if it's actually shit or not. But we're about to find out. I'm so confused on what I need to do here. It's telling me to build a support facility. And I'm trying to find a build button, which there's no build button. Oh, is that it? It, it, it was it, and it's no longer it. <laughs> How can I escape? No available action? Unlucky. I think, I think the tutorial could use a little bit of work, guys. Just, just, just saying. Reset camera? Sure, why not? Oh my fucking god, not that much. I don't need to be placed into the dirt again. I can just do that realistically. Just have someone just place me into the dirt multiple times or fall off my scooters. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, but how do you fuck you build it? Oh, what does this do? Config deactivate normal shot. <laughs> normal shot. Back defense. Uh. Yeah, this is not so straightforward. I think you're supposed to place it on these platforms whenever you get the chance. Maybe I'm lost. Well, I am lost. Um, why don't build a facility? I'm trying. I am rubbaging my head. I'm bashing my head towards the game. I'm fucking trying, god damn it. Give me some goddamn time. Small artillery formation. Oh, well, I can place down small artillery formation. You can put it in the front lines, huh? I'm guessing you can put this in like these blue areas. Can I put it ahead? Nope, you can only put it in the blue areas. So these are like Tesla pylons or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, what the? F how, how are you gonna give me this fucking quest and not tell me how to do it? Glowing blue arrow? The core tower? Do, do I just put this here? I don't, I don't think I'm supposed to put this here. Click the blue arrow? I've been clicking the blue arrow. It's, it's not letting me do anything. So that's how you build. So you click on an area, and it shows up buildings. But what the, what the fuck is the support facility? We have two ammo maker. Yo, I, I, I think I'm... I'm I, I, guys, I'm starting to think I'm uh, brain dead here. So my fog, I appreciate the 500 bits! Holy shit, bro. Thank you so much, man. Put that thing in the air. Okay. Oh, you're right. I appreciate the 500 bits. Scamming yourself for 500 bits already. Thank you. Uh, you only really need 20 bits, by the way. What the fuck? That's not a support facility. That's an artillery gun. Hello? Oh, we're being attacked from the skies. Interesting. All right, so it's my that's a support artillery, apparently. All right, we, we, we let the, the deterrence do the work. Enemy, Enemy armor. Oh. <laughs> Notice the rendering. Where, where about my troops? What are my troops doing? He's, he's just staring at stuff. What about the dude down here? You blasting? Okay, he's blasting. At least he's not useless. Hold the fucking line, boys! <laughs> Do I have any grenades? Nope, no frags. Oh, we're about to hit him on the left side. My, it doesn't look like my heavy artillery gun's gonna do anything here. Oh, those barrels are explosives! Multiple combat style. As you progress, you unlock new ways to play, including on the fly, switch to command mode to command posts and support units, piloting cataphracts, or engaging personally in combat. Boys, we about to spread some liberty. Some liberty.
You know what's a good bug? A dead bug. So how did I do that? Hold in place the core tower. Oh, I'm supposed to build. How did I build again? <laughs> Bro, how do how do we enter the build station? I think it did it automatically. What the fuck did these all call me? Z X C. Oh. Oh. The Sentinels. Oh. 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 You fucking missed, dude. The fucking Sentinel from Matrix, bro. It's the Sentinel from Matrix. <laughs> Destroy the drone swarm. I didn't put down a tower. I didn't know how. Guys, we're getting clobbered. Oh, there goes our turret. Well, one of them. Apparently, we won. So, how, how, how do I build here? Here's the ammo maker. Ammo box. Okay, press E, e to confirm. And then we just get nuked. Does it feel like you're supposed to survive that? No, they took out a big turn, did it not? Oh. Well, we just kind of got nuked from behind. The fucking acting in this game, bro. Oh, okay. A big boy ship. Oh. Oh no. Oh, those are reinforcements, I think. Oh, those, those are missiles? Those, those are missiles. The last stand. Is this how you're supposed to get me into the game? <laughs> I see. All, all the missiles just kind of bypassed our fucking defense and went straight to. Oh, come on. Bro, that wasn't even realistic at all. It, it felt like a fucking... Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm dying. I'm not dying, but... I think my base is dying. Oh, are my allies alive? Yeah, he's still alive. One of them, that is. He's not even shooting. Fucking bastard. That's traitors. Oh, wait, there's a mech. There's a mech. It's mine. Give it to me. I'm lagging. Oh! Guys, we got a mech. Mom, I want to play Armored Core! Honey, this is Armored Core at home. What am I looking at? <laughs> so they gave up hope because we have five giant little blocks coming down from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the game has great concept so far. It's just that the the, the the story, the acting is so fuck. Like I don't know. It feel like a child made this. Great. What am I supposed to do now? Evacuate. Where? Where do I evacuate? I'm supposed to build a core tower still. Uh-oh. Yeah, don't let it die, it says. The Borg arrived. So I had to make fun of that fucking starting story thing, whatever you want to call it. I think the story was just awful, but... Gameplay-wise... How do you guys think about the gameplay? Um, I'm actually kind of mixed feeling on this. I like turrets. I like it when guns go boom. Uh, both good and needs another three years of dead. <laughs> These were developed in mixed feelings. Oh, I had such a mixed feeling on all those cinematics, dude. It was just so awful. I'm sorry. The voice acting was awful. It didn't really feel dramatic as they would hope. Two of our outposts lying in ruins. Dawn has fallen. The Mechanos have locked down Stronghold Zero in an attempt to eradicate us for good. I'll keep playing it. But we I want to see what's, what's going on. The swath of barren waste has now become a beacon of our new hope. We gathered all the weapons we could find 
and headed toward our new home in the hopes of keeping the fight alive. Uh-huh. Five years later, a new base rose from the ashes. Codename, Phoenix. From the Cinders, Earth so United Army. Shall we be reborn? So is, is, the, is the concept of this game is that we're getting invaded by an alien species and we're trying to unite together to fight under one common directive, I guess, to fight against the alien? Yeah, I wanted to hear some dude breathing that hard as a cinematic. What am I listening to some kind of porno? Is that what's going on right now? Hello? Yo, brother, you need some help? Do you need a hand? You need a hand? I got I got my boyfriend right here. He can help out. It was good with some J. That's what I'm thinking too right now. I think the gameplay is solid. It's just that the story fucking sucks. <laughs> then again, I'm someone who doesn't give a fuck about the story. I like games because of gameplay, not the story. It's because my ADHD can't really follow up the story too. <laughs> Yo, I appreciate it, Stevie Ferret. Thank you so much, dude. Not again. It's about time. Come on over when you're ready. Lazy bolt plasma turret built for the board. I want lasers. I want lasers, and I want like uh, I don't know more more machine gun turrets. I guess. I'm hoping like the economy management would be good. Interface validating now. Authentication successful. Good afternoon, Lieutenant Fay. Who the fuck is that? Post eleven is standing by for your orders. Please report to the CIC immediately. It's a nice looking mecha. All right, tactical backpack, sure. Firearm, why not? I hope the equipment. So there's the equipment system. Uh, hopefully the equipment system would be good too, like solid. The wise. report is here. Thirty-two dead, six missing. Sounds like a personal problem. We're the only ones left. Get oh. <laughs> why, why are you making me walk through this? Just let me run, damn it. Let me run. Let me be free. My legs. Insubstantial, like just skip the weapon if it doesn't seem to have an effect. Wait, what do you mean by that? Like it's just shit during that fight. Maybe like you'll get like rocket launchers later. Who knows? I heard you got some booze. I'm busy. Booze? I'm still waiting for. Got a beer? 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 Andy. That model. Look at this model, bro. I stared at his model for a second. Maybe we get lightsabers. Rules! Little shiny laser sword. Which is laser weaponry. There it is, boys. The last bastion of humankind. Yep. The target area is currently clear of hostile rings. Good luck out there. Alright. What what if they purposely made the story and acting bad? <laughs> so we can make fun of it. Maybe that's all, but that's part of their plan, right? Can I fly that? Yo, guys, can I fly that vertebrate? I'm gonna call it vertebrate. It looks like one. Let me fly it. Okay, to be fair, that that, uh, that armor looks good. Nice helmet. No, don't take off your helmet. Keep that on. I'm ugly as fuck. Oh. Oh my god, guys. I guess I'm gay this stream. Yo, I'll, I'm hot as fuck, dude. Now shake that ass for me. Okay, this is actually pretty bad. Now, why can't they start off with this cinematic? Dude! Why couldn't they just start off with this cinematic instead? This was so badass looking! That wasn't cringe at all! That fucking story, that, that tutorial, that was cringe as fuck! This one? Oh my god, dude! 07! Holy shit! Hoorah, baby! Today, we retake the fight back to Seal. Those who stand beside you might be old faces or new arrivals. But this voice acting is better. World, we are one of the same. Together, we shall march towards the bitter end as brothers. Yo, what, what is that giant Let ass fucking thing over there? <laughs> I think we're fighting it right now. Let our deaths become the embers that ignite the fires of hope. Fight to the end. I have no idea what he just said, but okay. Fight to the end. Fight to eternity. This is beautiful. It's, it's no helmet hair because of plot. True. Hello. That is a tough son of a bitch. He survived Starfall. And he what the fuck is that? Dude, how do you fight something like that? Yo, anybody here played? Uh, has anybody here played Earth Defense Force before? 
do you do you guys realize that this has a lot of fucking inspiration from Earth Defense Force? This structure right here, because that's one of the structure from Earth Defense Force. <laughs> no, they try to like encapsulate your planet. EDF, EDF. Was your chick having an orgasm? Because my hair is hot. What do you think, dude? She saw my face and she's like, "Oh shit." I still want to fly one of those vertebra. Uh, I keep call I, I keep saying vertebra. God damn it, dude, vertebird. What is this command room? It is. <laughs> I love how people are just slowly phasing in. Oh, we are the valiant infantry. We are the alpha team with passion, camaraderie. I, I can't. I, I actually don't even know this. One man army with a can of serious whoop ass. Okay, I like that. You can expect enemy resistance in the valley. You mean like that giant, Once you have the big ass block? Install it into your outpost immediately. <laughs> my graphics on lowest because my PC can't run it. Dude, my CPU's at ninety percent right now. But yeah, my graphics on low because my PC can't run this game uh, quite well. Ninety percent CPU, but my GPU is around fifty percent, so it's looking kind of decent. But yeah, oh god, dude, is this what it looks like with no shadow? Okay, maybe I should turn on shadows just to see what it looks like, guys. Shadow, shadow, view distance, normal, post-processing quality, foliage quality. Uh, what happens if I put this to medium? Put that to medium. Shadow quality, medium. Uh, oh, I can see now. Holy shit. Now my CPU's dying. <laughs> okay, it looks a little bit better. I like the armor that they're wearing. Oh my god, dude, I just- wow, this is- this is the difference between having no shadow and a little bit of shadow. We'll keep the shadow on. Mind and thermal pace. I already bought it. It's coming in tomorrow. The new commander is here. Send for outpost 11. <clears throat> here you are, brother. You're even younger than me when I became commander. I'm impressed. Here's the outpost you've been craving. He feels so dead on the inside. When you speak to me that way, you just feel so dead on the inside. Is that my outpost right there? Is that where we're gonna put our siege tank down? Oh boy, I hope the fucking building is good. <clears throat> the enemy could strike at any moment. Take this time to familiarize yourself with your outpost. All right, Commander. Inspect the all-terrain car carrier, inspect the armored wall, inspect the core tower, and inspect the ammo maker. Look at things. Got it. Read. I hate reading. I can't read. Weapons can be deployed on flat surfaces. You As an ammo maker... Healing station to heal myself, nice. Uh, generator for power, you can replace the bar b battery. Wait, what? Why, why would you replace the battery? What is that for? Why should I? Uh, what else is there to read? There's like stuff on the fucking underground. Is there like a basement? Really, there's a basement? The core tower is the heart of the outpost. Mm -hmm. The core tower is loaded with an outpost core. It provides power and access the control center. The okay. outpost core maintains the Promethean field. Once that's gone, you'll be vaporized by Iatos. <laughs> the all-terrain carrier is the load-bearing section of the outpost. Yes. The mechanical legs will carry the outpost on any terrain. For safety reasons, these legs are disabled while the Promethean field is active. Wait, you can move your fucking t like you can move your base around? That's badass as fuck. I love how there's enemies right in front of our base, dude. Like, here, here's our encampment. There's enemies right there. Anyways, we're supposed to look around for cores. Cool, yo. I can't move faster by just crouch running. Okay. There's also sprint, but I think crouch running is a lot faster. Be with Zen to modify your weapon? So it's like a modification. How does that work? Strong, minimally increases damage. Weapon prototype. Don't know what it is. So there's like RNG factor for your gun. Uh, 10 damage, 10 damage, attack plus 30 for the basic core gun. You talking about this one? Oh, these are modification. <gasps> Yo, this dude, boys. Oh my god, it's modification. Boosters then minimally increase damage. The fuck? Morph Zen, fire high speed Zen rounds. 
I don't I don't know how to use it. What what is this for? Do I inject into myself? Chocolate! Chocolate! What do you kill this time? Um aliens. Lots and lots of aliens. What's up, M5? How's it going? Good morning. What copy you have? Want to know if mine can sort it? Well, I haven't I I haven't replaced my thermal paste on my CPU for a long time, data freak. But my PC is, contains an i7 9700K and a graphic card of a 2080 Super. It's just that I'm streaming the game at the same time, which provides more of a bottleneck for the system to effectively process this game. So if you're not streaming the game, then obviously you're going to have a better time and better graphics. You use outside the backpack? So G? Was it tab? I think it was tab to hold. It's not showing in the consumable tab. Let's take a look at controls here real quick. Just make sure that I understand. Just keep lines. Shoot, jump, sprint, focus, melee's V, seize, crouch, placing backpacks, Q, uh, holding, inspect is Q, interact is E, holster, draw, five, reload, throwing, melee, Zen one, Zen two. There it is. It's 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 quick news. These are quick news. Okay. Oh, it's right there. No, it's not. Wait, what? What the fuck? Where's, where's my action bar? Should, should it not be into? Should it not be placed into an action bar? Do we not have action bar? Free fire, instant cooldown, plot armor. <laughs> they will not die after getting down. <laughs> <laughs> <Plot. laughs> That's my character. All right, so apparently you can use it, but I don't think I can use it yet. All right, well, let's keep moving. I think there is physics in this game. If you can kind of slide faster and just jump, that could be a move tech. It should work for you, Zero Zinga. We gotta look around for crates, I guess. One day I'm gonna zip that bloody mouth of yours. Relax, it's a reverse jinx. Here she is. Dude, I'll they charge at you. <laughs> they fucking charge at you too. I'll be taking up a defense position ahead. There's no dodge. There's no dodge in this game. I'm not really good at shooters, by the way. <laughs> I like to have turrets do uh, dirty work for me. Or bots. And I believe, if I remember correctly, this game does have multiplayer support. Any goodies? Ammo? Okay. Basic looting system so far. It doesn't look like we have scrap that we can loot. Special item. We can store up, like, you can store... Wait, gold. 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 Wait, what? Gold? There's looting. My sensitivity is too fast. It's way too fucking fast. We're at 0 0.6, dude. I keep moving it down. I'm gonna go with 0 0.5 for five. Much better. Waiting for years for this game. Is it decent? Dude, the fucking... <laughs> the beginning of the game... Like, the story? Fucking sh dog shit. Like, one of the worst I've ever seen in my entire life of playing video games. Obviously, there's worse out there. But the gameplay seems solid so far. We're currently doing the missions. We're, I guess we're at the, um, introductory, past the introductory stage. Moving into the actual game now. Just moving around, picking up stuff. There's an EXP system. Okay. So there's levels. How do we utilize our levels? Is there anything up there? Sorry, I kind of like to look around and see if there's anything to be a loot goblin for. I am a basic bitch loot goblin after all. You're lowering the ADS right-click sensitivity. I think that's fine. Wait, so... Oh, there's regular mouse sensitivity. Okay, let's move that down to you. I'm gonna put that at 60. 64 is fine. 54? No, 64. No, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for mentioning that. that. That's much better. Don't know if they have weak spots. Moving towards the next mission. Care package. Gimme, gimme. Gold? Hell yeah. I like being rich. So what, what is gold used for? I, I guess you can buy stuff later. Another weapon. That's an underbarrel. A straight grip. Okay, okay. Okay. Modifications. Boys, if this game has good gunplay, I might like it a lot. Because I, I like games with good gunplay. 
I've been looking for a good gunplay game, aside from Tarkov, obviously. Zero Sievert, stuff like those. I just like games with good gunplay uh, in general. Sorry about that. <laughs> Got a little snorty snort. Uh, inventory's a little bit small. Underbarrel military issue, underbarrel attachment, that greatly reduced recoil and uh, auto recovery. Should be under this slot, yeah? There it is. Attack plus 10 or attack plus 31? Is that a modifier for damage? Don't know. What's the number two do? Is that a slingshot or is that an arrow? Let's find out. Holy shit. That's a special skill. These are skills for your uh, weapons, basically. That's that's kind of awesome. It's like an explosive. Why is my gun so much uh, slower to shoot? Is it because I'm aiming down the sight? Moshi Mosh? Did they drop anything? They don't drop anything. Any bullets. Unlucky. Well, at least we have a looter. We got a looter shooter so far, from what I've seen. Looter shooter, tower defense. Shitty story. Let's let's just ignore the fact that there's a story, yeah? Pick a lock, there's lock picking. A Cronin, I just came in, have the Vanguard edition so you can tell about its worth. Uh, I just started, bro. <laughs> I just started. What the fuck was- ah! Why does it look like that? Why am I so distorted going in here? Is that because of the graphics? I can. I think we can bump up the graphics a little bit more. I think medium graphics is a-okay. Guys, t tell me. Tell me the truth right now. When you're watching the stream, are we lagging? Are we lagging hard? Let's move this to medium. Reflection quality, global illumination, special effect. These can stay as normal. No? Okay, just, just making sure because typically speaking, when you see frame drops, it's because my CPU can be capped out. Brain lag? That's just me, though. That's a me issue. Skill issue. But yeah, I just started. I haven't really gone too far with the game mechanics, so I can't really explain to you if the game's absolutely worth it or not. I can definitely tell you the story's dog shit. I like the idea of the fact that there's a lot of booms and a lot of bangs. There's also weapon modification. There's a looting system that you can utilize. There's gold, which I don't know exactly what's used for you just yet. Right? So it's actually worth exploring the game just to loot. If you're a loot whore, that is. Are you loot whore? Are you my fellow fellow loot whore? Is that what you are? Good, because I'm also a loot whore. We're both loot whores at heart. You loot, you loot, loot. Loot, 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 loot. What the fuck? It's just an exploding barrel. You just... Why, why was it blue? Why, why are you kicking? How do I throw? Right click? Okay, cool. So you throw barrels at an enemy and then blow uh, blow it up, I guess, in midair. Try to look around for chests. Okay, I can actually get to the inside of these buildings. Why, why does it look like that? What is this? Carl barrel? So there's multiple barrels? Okay, cool. Wait. Saw ammo? You do want to pick up ammo? They go into your inventory. You can loot these nuts, daddy, you. I'm about to drag these nuts across your face instead. Would the enemy disintegrate, uh, disintegrate after death? I, I just say no. Man, I feel like you should be able to loot them. Outpost 8 will relieve you. Outpost 8, you have two minutes to eliminate all abyssal cephatrons. Outpost 10, break radio I'm outpost 11, right? And lure the apostles to the other side of the river. What about outpost 11? What do you want me to do? Come on, give me instructions. I mean, I, I guess I'm already doing my objective, so he's just leaving me at it, I guess. So you're a one-man army, you control like a big boy tank thing that moves around with you, and then you kill stuff. That's it. Can't go inside the building, unlucky. Yes, you can. Don't know what you are, but you die. You die now! You die! Die! Ooh. Oh god, dude. I can't fucking look at the inside. How do I change that? Is that supposed to happen? I think that's reflection. Give me a second. That might be reflection there. Reflection quality, slap that to medium. Global illumination, slap that to medium. Oh, wait, what? What, what just happened there? Uh, what the actual fuck? Hello? Hello? What just happened, bro? Is it dark? Press T to toggle your flashlight. Oh, I'm hacking. Guys, I'm hacking. Let's go. I'm actually hacking. That's why it was like causing that. It okay. 
Now we understand why the graphic was doing that because it was supposed to be dark. And well, apparently I'm illuminating. <laughs> fucking scared the shit out of me. Jesus fuck, dude. Give me a heart attack. You can't be doing that. It's not a horror game, please. I do want to play horror games still. I want to get into horror games. It sounds like fun. Screaming like a pterodactyl, of course. Nothing, nothing, nothing. A whole lot of nothing. But we got our mission. Let's get the fuck out of here, boys. Don't think there's any reason for us to go past. I have to lower my mouse sensitivity again. Did somebody say kaboom? Yep, he sure did. Love the little after explosion too. Why is there so many like enemies respawning? Well, I do get EXP for killing them. Hello. Back at you. It also seems like a back shot provides critical hits. Oh, come on, bro. We don't, we don't need health. Health is for pussies. You are a horror game. I am a horror game. I am. Oh. Okay, I thought I just picked up the Namada load. Resources are basic. So there's gold and ammo that we've been picking up only. And of course, quest items. That's it. Uh, We'd love to see like a little bit more like scraps and crafting if possible for this game. Military base. Did you choose any difficulty yet? I don't think there was a difficulty level. I just went in. Like, the moment you press new game, it just, it just kicked you right in. I'm fine with no difficulty levels. What, what, there's nothing wrong with that. A double roast joke? Tell me. Oblige. You can't roast me. I'm already roasted enough, bro. I'm cooked well done already. You can't cook me any higher than that. I mean, I guess you can burn the meat, sure. Yo, this is <laughs> wait. This is the same exact tent as the last one. It's a copy pasta. <laughs> I can just, dude. It's like the fucking tiny. Um, it's the tiny details that kind of just stands out the most here. It's kind of hilarious. When she looked at you, she thought she was playing a horror game. <laughs> oh my god. What? Do I just got in a random ass tank? These nuts, daddy, you. This is so random! Alright, anyways, out we go. Armor plate. Regenerates 20 armor and resists Kinesis damage. Ooh. Wait, how does that work? How do I equip it? Here's my armor plate. I think what you need first is actual equipment so you can put the armor plate on. Man, you telling me I just went into this battlefield without any helmets, glove, vests, and boots, even though I do have it on? I did take off my helmet after all. I'm an idiot. This, this character's a dumbass. Oh, hello. More armor plates. Any actual armor, though? Place the control core inside the container and brace yourself for the coming onslaught. You, you don't want me to build anything at all? Is, is, that, is that how it is? No building? I guess no building, then. But your loot goblin with plot armor. Yep. Yes, sir. I missed. You didn't see that. You, uh, Chad, you didn't see that. <laughs> Chad, you didn't see that at all. All right. See an increase in damage. Getting closer to our first level. Let's see what the leveling system looks like. Maybe there's like a build that you can follow. Hello, Bob Meister. How's it going, dude? Good morning. Ponzo Tank. Arate. Ponzo Arate. So this is a, uh, let's see here. Okay, that's cool. I can't wait to use that. <laughs> what, the fucking tank? I don't think you get the tank. I don't think you can make a tank. You can't drive it out. I tried to drive it around. It wouldn't let me. So far, it looks like a good game. Nothing to complain about so far. So I'm blocking. All right, so we slap that in. Can I put anything else in? You can. You can literally store stuff in here, too. So it's like your inventory. Cool. Uh, What do we want me to do next? Activate the recovery procedure. And how would you like me to do that? There's an area scan. There's open container area scan. So there's like, there's a shockwave system. So do look through all your tool tips. Heal yourself real quick. Small generator. What does that do? Re res conversion. Materials 402 out of 105. What, what does that even mean? I don't know what that means, unfortunately. Core tower, core tower. Press E to confirm. Okay. So what button am I supposed to press here? Activate the recovery procedure. 
The area scan? It's not area scan. It costs five power to do an area scan. I think those powers gone forever. These are decipherable, but you can't really do anything with it. Am I stupid? Alright, don't answer that question. Certain days you gather prep beforehand? I think so. I'm, I'm not too particularly sure. Maybe it's part of the mission. Want to spend money and go into debt, but the game prevents me from that dream dr <laughs> wish that we said. <laughs> you totally saw it, Cliff. No, you didn't. Alright, area scan. I don't know why I did that. It did nothing. Actually, no, we have a mini map. Emotional damage. Regular recovery, quick recovery. Oh, that's what it does. Okay, so we, we click regular recovery. Store it in the field storage. It gives me 10 of whatever the fuck that is. Two enemy forces. How do I build? Do I press B? No, that's my backpack. Oh, uh, hello. Hey. Okay, let's let's just close this door. <laughs> yeah, they'll never break through. We have doors. Grenade out. That's a lot of scorpies. That is a hell of a lot of scorpies. Am I shooting slow because I'm aimed down? What the Alpha fuck? Who was that, bro? Was that a scorpion with a- Oh, I leveled up. Nice. Was that a scorpion with a fucking G up? There is another one. Blow it up. Nice, 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 nice. All right, my turns are holding the line, boys. We holding. How many bolts I have left? Why does it cost so many bolts to shoot? It takes fucking 50 bolts per shot. Is it because the bullets are in the economy too? I don't think I have to do anything here. My turns are taking him out. <laughs> Kamikaze's man. Kamikaze Scorpion. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh oh. We lost power. Oh my god. All right, character skill. Press Z or X to unleash phase skill. Charge fire. Gain unlimited ammo for a brief time. Instant cooldown. Greatly reduce the cooldown of equipped Zen. I got no power, boys. We're dead. Dead. Uh, oops. You got in the way there. I think my barrel was first. How's it coming along? Fuck. No, my turn. My turns are still alive. It's so blasting. This time. Is it reload? Nice. I think that gives me free uh, ammo. Is that how it works? Where does the ammo go? He's gonna shoot so slow, man. Look at that recoil. What the hell is that? Oh. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. It, it, it seems like he has shield HP. My bullets! I'm out of bullets. Oh, wait, guys, I'm out of bullets. <laughs> that ain't good. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, I can't craft because I have no materials. Nice. What about power? Replace battery. Can't replace battery. Level up again. Two levels. Oh, Jesus, fuck, dude. Yo, if you're interested in Mad Monk, I highly recommend it, by the way. I normally take like a pill, or not a pill, sorry, a chewable, a Mad Monk before a stream. And it makes me really hyper. <laughs> makes you feel real good, too. Real hyper and real, real good. Highly recommend it if you're interested. There are like uh, supplements that kind of helps like make you feel better, makes your body healthier. There's also Mad Monk Green, which is a drink, and that replaces like your um, deficiency for vegetables and fruits. What is this game all about? Killing stuff, looting, build towers. What the hell was that I just looked at? That was like some kind of arc. What's up, Dar? How's it going, dude? Good morning. Is this Lethal Company? <laughs> I ain't no scrapper. I think I'm the opposite of a scrapper. I want better weapons. I'm not liking the gun I'm using. What the fuck am I? Wait! I'm not in the same exact area anymore! <laughs> Permission granted. Bro, what? Where did I go? <laughs> Crapper? Yeah, I crap all over the place. That's me. Please respond. 
I'm like a pet. Commander Fay of Outpost 11, line established. Thank Unestablished, you Commander. I will do my best to assist you in future battles. Shoot out beams that can repair outpost components and support units. Ugh. Sounds like a support uh support weapon. Cool. You know what I'm getting a lot of? I wish this. Oh man, dude, this game has so much potential to feel like a um, like a dungeon defender game. Really does have that potential. I'm so fucking slow with this. How, how the scarred muzzle shoot in, shoot out. So we're supposed to repair with this stuff. Is there anything anything, anything else I can loot here? Why do you gotta make me this slow, bro? Why? I think it's repairing. I'm repairing the wrong side. Give me a second. It's already repaired. This does have ammunition. You gotta be very careful. Oh god damn it! What's our bullet economy looking like? <laughs> Looks like shit. We don't have any ammo. For the past few days, I've been nervous about you being. You are in your right to be wary of AIs. My presence should not be made public as of now. You have you to be. Sure <laughs> She understands. She understands that I, I don't like AI, huh? She understands. All right. Well, I need ammo, so let's go and equip this real quick. Ammunition coming in. So does that just go directly into my backpack? Is that how it works? It is. All right. So there's ammunition. I seriously have no idea how this works still. What does that do? Uh, fires high-speed Zen rounds. Uh, booster Zen minimally increased damage. I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to, like, utilize this. I do have Zen. Zen, Zen skill, by the way, for the weapon. If you're like interested uh this gives me not a slingshot they have the same exact skill this just has a better bag size in terms of bullet economy you want more damage all right bye i guess <laughs> uh, it just floats slowly downwards what's the gravity on this uh, level hold q oh well, i never fucking do that thanks huh There's a buff? How, how does that work? How do I use the buff? There's a skill and a buff, so if I swap over to skill... Oh. You have to left click. Well, and it's gone. <laughs> it, 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 it's actually gone, gone. But that's had a rather unfortunate. What's next? Use ammo crates to replenish ammunition for two turrets? Oh. So you have to provide ammunition for your turrets. Reload. Okay, so we, we gotta craft two ammo boxes. Okay, so th there's bullet economy for your turrets, guys. Um, let's go over here. There's also a cooldown for crafting uh, ammo. This is Crisis with air, uh, tower defense? Yep. I never played Crisis before. I feel like if I played Crisis, my PC would actually just provide a nuclear explosion to my own room. Do you know where you come from? No. Who made you? No. I am unaware. Oh my god, a scrapping. Are you curious? Collect and accumulate Call enough supplies. Curious. Well, how the fuck do I do that? Um, it's Bonk. Oh, you can gather power. That's hilarious. More about something. If needed, um, I will remain curious about oops. Myself. Okay. So, so there's like scrapping. Cool. We are only, the only power? Which, what about fuel? What am I going to use fuel for? I guess, I guess for mechas. However, on future exploration days, you'll have to confirm the recovery items yourself. Once the recovery fleet begins their work, the mechanos will be drawn. Oh, they're actually working on a crisis four? Holy shit, dude. I never played any of the crisis, so I wouldn't understand. No, I'm consuming power. I'm consuming power. Sorry. This guy just threw a tantrum. And now he's acting like nothing happened. I'm consuming power right now. Um, Enter command mode from your right? Band. It looks like my material is full. Power is at 284. It costs six power to get materials, but my materials are full. Build a titan spike. I might have uh, overflowed without realizing I overflowed. I apologize. Uh, how do I build a titan spike? There's a cipher titan spike here. Build titan spike. I, I forgot how to build, by the way. <laughs> This backpack. Let, let me take a look at the controls for, for that real quick. We we had like a moment of understanding how to build, and I was like, "Well, how do I go back to that menu?" 
Uh, bark skill, toggle quick slot tab, aim, utilize, specialization skill, equip skills, toggle command mode. It's M. And then what? There it is. Small generator. The Titan Spike can enhance the output of the core tower, boosting the turret damage. It may also be switched to offensive mode to electrocute nearby enemies. Oh, it could be a support type too. So this is what the building looks like, boys. Oh, we have the. Wait, what? You have two. You have two spikes right there. Now you need. To, what do you need another spike for? Can I put it on top? You can. Um, where should I put this? I think I should just put it in the back. Well, no. I mean, they're only attacking from. Uh, sorry. Let's get out of this uh, area first. There we go. I got. I had to move. I had to move. All right. Put it right here. Combat mode activated. Combat mode activated. Uh, what's next? I gotta build two Titan Spike. Fuck. Can I move this? I can't move it. <laughs> my my OCD. Not my OCD. Oh no! My OC. I gotta restart the game. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not. I'm not gonna restart the game just because I placed it the wrong way. You can't move it. Yeah, you can't move it. That's unfortunate. What the hell are you even gonna try to charge? Whatever. I'm just gonna put one in front of the other. <laughs> we can have this offensive. And the other one just back it up. I guess. All right, guys. We do have ad break though. Walls. Retaliation stake wall for? draws enemy to attack them, deal damage to attackers, attacking them, uh, upgrading them increases protection area and counter attack damage. I think you just push in front. Pretty pog. So one stake wall here. How many do you want me to build? One or two? Three. He wants me to build three. Place one here. We do have ad break, guys, so we're gonna have to take a little breaking break, guys. Wait for further instruction. All right, so ADS real quick here. I got to use the restroom. We are back. Take a little quick three-minute break. Uh, and then we'll be back with more Outpost Infinity Siege. Good way to convert your he heating bill into an electric bill. Damn straight, brother. <laughs> kind of want to spend money in this game already. You can try it yourself. Uh, but we haven't gotten too far into the gameplay just yet for me to make a decision. Right? I need to play more. I need to understand more about this game. I can feel anything right now.
<clears throat> yes, yes, it is I, Grandpa Vice. <laughs> Give me a second, I'm chewing. I'm eating right now. Hey, I'm not that slow, all right? Shut up, I'm learning. Anybody here, um, wait. Spec skill? Trade skill? Gear skill. Gear skill. Great. That does nothing. To hey. Fleet. Anyone here eats baby set. tomatoes for fun? You can begin your work now. You just, like, order a box of baby tomatoes and just eat it? Stack on? Air support? Enemy signatures detected. Prepare for battle. All right. Might be an enemy. My right, boy, we hold the line. Maybe I should put the smart steak wall somewhere else. I do need more bullets. I don't need no boost field. I want to try to conserve ammo because I'm pretty sure my turrets can actually uh, provide better DPS than I do. It's got to be very careful. Uh, I don't think we should waste resources just yet. We'll blow up the exploding boys. Tactical Asian? Nah, Asian Elite. So we had Asian Elite, Deadly Optics, um, then Tactical Fried Rice. And then we have Tactical Fried Rice underscore. Doing pretty good. What do you mean? Uh oh. What about my outpost? The enemy has you surrounded. The outpost can't be evacuated. He's so dramatic. We recovered the control core. We He's so dramatic. We can't afford to wait another six months. The EUA won't be able to cover your retreat. I will break out with my outpost. Ah, uh, yes, Defying Command. I do not believe that to be an optimal choice, Commander. Defying Command, boys. Yep. I'm sorry. Every fucking every every fucking military game, defying command. Thank you. Let's Too many renames? Well, I'm not changing it anymore, so don't worry about it. I also agree though. Can't fucking shoot that barrel for whatever reason. Turrets? Hello? Oh shit! What the hell? Oh god. Oh god, we're out of ammo. Oh god. Boys, we're out of ammo. We're out of ammo. Not looking good. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, that was a huge explosion. Did you see that wipe, bro? Did you actually that wipe? I think we're getting materials for just killing them. Yeah, we're just getting materials for killing them. Charging mode? Uh, no, you still keep, keep charging. I want to put you in offensive mode. Electro mode, there we go. I don't know what the range is like, though. But we are running out of ammunition fast. They're breaking through! I'm about to bust the door! Sorry, what? What was that? <laughs> the fucking you! Set those bikes to offensive? Oh yeah, true. No, it's fine, it's fine, fine. We're, we're, we're about to get more ammo, boys. We're about to get more ammo, it's, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, I'll, I'll just keep reloading. It's kinda cool that we get resources for just killing the enemy, so I don't have to harvest it myself. I just need more storage. How do we get more storage, though? Reloading. Run, roll, raggy. It's always say big boy explosion right behind him. Kaboom, baby. It's a lot of robots. Oh, 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 thank you. Missiles, ballistic missiles inbound. Um, I already killed them all. Thank you. Now you're just shooting at me. The artillery pieces on the ridge are helping us. Wow. Okay, press Z to select bombardment location. Cool. Okay. 
God knows it's really interesting for what it was. Oh, excuse me. It's time for some payback. I think I bugged the game. All right, so, you, so when selecting the artillery, oh, I think I'm supposed to go to command mode. Press Z. I'm pressing Z. Oh, oh. Yo, I love artillery. Give me more. Uh, I don't like that being there. Is that all for artillery? Wait, do I have to manually use the artillery? They do have ammunition too, so you gotta be really careful with your ammunition use. Switch to direct fire. Uh, how do I give him more ammo? I don't think he can. Uh, I need to build more ammo. There's a lot of micromanagement to do. Reload. All right, swapping you to electric. Wait, they're also out of something. Electro mode for you too. Okay, hold the line, hold the line. Any big boys that we need to blast? Doesn't look like it. Level up. You missed. You actually did miss, you bastard. All right, easy clap. Easy. See? Even when we ran out of ammo, we still prevailed. Shooting the barrels to kill big groups of mobs? Well, let's actually double check real quick here. Yeah, so, okay, so they do automatically reload. Cool, yo. I think it costs resource for them to reload, though. Fucking love artillery, dude. Uh, any game that gives me artillery gives me hard on. Let's get out of here. This is Faye, calling any available transport. This is Helene Dubois. I am landing near your position. Perfect timing. Yo, the Frenchies are coming! What? Levi, I was only trying to. Bro, it's, it's like a fucking kid arguing against his dad. That's what the voice acting reminds me of. This is the first level out the tour. Well, second. Yeah, exactly. We haven't made it to the high level area just yet. What the fuck was that even? Am I seeing this correctly? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not imagining anything, am I? <laughs> Look at this shit. Is that our structure? That's not ours, is it? What the actual fuck? All right, anyways, where's, where's the fucking uh, aircraft? That looks like an enemy craft, but we have some kind of grappling hook towards it. Whatever. All right, out of here we go. Come on. Bring me to the next mission. That was too easy. I need to be harder. Doom looks in the sky, baby. Is the campaign map of this game going to be interesting? Because I like to be able to, like, go down and then harvest resources, I guess. Oh, yeah, there's me. Um, I'm a filthy fucking weeaboo. Fucking judge me. That's right. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those halo rings around Earth. You have just broken the recovery record, Faye. I knew I was God. See? They, they didn't even told me. Yo, congratulations. You got a recovery <laughs> record. You're welcome, guys. I, 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 I helped the Earth. Item value, item bar, base operative level 10. So there's EXP for each character, apparently. Click anywhere to expand. Game's still lagging like shit. Oh my God. I wanna, I wanna, dude, I wanna call down a tank. I wanna call down a tank and I wanna ride that tank. I just noticed a packet lost in the bottom left corner. If you're playing like multiplayer. After a journey across half the continent, this place better be amazing. Excuse me, someone having like 10 different characters, so it looks like it's pretty in depth. I'm looking forward to it then. And I feel like each character has like different uh, unique builds that you can actually follow. Story still sucks. <laughs> it's story sucks. Gameplay is good. I'm fine with it. Story, that's an add on. It could be a DLC for all I care, so I don't have to buy it. <laughs> uh, there's, that, there's necessarily some game that actually doesn't really have good gameplay, but a really good story, too. But I don't play those games. 
You don't stay in the game for a story? <laughs> so is this going to be like one of those Helldiver games? Because it looks like you'd have up to four players at a time. What is this, my main base? Hey, bro. That was some Stop fun shooting back on recovery day. Care to enlighten us a little? <laughs> what? Um, well, Yo, what's up, Bithy I appreciate the two months. Thank you so much for doing some. You need to take a Get hard girl. look at how you spent these hello, few hello. years on the battlefield. Yeah, right. Might I remind you I survived a pincer attack from two Kronos and got out in one piece? They look so dead <laughs> on the inside. But you still command the same way you did three years ago. They're talking you to each other, but they're not looking at each other. You've been the shortest lived commander of Outpost 4. They look so dead on the inside, man. I, I don't even know why I'm talking to these NPCs. <laughs> Kill me! <laughs> Kill me! <laughs> Talk to Levi Lau. Hello, Dad. Is Third Division still dark? Yes. The mechanism. He said dark instead of black. Recently, just enveloped the border woodland. <laughs> we can. I see. There's some time. Roger. This is the. Now, I'm just gonna skip Roger this. I, I I have no idea what he says. Nor do I care. All right, Barrick. Barracks. Here's Central Command. Really XCOM stylish. It's research station. Barracks. I guess we can go up. Up and up, up. Make up. Any elevators? Fuck. We gotta walk around. <laughs> Quattro, quadruple A game quality? Nah, dude. Penta. Penta A. Hey. Quintuple. Quintuple A. It's quintuple A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is she waifu chat? Is she waifu? She looks got a waifu. SN41512, Faye Pratt reporting for duty. Spare it. I'm not your superior officer anymore. If it weren't for your strict training regimes, I might have not made it this far. I was simply doing my job. Well, at least you add in voice acting so I don't have to read. You were here for your battle prep? You may visit the supply depot with the barracks and make your selection according to your mission's need. Gears, grant defense, and provide improvements to combat performance. Your backpack space is limited. Plan what you bring carefully. Now place the ammo crates inside your backpack. You're gonna need them later. Hey, ask commander. Yeah, all right. So there's a max level of 30. Tiger squad. That's me. There's Faye. By default, one out of 50. Oh, you recruit other players. No, no, you recruit, sorry, you recruit other NPCs. There's also combat rating 1.7, uh, HP 290, armor 20. So why do I feel like I'm playing a gotcha game by looking at this? Why do I feel like I'm playing a gotcha game, guys? Oh, hey, we got armor. Fuck yeah. Uh, I mean, I think one med kit's fine. So let's see your ammo box. I'll take that. That was part of the mission. Strong, increase what? Zen mentally increased damage. Energy B bar, energy bar. Grants one stack of Satan when eaten. Increase max HP by 10. You generate one HP every two seconds. For how long, though? Eminem, come on. Yeah. Well, who motherfucker do you want to make a love to me? We don't have come Eminem. On. What's yeah. up, knife? How motherfucker do you want to get fucked with me? Come on. Yeah. Jesus get Christ. fucked, motherfucker. Do you want to make a love to me? Talk with Sophia Barrick. That yeah. should do it. Oh yeah, Those motherfucker, do yes, you want to get fucked with me? Biden, Northern boys make banging parodies. Go get them, Jack. <laughs> she looks like she survived the strangulation attempt. <laughs> hey man, that's a that's a fucking fetish for some people out there, alright? Not my take not particularly me. Well actually no, you know, a dummy mommy out there with some thunder thighs, squeezing my head, making it go pop. Okay, maybe a little okay, but you know, maybe I'm going too far. Sorry about that. Uh, anywho. Gotcha so anthem was fucking go. Yeah. Starfield was a sixty dollar game and had the same special expressions. <laughs> True, and it stared you straight in the eyes, dead on the eyes. Needs more voices. What you want to pay that twenty five dollars per month for me? Then knife. Come on, come on. I know you do. Come on, give me that twenty five dollars a month and I'll buy it for you. How about how does that sound? Was it Kafka enjoy? Actually speaking, no, when I play Honkai Star Rail, I play I actually go for Hoo Hoo, I go for uh Yu Kong, uh I go for Ting Young because fluff is the best, alright? If someone wants to get strangled by Dami Mommies, it's Vertibok. I know him too well. Ah! Meta progression for your outpost. 
<laughs> That's what it looks like. A fucking. It looks like a construction wheelie. <laughs> uh, all right. So interact with components. Select and place them in the LMB. Rotate them using the mouse wheel. Adjust the camera angle by holding the middle. Yada yada yada. All right. I can't read. Anyways, components must be attached to their designated slots. Will automatically align and snap into place when brought close. Click the dude. You can make like a siege tank. Yo, guys, you can make a siege tank in this shit. Provides power to all components. Some components, such as floors, come with pre-laid wirings that can bring power to components that cannot function otherwise. The structure must be set on a load-bearing component connected ver- Oh, God, my bucket abs. Oh, God. Connected ver vertically to the uh, foundations to remain stable. If a load-bearing component is destroyed, all structures above it will com crumble. Oh. There's physics. Oh. It's physics for building. Interesting. All right, so there's armor wall. I think there's a two out of nine. So that's like the amount of like structures that you can place down or some sort, I guess. Um, can I, can I make it go outwards? Well, how do, how do I place my fours making it go outwards? Why is it glitching out like that? Please stop that. Um, I don't think there's anything I want to place down. I mean, what, what's the point of having two walls here? I want, I want to make like a, I want to make a, <laughs> a pyramid. Guys, I want to make a pyramid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to make a pyramid. <laughs> I already paid for my Hulu subscription monthly. I don't even use Hulu. Isn't Hulu like 12? She's like actually around 80 years old. Fox girls actually have long, the, the, the Fox girls in that game have uh, long lives. Agents are police. Maybe you can't build wider. Well, just because I want Fox girl doesn't mean I want to sexualize them. Hey now. I'm not that much of a degen, I think. The hell is that? What, what is that little thing with Bob here? Amp rack? Frame to enhance the durability of connected components. Grab a coffee and toughen up. Okay, so it's a it's a buffer. I mean, there's really there's values. What the hell's value? Needed for outpost reversal, activating function, and making your exploration easier on various occurrence. Materials used for crafting items, deploying facility and units, and core outpost boost all turret damage, expends container space. Uh awesome. No assault, there's modulars, uh, which we can already put in the back. I don't really, what is, what is this? Allows you to deploy 10 extra smart, oh. These are also, these are definitely meta progression. Power load, level 20, decrease max power. So we need more max power if possible. Uh, I think we just build more small generator for that then, I guess. Core output plus 10, accelerate the cooling of the Zen and generated power with the amplification. Just that I don't have any resource to build more. Don't know exactly how it works, but whatever. Do we have like multiple outposts? Just confirm outposts, modify outposts. I guess we just confirm it. Oh, this is your um, time to go in type of screen. All right. Holy shit. What the fuck? All right, now, now, now here's the fun part, boys. Here's the fun part. Let's fucking go. Enemy power, 1,000. Maximum recovery time, 120. We have well-prepared outpost buff. Deployment power, plus 100. Outpost max power, plus 50%. You get miners. Collecting resources will appear during recovery day. Usable supplies will be deployed for recovery day. Friendly forces deploy machine guns to support you during recovery day. I want to bring more troops in. I wish there was, like, troop stuff. Anyways, we'll go into this little area, then. Uh-huh. Wait, is that the same exact area? Can we, can we move up? No, I can't go to Border Woodland just yet. So we have to go back to the windy desert. Please confirm operation. Oh, there's one more sand with my ice cream. What the fuck is the save config? <laughs> confirm, save config. Uh, I'm just gonna skip it. There's also public lobbies. Private lobbies. Oh God, people would join me. Sure. Once you start the tour, there's no turning back. If you abandon the tour, you will face MIA. <gasps> Outpost 11, launch confirmed. The operators have left the base. Boarding the tour early will cause your operative to go MIA and lose all their handheld items. New. So you can't leave. You actually have to finish your run. What if? What if? What if someone dies in my family, man? I gotta. I guess we just leave the game up. Yes, it is red. 3D red. It is literally a base on top of a moving tread. Oh, neat. Each area has multiple levels to choose from. Yep. Recovery complete. Direct recovery. What, what do you want me to do here? Interact with the tactical map. Do, do I leave? The fuck is this shit? What's, what's the point of having this goddamn place? What, what, what is this place? Is it for other people to join my run? 
Vertical springboard? Yoink. No jumpy? Okay, it fucking sucks. That's what it does. I thought this was a springboard. Jamming time. Alright, let's move in. The hell is this? The what? Something for life. How's it gonna do? Exploration day. Please select a route to begin the search routine. Hmm. So you choose a route. Destination will inevitably attract the attentions of the Mechanos. So you must not linger nor backtrack your search. <laughs> there's like a okay, what I'm seeing here is that there's a roguelike map. Is there some kind of AI talking to me? Is that, is, that, is that what's going on right now? Is she trying to explain stuff to me as I'm trying to choose through the fucking map? Work till death, baby. Huh? Wait, so how did my building get there? Vertibok bird? Yeah, yeah, Vertibok bird. Yeah, these guys are a little bit beefier than usual. All right, here's my base. Okay, what do you want me to do? Am I supposed to just do missions? Uh, explore and collect rad source extract. All right, okay. Uh, we're probably gonna need to put down turrets soon. My resources are going up too randomly. Is it automatically gathering this shit? Wait. Oh no, that's just some random electricity. Okay, well let's move then. That's what we wanted. We explore, we loot. Ammo, what a deal. Is that Claymore? Reactive mines stick to items that explode when enemy comes nearby. Let's pick the basic material. Calming building material. So there is some meta progression in this game through looting. All right, you got my attention. Booster Z, light strike. Hitting enemy triggers a light strike. Grenade out. Oh, did I do that? So sorry. <laughs> and he's gone. All right. Uh, message, Sophia, uh, hidden useful items. The switch is nearby. Search carefully. If you can't find it, use a detector in a nearby box. It'll help you locate them. Wang! My people. My fellow homies. Detector marks nearby enemies and items. Stuff down here, too. Another basic material. What can we use basic material? A cryo barrel? I thought that was like a level 3 cryo barrel or some sort. Um, pretty sure we can enter through you soon. I think I just picked the plant extra. I got it from compounds of multiple plants used for it. I didn't get to read the rest. What the fuck's wrong with you? I'm trying to read here. Try to show my chat how good my literature skill is, alright? There's got to be a switch nearby. I'll look for it later. I want to loot. <laughs> I'm a looter. I'm a looter at heart. I gotta loot. I gotta go around and loot, boys. No, this is actually a pretty good game if you want to play with friends. So far, I'm, I'm, I'm digging in a lot. Uh, just, just don't, just don't lose the brain cells that you have. Whatever's left over in your brain uh, by listening to the story. There is no story. We pretend there's none. Ah, uh, here's something. Dude, that's a missile coming out of a gun. There's something in here. Moshi Mosh. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Jeez, I didn't see that. I didn't expect him to be to my right. There's another one. Uh, what the hell did I just do? I just rescued an accident. It's like no loot at all. Hello? Loot? Hello? There's something upstairs. What you guys doing inside this house? You're just robots. You don't need shelter. Question is, how the fuck do I get up there? How do I get the fuck upstairs? Is there some kind of stairs in here about? Hello, Moshi Mosh. Moshi Moshi, what is the point of having this building if you can't go upstairs? Can I climb this? I barely can. Fuck. Dude, there's something up there and I wanna go upstairs. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I love how the AI just bugged, bro. We rat extract? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what, what the fuck? He's cheating! Uh, actually, wall hacking. Fuck you. That didn't kill him. 
He's just hitting through a fucking door, bro. That's not even fair at all. Any loot? Ooh, an EG bar that I'm probably never gonna use. Ever. Oh, yeah, I have a backpack slot. Yeah, 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 so yeah, okay, so you do have inventory management, a little tad bit. I don't think we need this many energy bar, but honestly, I could use some healing, so we'll use one of us. How would I be able to do- <laughs> This is a little animation for eating, too, that's adorable. Um, how would I be able to utilize the claymore? Is there a way to put it down? Use, okay. I think that allows me to put it down. Alright, well, it seems like most of the map is tiny. You don't, You can't really go far. So what would you call this? An extraction tower defense? Is that what it is, chat? The extraction tower defense? I'm almost out of ammo, am I? Oh shit. No more ammo, my lord. Well, that's gonna be a huge issue. The fuck? You can actually loot the back of a vehicle? What? What? Why am I given the option to open up a vehicle? What? What the actual fuck? It's like playing DayZ all over again. Not like this. Not like this. You can remove the tire, huh? Okay, I get resources from it. Does it cost power to remove the tire? <laughs> what? Okay, so it does it cost resource removing the tire. So you can salvage tower tires, but not the car itself. Can it, can it, can it not just be a extract all? I just got five of random ones. Yeah, I don't have I don't have the rocket jump ability for this gun. I have a I have a rocket launcher that shoots actual rockets instead of rocket jump. Oh, it gives me materials, and I need materials to make ammunition, so we're gonna have to extract. It doesn't cost anything to remove tires too. Every time I remove the tire, my game lags. Are we about to hit? <laughs> are we about to hit? Um. What's that thing called? Memory leaks? Moshi Mosh! You having fun in there? Fine, I'll join in the party. He's a little explosive. They're on top of each other. Might, go, might as well go boom. That costs quite a bit of ammo. I gotta use it again. I wanna wait for the cooldown. There's just can't be the door. That's rude. That's really rude. Uh. Where's the rest of you homies? Yeah, 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 come over here, come over here, come over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the, what the fuck? What the actual fuck was that? Huh? Please don't do that ever again. Let's get the fuck out of here. It's like it's some kind of spider thing, dude. I'm out of bullets, man. Pay being broke of money. Mission item? We'll grab the mission item in another time. I, I need loot. I gotta get the loot, boys. I wish the looting could be a little bit better and whatnot, but I, I gotta grab the loot. Yeah, give me, give me. Yeah. Rad resource extract? Okay. Anything else I can grab? Grabby grab? Yeah, 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 yeah. Any grab grabs? Any grabbers? Grabber? I don't even knew it. Have life all over again. Dude, it's just jumping through the goddamn window. I didn't know that was a spider. A spider type. All right, so we're supposed to slap this in here. Uh, open container, slap this in here. And I think you're supposed to like do a regular recovery or some shit. Uh, metal scrap that can be used to manufacture various outpost components. I believe you're supposed to bring this back to the main base. Super conductive material. Super conductive, very conductive. Grant two stacks of stated when eaten. There's fiber. So these are all like crafting items. Um, man, I want to be able to make stuff. Uh, healing station, then use powers to heal. Ammo maker. I need some power, please. Thank you. Um, how do I use this again? Alright. Oh, yeah. Forgot. You can use it here, too. More bullets, please! Thank you very kindly. Yum, yum. That's right. I brought, I brought in ammo crates. I'm an idiot. Alright, so let's see here. How do we build? Command mode activated, Commander. We got Titan Spike, but we don't have any machine gun turrets. Oh, I want machine gun turrets. I miss my machine gun turrets, guys. I want, I want some more machine gun turrets, please. Resource conversion. Converts 150 resource into 15 power. Oh, God. That's really expensive. All right, well, do we do we even have to defend this thing? Try to open the hidden door. Locked door. Activate the recovery procedure. 
Okay, so he wants me to open this locked door over here. Is that the bathroom? Looks like the bathroom. Why would I want to fucking open the door to the shitter? What, what do you want me to do here? Wait, what? Hello? So, try to open the hidden door? Oh, okay, so do I do I beat the shit out of it? Oh, okay, yeah! Yeah, this, 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 yeah chat, chat. We're gonna set up a micro, and I'm gonna go AFK. I'm gonna go to sleep, alright? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to sleep. You're gonna watch me break open this room by spa sta s s spamming V over and over again. You little loot goblin, I sure am, dude. Yo, welcome back with a 10 stream streak, brother. Thank you so much, man. Use a crowd barrel? Smart. I don't think that's gonna do anything, but smart. Yeet. Oh, what the fuck? Game, hello? Thank you. Let's get digging. What's next? Anytime now. Now? Stupid! How about now? Floating. There, fucking go, baby. Yo, what's up, Danielle? Watch. Yo, appreciate the the resell with the eight months, man. Appreciate it. Welcome back. Get scammed, idiot. How many hours would that take? <laughs> How's the game? Are the negative reviews correct? What's the negative reviews? I never really read the negative reviews. Is the story hot garbage? Fuck yeah, this. The story is absolute garbage. I'm a looter at heart, so I love looting games like these. He's telling me to open this fucking door, but I have no idea how to open it. I don't think these barrels are going to do much. <laughs> why, why does it have... Okay, shooting it does 8 damage. That was not really worth it. What What if I go with explosive rounds? Out we go. They did nothing. The 55 damage. Bro, the, how the fuck do you open this door? I think there, there has to be some kind of puzzle. Try looting through the wall if it works. That's not how it works. Uh, do I give up? <laughs> Crashing in performance so far? Yeah, the, the performance is dog shit. Def when I went to the main menu, my FPS immediately goes to 20. Uh, when I talk about, let's see here, what else is there? Probably switch somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that's actually pretty true. The story is Militia Men from Sci Fi Space for Ceiling from Super Space, but basically Fortnite saved the world with uh, decent looting mechanics. That's why, yeah, that's the thank you. You narrowed it down for me. Shoot the lock, I don't know. That's not gonna be much. Someone said that there might be a switch somewhere. Listen, man, I fucking suck at puzzles. I hate puzzles. Interesting building and gameplay. That's what I want to look at. I like the building system so far. I think what you have to do is come in with meta progression to be able to build uh, your type of, uh, you know, outposts. And you can, after you're done with the mission, you can further enhance your outposts. I still don't know what that's connected to. <laughs> Message in the roof? Oh yeah, true! I've hidden useful item and switches nearby. Search carefully. If you can't find it, use a detector nearby box to help you locate them. Oh, there is a switch. You're right. I'm an idiot. I can't read. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Guys, guys, guys. Hear me out. Chat, chat. Hear me the fuck out. I can't read. All right. Do you know how hard reading is? I don't know if I want to use the item detector. What if I want to use it for other things? Fine, I'll use it. Fine, fine. Here, give me a second. I, I, gotta, I think I'm, I, do I need to do up here? I think the switch is up here too, somewhere. Where are you? Detector. Alright. Oh. <laughs> God. Bro! <laughs> it was right there on the stairs! <laughs> it's on top! Ooh, there's gold. Mm. Uh, component regent, nice. Got liquid metal. Can I drink it? Chat, chat. Can we? Can you drink the liquid metal? I might as well just drink it. Read these. Got him. What's up, Lump Croissant? Jumping at the top. No, 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 no. You're all wrong. You're all wrong. Stop being wrong. Oh, I guess I was supposed to build shit. We got company. I'm gonna need a little bit of backup. Interact with the core tower to end the exploration. Okay, so we're done. And then we move to the next area and we keep looting. Easy, fucking clap. Wait, that was it? That was it? Oh, no, no, we're back in the tactical map here. So, 
Select an incident reward. During this tour period, for each enemy killed, attack increases by one point. All assault components gain 3% increased attack for outpost buff. This is only- oh, this for this entire tour. This, this is the last map. I'm just gonna grab it, fuck it. This is the last map that we're going towards right now. Proceed for 30 energy. I'm so smart. You see that? Just press a button. It's so easy. So it's so good at puzzles. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, I haven't had the game crash on me yet. So I don't think this game is gonna work on low end PCs. We better be careful. If you're outnumbered, come right back to your outpost. The weapons will take care of them. Oh, true. Are you talking about? Wait, I don't have any weapons. What what weapons are we speaking of here? He's like, oh yeah, the weapons will take care of them. But wh where are the weapons when I didn't place any down? Am, am I supposed to place down some weapons? Oh hey, dead turret, dead turret, banned outpost. Let's go around looting real quick. See if there's anything kind of juicy for me to grab. Anything up for grabs? No grabby grabs. Oh, what if I go over here? You die. Okay. <laughs> you just die. Explore and collect an MG turret barrel. I probably should have not disable that because we just overpowered some resource. Give me a second. Um, do I want to put down a turret? This is the last uh, map after all. Alright, so we want to slap down some Titan spikes. Why the fuck not? I'll put like one down. It's going to be my like offensive weapon, I guess. A wall right in front of it. And I'm gonna swap this bad boy to electro mode. Now blast him! Shoot him! Do it! Oh, this is the electro mode. I'm an idiot. Dark. Kind of monkey. Embrace monkey. Oh, excuse me. Actually, let's test on this dude. Come on. Come on. Let's see if it does uh, something. Slowly just waddling his way over. And then this, uh, this wall here would actually pull aggro. Okay. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> One tap. One tap. Pathetic? Hey. It's not my fault. <clears throat> it's not my fault, I swear. It's not my fault. Moshi mosh. Swap into explosives. What if there's like melee weapons that you can use? Uh Oh, did I do that? Yeah, what if there's like melee weapons that you can use? Um Hello? There's a dead person right there. Melee weapon that can like explode on impact. Bro, I want explosive weapons, dude. But that's just melee. Why can't we have those in every game? Why? Why? Oh, yummy loot, baby! I love loot. Give me more. Wink. Oh, look at all those goodies. Oh, what is that? Booster Zen minimally increases damage. Okay, cool. Something I probably won't use in the long run. Uh, new material. Oh, I think we're inventory is full here. <laughs> Eh, I don't really want this. Get the shit out of here. Um, how do I drop this? No, don't throw it, idiot. What, what, what if that's explosive? Wait. That is an explosive. Starting device to envoy generator uh, capable of producing massive current. <laughs> I think you use big words. I can't understand. Let's see here. Straight grip. Another one. 32 attack. I don't think I want that at all. 31, 32? This one's better. I might just drop this unless I can uh, discard? Not discard. I, 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 sorry. Fucking. Salvage. Unless we need salvage. Please don't drop some random stuff. I need that. 
I don't even know what that was. What, 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 what did we just drop there? Ooh, we got a grenade! Exposing an area after a delayed fuse. Hey, <laughs> hey, boy, did somebody say some explosions? Oh, yes, okay. Oh, now we're talking, baby. We got explosions. I've been reading a lot of solo leveling again. I read soul leveling already. I read the light novel, read the manga, watched the anime. Now back to reading the manga again. Fuck me in the asshole left and right. Hmm. Starting to buy sand boy generally capable of producing explosive current. Oh! Is this, just, is this a weapon? It's a weapon, isn't it? Oh god. It didn't do anything. It didn't fucking do anything. What am I supposed to do with this? Do I just drop a bunch of stuff? So you can pick it up? It doesn't go into my inventory. Place in backpack while holding? You to place in backpack while holding. It's too big. It's a 4x4. Four four. Why is the thing so massive? Is it 4x4? Four four? No way, right? It's, it's still not going in my inventory. All right, fuck it, whatever, I don't give a shit. It's not even blue. Look at it, it's, it's, it's gray. It's like a low tier item. Who gives a fuck? Uh, I dropped something I shouldn't have. It's gone. Oh God, no. Oh no, I think I just dropped something valuable. Uh, where do you go, where do you go, there it is. All right, uh, there's the other one. All right, we got everything. It's up there. Gonna try to open up with a two, two by two. God, I'm such a loot whore. Can we can, can we have a backpack expansion? I think there is backpack expansion because there's slots down here. I don't know if that's part of the armor. Lots have a stock too, if possible. Or sights, maybe a better sights. I don't know. I'm not a fan of iron sights in this game. You know anything inside? Ah, it's too dark to see. All right, who who built these compartments, man? It's so compact. Plating? No. Oh, I, MG bird ter uh, turret that I can't hold. I, uh, I, uh, guys, I, I, I can't get her. I'm too fat. What do we need to drop? Okay, we, we can drop some energy bars. We don't need these. Uh, my energy bar? You know what? We don't need chocolate bar either. No. My loot goblin heart. It hurts. There's ammo right there. I don't, I don't know what else to drop. Uh, do, do I really need this med kit? Do, do I really need this med kit? Free some inventory, you goblin? No! You can put your stuff away in a recovery box and come back for it? Wait, what's a recovery box? The hell's a recovery box? Are you talking about the box inside the core? That box? Sorry, I didn't do that. Just stay away from me, bitch. He's just stuck. I like the graphism, the tower defense. I like, honestly, it's just the fact that it's the extraction, this thing right here. I mean, I guess we can put it in here temporarily. It's just that if you pick regular recovery, you lose it all. So you gotta be extremely careful here. Can you move my cam overlay? Where do you want me to put it? I think my cam's in a good spot. There's, no, there's nothing there. That's the wrong overlay. Where, where would you want me to put the, are you, are you calling me ugly? Is it? <laughs> Uh, okay, we'll put it there. Better? Now you can look at my face next to the map. Wonderful. It was over the inventory. Oh, my bad. And I didn't notice that. Sorry about that. Oh, true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah now, now, see, now, now it covers my face in game. But, but my beautiful face. My, my, obviously, my face is more important than the inventory. God. The nervous some people. I'm again. No way. Alright, alright. Yeah, we place down turrets. Got it. So that's what he wants me to do. Place down more turrets. Alright. Sure. But I'm not done looting yet. Ooh, so that's where the ID card comes in, right? It consumed the ID card. Any goodies? 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 Any goodies here? Ooh. 
shoots out beams every repair, outpost components and support units. Uh, that's not what I want. Scrap metal, ammo. More scraps. I love scraps. Jesus, fuck. Come on. The hell is that, bro? That doesn't even look like a gun. What is this? Oh, it's a barrel. Barrel of mass produced gun barrel that slightly increases your hip fire accuracy. I was like, that does not look like a gun. Did I even change the model of my gun? Look at where the sight is. Okay. Ooh, cool. But it only improves my hip fire. Unlucky. Streamer, this is an order from the Pentagon. We need you to make the face cam bigger to make the stream more profitable. Ah, uh, true, true. Scratch that. The sponsor asks you to make the ad at least five times bigger. Praise <laughs> Altman. What is recovery? Recovery? Uh, that's a good question. I have no idea. You recover to actually extract the resources, I guess, from the main item that they want you to pick up. And that's when the enemy starts attacking you. That's what I think. You're a super soldier, you don't need chocolate bar, but my chocolate. Oh, I overflowed. Unlucky. All right, whatever. This does improve DPS, so hopefully we do more damage. With the barrel? What is that? It's a material. That ain't no material. Enables you to transfer pulse energy via what the fuck? Is I didn't even get to read it! Yeet. Wait, 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 wait. This is a puzzle. Char charging uh, connectors can be affixed to most surface. Put the electro orbs on the plate to charge the connecting object. Oh! Oh, I hope I didn't eat that too far. Ah, there it is. All right. I see. It's a puzzle. It's just slows me down. Wait, wait, wait. There it go. Okay. I fucking yeeted that shit. It slow me down. So I just yeeted it. Give me a second, guys. <laughs> give, give me a hard second. We'll deal with that later. I loot. <laughs> loot comes first. <laughs> There's nothing up here. Wait a minute. Is that how I get up? Oh my god, I can just do that? That's awesome. There's just double jump. I don't, I don't need no fucking support. I keep going up, boys. Just double jump all the way. Nothing to fucking loot up here. What's the point? What is the point of me going up here for? It's control tower. Oh, hello there. You got a breakthrough helmet armor? Okay. Oh my god, what a badass looking helmet. Boys, fucking style points. Did it change my uh, look? You can't see it. Is my camera's in the way? No, it didn't. Huh? My first victim. Three thousand six hundred damage. All right, cool. You can use that for turret defense. Please let me down. I'm stuck in here. I'm gonna... don't, don't tell me I'm stuck in here. Please, please don't tell me I'm stuck in here. Okay. That was so badass. Okay, so the question is, what the fuck am I supposed to do that that little puzzle thing at the uh, uh, at the entrance? What are, we, what are we supposed to do with this? Throw it up there on a turret? What's this for? How far can I move with it? Oh, it has infinite range. It does have infinite range. <laughs> I don't think that does anything, by the way. It doesn't do shit, man. I don't know what to do with it. It says something about the ball. 
Would you shoot your friend? Of course I fucking would. Are you kidding me? I have to test this. Like, is there a friendly fire? Oh, there is? Oh, God. They gave it to me too, too much power. Of course I shoot my friends. If I have viewers joins the game, I see him. Very first thing is the bullet to the head. Or try to, at least. Alright, so where do you think they're going to attack from? Whatever's forward, I guess. It doesn't really tell you exactly where they're going to come in from. They can come from all sides. I don't know. Uh, anywho. So this barrel goes in here. I gotta get all my gear out before it gets dissolved into nothingness. You can stack that. Nice. Alright. Inventory's a little tad bit full, though. I do have two ammo boxes. We just put this inside the turrets. I guess. I don't know why it wants me to make another ammo box for it, but here you go. There are MG turrets nearby. Reload them and they'll be ready to use. Are you joking? Okay. They were missing the barrels earlier. But their ammo reserves are limited and need to be reloaded regularly. But I was looking at these MG turrets earlier. They didn't really have a barrel. There was only one barrel. And I think this is the one that was inside the... Wait, what? All right, well, whatever. All right, time to build. Command mode, sir. Command mode activated. Okay. Basically, one more here. One more here. I think this is supposed to face the other way. <laughs> Actually, I think my spike turns are placed the wrong way. Oops. I can't even rotate them anymore. Oh, well. Whatever. Um, where else? Don't have any more resources. That's unfortunate. All right, let's begin. Fucking epic music during combat? Let's fucking go, baby. So random. They can hold the line without me. All right, guys. They can hold. I, I need a salvage. Oh, fuck. We're, we're almost out of power. Never mind. Never mind. We can just collect resource from killing stuff, all right? MG turret fucking doing work, baby. Probably just use explosive rounds here. Hold the fucking line, boys. Hello? Their attack is really slow. I'm not liking these shirts. I kind of want to move out of spikers as soon as possible. What's next? Is that it? Are we done? They track with the core tower to an exploration? It was that easy! You're joking me! You fucking shit fucking me! Alright, well, I guess we're done. There's our first mission, boys. We did it. I got loot. How do you get more power? You can convert materials into power. That's one of them. Uh, otherwise, I think you're supposed to build more generators. So you start more power every time you go into the next mission. You should be done here. What the fuck? There's more. Machine gun tower mounted to a core tower. Good start. Operative will have a higher movement speed for a short time at the start of the day. Each kill within the X boost field will give you gold. Max HP times 0.5%. Enemies have a higher defense when outside the field. Ooh. High risk comes with high reward. It's like agreed. Game is pretty fun so far as long as you ignore the voice acting and the uh, story. Just, just ignore those. But otherwise, the game has... Honestly, some pretty good replayability uh, for what I'm seeing here. Tower Weapon Reef. Outpost buff. All right. Let's get that out of here. Am I supposed to get hit all three of them? Oh, wait. What? Head to the Windy Desert and recover the MG Terror Barrel. Did I not just do that? We're done. Current research project finishes. Oh, there's research projects too. Oh, are we not done? Field storage? Yeah, this is all the gear that we're bringing back. Oh, don't. Oh, guys, I think I think we're supposed. Oh, you know, all that loot I have in my inventory, I'm pretty sure I was supposed to put inside the core. <laughs> so it goes over here. Oh, no. Uh, are we not done? Oh, there's return to base. Right. Items collecting this exploration items to take back to base. Uh, oh. You live, you learn. Yeah, but all that stuff that I had. Dude, that sucks. It is what it is, I guess. 
What is this uh, uh thing up here? There's a one, two, there's a one, three, four, five Roman numerals, whatever reason. 65 seconds. Estimate time for recovery. Call the fleet. Oh, wait, can I go? Okay, you know what? I think I think what we can do here is go into the next map. Yeah, we're going to the next map. Um Oh, there's food storage. There it is. There it is. Alright, now we can actually put some stuff in. Nice. Look lore. Don't really need as many medkits. Consumer regenerates 20 armor and resists uh, Kinesis damage. Uh, I'll take one consumable back. Put in main storage. That's a lot of energy bar that I don't fucking need. I have like chocolate bars. Actually, let's bring in two energy bars instead of the chocolate bar. Ammunition is always necessary to have. Fiber or ammunition. Specifically for the turrets. One grenade should be good. I'll bring these in. Okay. So here's our field storage. Must be used in the base. Items will be lost if the recovery is failed. Okay, so that's in the field storage now. Um, Put in all. Okay. 120 seconds. Call in the fleet. And I think this is when they attack us. Right. 533R for total recovery. Components regions 245. Events will bring extra reward and risk. There's not a lot of explanation of how this shit works, but I think we're starting to figure it out. Call in the fleet! Once confirmed, items in the field storage will be removed after the operation starts. Yeah, that's fine. Confirm. Heading for the target area. Be prepared. So you're not gonna bring my gun? No, I'm already equipping my gun. I already equipped my gun. What do you mean? Oh, there's an ad break. Save, noob. What? This is not a single player game. You can't save. This is actually a multiplayer game. It's TD Tarkov. I enjoy it. Yeah, this is what I'm getting so far. Without the PvP. It's a, P it's a pure PvE game. With co-op. Oh, God. Wait. Okay. Where are they gonna come in from? Wait, 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 wait! I, 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 there's that break going on right now, so we, we're gonna we're gonna take a small little break here. Uh, I do need to get a little bit more water, so give it bear back. I guess back with that. Yep, yep, yep. We're taking a break. We, we're breaking. We, we're taking a break. We take a break. We take a break. So nobody misses out on anything. Give me a second, lads. That break over? Oh, I wanted to eat a little bit. 
Um, give me a couple bites. All right, welcome back, guys. One more, that's not how it works. What's funny is that every um every time an ad break happens, I can't run any more ads after that. I think three is like the absolute maximum. All right, so you go back to like some kind of base here with extractors that gives you resources. Cool. Um. The materials are there supposed to help you defend your base a little bit more. Uh, now the question is, where do they attack from? Where, where do they attack from? It does seem like we have infinite placement for these tower uh, electric turrets. I see that we have a turret over there. What I what 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 do I hear, Bird Bark? Oh, Bird Bird. Oh God. <clears throat> I think my brain's moving too quickly. Uh, let's place another wall over here. You cannot place a wall over here. Where? Where? Oh. <laughs> Right in front of my extractors? Really? Is that it? Where else? I got reinforcement coming from the uh, air. Did they both land up there? They both landed up here. He's joking. I mean, we do have spikers over there too. Yep, placing down walls. Trying to place down walls. Those aren't doing enough damage. Oh, that's not good. Kaboom, baby. This is fine. They, they should be able to hold. Can you reload? I think. Holy shit, that's a lot of scorpions. Hold a lot, boys! Hold! I need fucking regular turrets. These turrets are so unreliable. I think we have a breach. Uh, yes, we did. We sure did have a breach. Oh god. Holding the line. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, explosive. Explosive shells. Hello. Wait, these guys are actually doing work. Oh, no, that, I think that's my turret at the top. <laughs> it's, it's not even my spike, it's my turret at the top holding the line right now. Call for evac, recovery is complete, neutralize the enemy around the uh, outposts. Call evac, hold position, hold position, fuck it, dude. I don't know what we get for holding position, but I, th I guess we just want to hold. My butt turret's in the back is going to hold the line, right? Do, do I have an ammo capacity? Let me check. I think they have infinite ammo. Dude, what a great uh, roguelike upgrade. Is she sells working overtime? Sure is. This two turrets up there is working overtime, baby. This is them alone, man. They're just holding the line alone. Like, these turrets aren't doing anything. How was my run yesterday? Fucking ran for two minutes and I died. My lights are dying right now as we speak. Can't feel my calves. Hey, yes, oh, Grandma. What the fuck is going on over there? Bailiff is arriving soon. Aircraft arriving in 15 seconds. There's like is, is that is like the Starship Trooper OSD from Starship Trooper Extermination. When an extract bird comes down. <laughs> okay. 
It's so badass, man. Board the airlift and close the door. Activate the freighter. I wonder if we can land on top of you. Bro, I should have stayed under underneath it. Yo! Yo, I think this is what... It, so this is what happens. If your teammate doesn't get on, you just leave him. Yeah, I think you just leave your teammate behind. <laughs> oh. Technically speaking, you can. Because there's a countdown. Try to sound fancy. Uh, I had beef. Shoreline beef that my mom bought me. Cook that up. Avocado. Tomatoes. Rice. A little bit of mayo in the rice. And then bam. 30,000 damage. Oh my god. How, how does... Is there matchmaking for this game? You actually play with other people? Record, Congrats. Didn't even die once. Easy clip. Alright, click anywhere to proceed. I'm, I'm clicking. Recovery complete. 524 T's. The following resource will be transported to... Transported back, I guess it's, uh, it says. So, I'm, I'm assuming that most of these resources that you extracted with can be used to further upgrade your outposts. Let's take a little looky look. All right, what do you want? I think I'm supposed to talk to him. He has a little bar above his head. Good work. We've set up a reason to use mm -hmm. them to your benefit. For now, you'll need they can to move their arms. With the basic modification Hello, process. what's up, Corrupt Freed? I appreciate the follow and the Twitch Prime, dude. Thank you so much, man. Welcome back. Or not welcome back, but welcome on in with the scam. Rip Bozo with the Jet Bozo. <laughs> they all appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much, man. Model looks so bad. Yeah, I know. They fucking look like ass, but I, 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 pay, I, I try not to pay attention to it, okay? <laughs> Outpost paint blueprint? What, we get paint jobs? What? Ooh, so you, you can look around like the base to so pick up some random consumables on the ground. Interesting. Um, there's base terminal. Press M to toggle the base map. You'll get an overview of the base's layout. What the fuck? It'll help you quickly navigate and get to where Literally you XCOM base, base layout. Hence Provide energy base for the whole base, hence our, uh, our core area. Is Yulia? You can teleport to bases. You aren't the only one getting better, kid. Trade port. She's Open to all. Shops all kinds of have living up the place. Sponsor for rescuing and treating operatives who are hurt or lost during tours. Response for operation and maintenance of the base. Oh, this is all fucking badass, dude. Squad management. You can, Wait, you can bring a squad? Wait, can you bring multiple people with you? I think you can. Especially when you find people uh, to join you, that is. I don't, I don't know how to find people, though. Research center. Subordinate to the research, research department responsible for scientific... Research experiment and manufacturing. Okay. Okay. That doesn't look like work that takes. <laughs> How do you have mil- Dude! Dude! This is no way! You are allowed to wear a skirt in a military base! As a military uniform! Dude! There is no fucking way! That's how you know this game is Korean. This is, this is, this is how you know it's a Korean game, guys. You need friends! What do you mean? Dude! No! What do you mean I need friends? I don't have any friends. Victor Ning. Look at this guy, man! Full fucking military outfit, and you just see her with a half-top military outfit and a skirt. Trying to look pretty in the middle of combat? Is that what it is, Private? Chinese developer, I think? Oh. Same concept, same thing. Well, Who cares well, fuck? Well. If a numbnuts like you can be a commander, anything's possible. She's sassy as fuck too. Always better than mine. Compliment accepted. We'll be working as a team. This reason. Thanks. Why am I talking okay. to her? I don't want to talk to you. Get out of here. I'm I'm, I'm anti-social. Thank you very kindly. Social anxiety. Yada yada. Okay, there's there's the damn thing. I was looking at this. That's nothing. All right. What the? Oh no no! You're supposed to talk to Victor Ning. Wrong Sir? person. Looks like Yulia has told you about me. I no, she did it. R and D for your outpost. She, she did it. <laughs> now, allow me to explain the details. All right. Spend your research points to unlock new technologies and continuously make progress when you are battling energy enemies. Not energy. That's who. Okay. Ah, oh, so you get research. <laughs> Apparently, lock picks is the technology, guys. <laughs> Machine gun turret. Basic modules of uh, automatic assault components reliable firepower. Take a nap and leave it all to the turret. Research ability, one. Tech point cost, zero. Progress cost, zero. I'll take that. I think that's just, ooh. 
Research ability plus 20% cost. How do I get this? Three research costs. Tech point cost is 15, which I have none of. No advance or master. So we, I think we have to like play more to be able to get like research technology. Hey, what the fuck is wrong with you? I was looking at things. Battery, power capacity plus five. It only works when there's power. Plus five. Okay, so five tech point plus. Uh, do I care much about lock picks? I think we're gonna go with battery first. Can't really unlock that just yet. We gotta go do some more map stuff, I guess. Research center, barrack, living quarters for operatives, and also where administration takes place. This doesn't look like a barrack. This looks like a gym. Um, yo, if if, if <laughs> chat, I, I don't. Why is there a scooter right here? Who the fuck puts a scooter in the goddamn gym? And anywho, dude, I don't think anybody puts on full body armor just to work out with full body armor, especially when you're using weights. I can understand doing push up with the armor, but weights, hello? Don't you have to be comfy? Like a tank top? Actual pants? Calling the streamer by that name feels like I'm racist? You can't really be racist with me. You can only be racist with Twitch. Uh, is there anybody I need to talk to here? Talk with Yulia back at the research center. Oh my god, I gotta go back. You gotta do our side quest. Yulia, I gotta talk to you again. Let me walk you through the manufacturing process. Alright, cool. There's a manufacturing process. Once the research complete, the design data will be sent to me instantaneously. Or instantly, sorry. Uh, here you can see the required materials. We have some stock at hands. Once you confirm, it'll, uh, it'll start to get built. Oh, uh -huh. manufacturing is what research uh, center important. Wait, what? What makes Research Center important? Here you can manufacture components and consumable with items in the base warehouse and use them to further enhance your outputs to facilitate your tours. Cool. Utility wall. To mount gear, mount whatever you have. A, a wall with some space left for a door. Leave some space for the door. You'll shut yourself in. Utility tile. Floors with a built-in power slot that provides power for components. Itching to fight. First come power. Standard wall that is sturdy and highly adaptable, has multiple slots that can be configured, simple, sound, and solid. What do we need to make the machine gun turret? I got an MG turret barrel, with turret nexus, turret base. Okay, we got one of each, so we build. Synthesize, done. You use scrap metals to make walls, or a genetic, generic panel. Multiple slots that can be configured, simple, sound, and solid. What's the slot for? Oh, electrocutes attackers, damage base uh, on core output. Don't think I want to make any of this just yet. So all the resources that you bring back can be used to craft like a bonus for your outputs. And you gotta talk to her again. Ding, ding, ding. One MG turret ready for inspection. Did she sell something on the inside? In a bit. Make sure you equipped it there before the next sortie. Okay. Better than none. If you want more built, you'll have to bring in more material. All right, sounds good. Get, on the surface, of course. Yeah, you just, you just do missions. You you extract with those items, and then bam, you use it for crafting. Julio, go to the hangar. I think, no, was that the Nexus or the Hangar? Oh, there it is. Constructs and stores Outpost 11. Here's our meta progression stage. All militaries have skirt uniforms for women. Are you stupid? Really? Wait, seriously? No shot. Do military have a dress code? I wanna, do, you, do U.S. military have a dress code with skirt. Military uniform basic for friends and family. Woman can choose to wear a dark blue skirt and service bump. Oh, so I was wrong. I was really wrong. Wait, can you use it on fucking duty though? Oh, I guess I guess I was just thinking in terms of combat uh, uniform. Those lockpicks? Hey, I'm not that dumb brain. Even North Korea military has skirts. Hey, Faye, come check out the data for. I, I guess, yeah. I was thinking about think combat uniform. Like, would you combat. would you wear a skirt to combat? You are still watching over the hangar, but the EUA hasn't built a new. I guess that's what you would say. Years. Utility. She's she's a she's course, wearing utility I've uniform. Been keeping a personal. The MG turret has a. The MG turret is here. No, oh, okay, cool. 
Now let me slap and he slap that bad boy on. Where do I want to put it? Oh my god, you make it go sideways. <laughs> Where am I supposed to put this? Oh, <laughs> how convenient. How convenient for that to be there. It can't attach itself to like um, anything, really. So... We'll just slap it right here. Done. Plus 200 HP. Let's fucking go, baby. Dude, my base is fucking morbid, guys. Let's go. Save your changes? Hell yeah. Stonks. Number goes up. Talk with Julian Hanger. The clanging of the metal, the smell of rust in the air, and, and the sparks that the welders would throw off. Is that me in game? I'm not That's that old. Used to build the I don't even have gray hair yet. How time flies. Yeah, that's what it caught me off Hard guard, though, Panzer. Her skirt, the, the way her skirt looks. Back is now a tour it, tour it, yeah, here, yeah, tour it. Since Yulia and I have become Romans wear togas and skirt, but not the fucking skirt that that lady wore. All right, never. we're talking about the. No, okay, you whatever. I, I give up. I don't want to. I don't want to argue. Yourself, <laughs> I don't have enough brain power for this shit. I Sad Scottish no. noise. <laughs> uh. It's from you. Didn't you? someone like you could take months trying to find? I know. I know. <laughs> it looks like that. All right. Uh, answering the radio communication. What, 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 what do you want me to do? Ants, go, go to barrack. Okay. So can I actually bring other people in? Not not like real player, but like NPCs to follow me around to shoot stuff with me. So I don't use ammunition. Uh, yes. Uh, I forgot to tell you <laughs> Yeah, I'm talking. I'm telling him to talk to the hand. I don't want to talk to them. My, my brain cells, like, my eyes are just cross-eyed. They're, they're going to the left, and they're going to the right, but not towards whatever I'm supposed to stare at, so I don't have to look at her. Uh, yeah. Side ability points wisely, there's no reset button. Go, pick one. <gasps> Ooh! You got talent points? Oh, yeah. Um, the hell you want me to do? Salmon to plus 20, salmon to regen. What does this do? Accelerate the cooling process of Zen in use. What does that else do? Uh, minus 30% and 30 second and regenerate five armor. Skill cooldown, minus five seconds. The shots after using instant cooldown does not consume ammo. The shot after using instant cooldown does not consume ammo. And then each attack that hits enemy weakness and kills reduces the cooldown by one. Accelerate the cooling process of all Zen. How many tra trade points do I have? I got 55 apparently. What the fuck, why do I have 55? <laughs> uh, five for next eight seconds with no ammo cost. Shoots Kinesis ammo. Skill cooldown minus five seconds. It's gonna do that. I, I like to be resourceful, but it's not letting me choose the talent for whatever reason. It might hold the left mouse button on the skill obtained to obtain new uh, traits. Skill duration plus three seconds, 200 CR. 200 credits? Oh, wait, can I go both paths or can you only go towards one path? Bullet damage plus 25% while the skill is in effect. Shoots crawl ammo. Each attack that hits enemy uh, weakness and kills extended duration by 0 0.5 seconds. Gain 50% damage reduction while the skill is in effect. What's the ultimate uh, evolution here? Bullet damage plus 50 while the skill is in effect. CR 200. I think we can grab both. Okay, does so that cost 5? Where's the cost again? Okay, this does cost 5. Yeah, so you can't go both ways. Car ammo seems pretty cool. Bullet damage plus 25% while the skill is in effect. More damage? Say no more. So you can use this for buffing our uh, DPS a little bit. I would also like this uh, fighter's will. So every time I kill something, it extends duration. We can't extend duration. This costs modest. Oh, I don't think we want cryo ammo just yet. Gain fifty percent damage reduction while the skill is in effect. Nah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Give me that shit. All right. So that means I have longevity fights. Very practical. Dude, what is going on with her head? Please it don't. Uses... <laughs> Relatively small doses of biological agents to enhance your combat performance. Come clean with me. You like a ballerina thing? That's what I was getting at. I looked at her skirt. I'm like, that's not well, fucking... I don't know. That's not military Julia. issue. She barged in here and stuck me with a bunch of manuals while you were surface side. She told me to get you set up and not tell you it was her idea. She can be a troublemaker. She's quite the busy lass, you know. That girl. Just don't tell her you heard it from... You know I won't. Now that you're settled, you keep your voice down. It's time to fit it with more firepower. Ooh, so we say more firepower? What do, what do, what do, where do you want me to go, boss? That. Where do you want me to go, boss? Where do you want me to go? Come on. Faye, I have a priority one mission for you. 
A caravan has been attacked at the highway near Talk. Border Woodland. Their leader, Monica Bridges, has asked us for aid. Go to Border Woodland difficulty one and rescue Monica. I uh, fucking dead weight. So many dead weight. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Commander of Outpost Eleven, Faye Pratt. Sortie authorization granted. Please confirm your outpost. <clears throat> That's me. All right, confirm outpost. It has no energy left, I think, and no resource storage. Wait, what? Why is a resource storage so low? Why is a resource storage so low? Eh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. I don't care. Right, let's take a look at our backpack. Let's see, is there anything I want to bring in? Eh, probably not. There's, there should be an auto sort. Some kind of auto sort, please. Don't sell. Wait, you can sell stuff? Can I buy shit? Can... You change your operative, but can I buy stuff? I want. I want to buy shit. I guess not. All right, let's go in. Grab your turrets. The turrets are in the game. The, my my turret is on the outpost itself. This is a turret defense game. You don't bring turrets in. It's part of your outpost. You're not supposed to bring. How many times that they explain, Chief? Did you not see me place that turret on my outpost? It comes with the outpost. The outpost is a move. So think of it like this: a mobile construction vehicle, MCU, it's MCV from like Red Alert, is one of those things. You bring it along where you go, and a turret comes along with you. All right, enemy power two thousand five hundred. Uh, maximum recovery time is four hundred. That means there are items that you can't extract because it's based off of your recovery time. So you can't extract with everything. Difficulty one, moving in. Commander of Outpost 11, Faye Pratt. Sortie authorization. What if I go in with zero energy? What happens? Outpost 11, launch confirmed. All right, moving in. Sir, we need assistance. I know, right? Press P to open squad info. Invite a friend. So I can invite people. Oh my God, I sure can. Too bad I'm the only one playing this game right now. <laughs> no, you can't join me. Fuck off. Holy shit, what is this map? So we're supposed to go over here to this unknown. Dude, what is this map though? This map is massive. Uh, where do we want to go here? I don't think we're allowed to go south. I, I can't click on that for whatever reason. Hello? Oh, there we go. Now, now it fixes itself. Hmm. It takes 25 energies to go around areas. We got to go up here first. So one, two, three, four, five. We can go south and then move west. It's just so we can just pick up a uh, loot. You know, get some loot in there. I don't know why there's like an option to go to the right when the quest is even to the right. I guess that's like for later playthroughs when you want to just go in and just pick up resources and grind. Um, you know, we'll go with a safe bet here. We'll go left. Zen valuables, basic building materials. This has basic building materials, Zen, and valuables again. Uh, what else is there? Man, do I want to go down here? Because it's going to be like at least, let's see, 25, 50, 75, 100, 125. Ain't nobody got that money? I, I bought this for 25 bucks. What do you mean? Yes, yes, from Dune 2, yes. Anything that's like Red Alert, NCV from Dune 2, NCV from Dune, Emperor Battle, sorry, Emperor Battle for Dune. Those type of games. It's an outpost that just follows you along. We can skip this. <laughs> Look at the graphics, bro. So this is what it looks like on low graphics. Oh, it's all this shit on the ground. Small ore? Your basic stone from which you extract advanced material? Oh god, don't tell me there's crafting in this game too, like smelting and stuff. Oh, that's cool, yo. At least I don't have to buy it. There's something, something else in here. There it is. Give me that crystal. How much backpack slot does it take? Three out of five? And it's a one slaughter. Free shit's free shit, after all. <laughs> Look at the rendering, bro. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what? You know what I can do here? Since my graphic looks like dog shit, let's move this to medium. Doesn't look like my PC's dying just yet. It's raining too, and my PC is still fine. 
68% CPU. Huh. Is it because we were in a small map? You know, you know that game yesterday that we played? The first Dwarf? First Dwarf was killing my PC when I was playing the game. In this game, it's not killing my PC. It's kind of surprising, isn't it? This game has better graphics in it uh, than First Dwarf. Are, are we just going to fight or are we going to fight other stuff here? I probably should craft myself detectors whenever I get the chance. I think detectors are absolutely worth it. Um, what else is there? No enemy in sight. Absolutely no enemy in sight. Speaking of, gonna use one of the ammo dumps. Just making sure that we're always stocked up in ammo. Moshi mosh. I wish enemies would drop resources, too. At least some kind of, like, electronic parts or scraps. I don't know. Alien technology. What's the point of having aliens, like, attack you when you can reverse engineer their technology? That, that should be a, a progression. Did you not think that through? I feel like that was an oversight there. <laughs> the inside of the game looks terrible, though. <laughs> Uh, it's good enough, at least for my PC. I'm, I'm kind of glad the graphics for this game is not really, like, super intensive. Just so you enjoy the game a bit. Alright, time to extract the wheels. No goodies inside the vehicles. No dead bodies. No enemies. It's a, it's a little bit too peaceful, and I don't like it. I don't like peace. I want, I want fucking, I want problems. I don't want peace. I want, oh, there it is. Sorry, I spoke a little bit too soon. So, like, one of my comrades. Damn, boy, he's dead. Ooh. Gimme, gimme. Mechanical part, materially complex inner structure. Yeah, baddie bad. Oh, another one. Superconductive materials. Okay, so you want to look, look, look at drawers. Pick a lock, 600 damage. We can break down the door, boys. <laughs> We can just break down the door. You know, we don't need lockpicks. Have to give props if the aliens drops actual wallet, credit card, cash, and car keys. That would be hilarious. But honestly, they can drop gold. They can make them drop gold, or they can make them drop anything that's scrappable. Like, scrap metal. I mean, what the fuck are they made out of? Aluminum? Five bitches comic. Yep, someone played Fallout. Wait, did I? Wait, was there comics? I didn't see the comics. Good eye. Still beating this fucking door open, though. I want to see what's inside. And hell no, I'm not using a lockpick. I can probably blast it open, too. Uh-oh. Okay, there's, there's no friendly fire damage. Wait, that's actually much more effective. Did quite a bit of damage to the boat door. Plot twist, 600 is your weapon's hot hit points? Dude, dude, that'd be hilarious. Each shot takes 15 ammo, sadly. Yeah, I think it depends on which gun. Or you use 30 ammo with an explosive that does even more damage. Gold necklace, gold teeth. Yeah, gold teeth and gold rings from robots. Yeah, it's true. Classy pawn shop back at the base. Hey, man, I gotta make money somehow. Oh, you can just beat the shit out of this door. Give me a second. One more. One more. Two more hits. Is there a way not to hit the door? There we go. All right, where, where's the goods? Where's your loot? Give me your loot. You can't hide the loot from me. Oh, you fucking joking. Okay, that's the bathroom. <laughs> the fact I can open up the fucking toilet, dude. That's hilarious. Oh, we got goodies. Backpack is full. Oh. I need more inventory space. I didn't mean to bring him another med kit in. We didn't really need an extra med kit. Um, I do need stash stuff from the looks of it. Yeah, we gotta stash some stuff. Project Pro Morpheus? Prologue? Why does that sound familiar? Project Morpheus. Like a game. It sounds like a game. Yoink. We'll draw on the other side. Unlucky. Alright, let's go store some of this loot. They store their gold here. Yeah, they store it in the dwarf. I'm just, am I a baddie? Am I, am I here to rob them? 
Is that water still pissed at me? Hmm. Maybe that's the reason water's super pissed at me, right? Organic solvent, high energy compound. Up off the ore. It's probably a little more ore sitting in belt. I'm just gonna wait for full stack. Here's my gold. Vintage comic. Valuable items to be sold for money. Ah, that's what you saw it from. I see. I see. I see. You just drop off one of the med kits. Not really this many uh, consumables. Wait, what the fuck is this? Oh. oh. <laughs> vintage magazine. Vintage comics. Jesus Christ, dude. All right. Anyways, next house. If there's even another house, yeah. There's multiple things that we can loot. Nice, nice, nice. Give me, give me. I'm looking for like uh, weapon upgrades and a new weapon. We need to upgrade, boys. Love how every weapon's the same so far. What is this? Mech remain. Yeah. Wait, you can gather it. Uh, what? Oh. <laughs> why? Why? Why does a mech remain have a lockpick inside the mech? What's the mech? Can't a mech just bust down a door instead of fucking trying to open it with a lockpick? Hello? Do we really need this many ore? I don't think we need this much ore. You can ready to just loot. The problem is that I don't think we can extract with all the resources we grab. So we try to grab as much as we can and we just extract with the uh, valuable shit. Which probably isn't ore. You've been spotted. Release the drones. Oh, hello. Was that like a loot bug? Was that supposed to be some kind of loot bug? Hello? Oh, no, I'm stuck. Don't tell me that was some kind of loot bug. How do you even get up there? Oh, what? What kind of mechanic is that? How was I supposed to know? I think you were supposed to sneak up on it and shoot the fuck out of it or some shit. Yeah, it probably has something like extremely important inside. I don't know. It's like a loot bot. Loot bot. Somebody's been littering. Somebody's been littering ore all over the goddamn place. Does it have a Steam page, but I've never heard of it. Probably the same uh, company. Some the same company uh, made that game too. Who the fuck is that? Why did he look like a character from Destiny 2? Wait, what? Is that not the guy from Destiny 2? The robot man? He looks like him. Here, have some electric orb. I missed. Sorry about that. Okay, well, what do you have for trade? services yo he has a technical face I see material trade you can trade a turret um so I can trade a turret no fuck that dude that's my turret how much HP does he have he has 120 HP but he doesn't take damage I also missed fine I didn't mean to click that button <laughs> I didn't mean to shoot him, Chad. Look, guys, hear me out. I was not about to take an innocent life, all right? It, 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 it misfired. It misfired. Shady dealers shouldn't be trusted. True. Ooh. Okay, I gotta look around for these mech remains, apparently. They give a lot of goodies. I love goodies. Interact with the core tower to end exploration. So there's no objectives here. You just go around, loot a little bit, and then leave. Okay, simple, simple. Huh. So what happens when you play with other people? Do they just go around and loot with you too? This place just felt dead. Alright, so let me just slap all that stuff in. Let's see here. Or, 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 or more ores. Uh, lockpick. We'll keep that. Alright, uh, regular recovery. An enemy's gonna come in, probably. Hello? Are you mushy mushy? It doesn't look like this is the type of place that has, like, enemies. Oh! That's what it does! I see! And then it just sends it upwards, right? Where the fuck do you think it's sending it? Wait, 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 before we leave. 
I want to see if my turret takes ammo. It does. All right, so we got to be very careful with the turret. That's a long rope. I don't know how that rope works. <laughs> Grants a random variant of the Guardian. Extra reinforcement, extra container. A large recovery device will appear next to the base on recovery day. A large recovery device. That looks... Why is it gold? What about extra reinforcement? I think extra reinforcement sounds fun. Unless you want... Does it... Large recovery device will appear next to the base on recovery day. Does that mean I can just extract with more shit? Never made a pass prologue in 2021. Oh, so it's like a graveyard. 07 for Project Morpheus, then I guess. Just like the movie. Morpheus. You could probably ride the transport. We're seeing this game, though, yet. You don't see it yet. That was the early stage. There is combat in this game. Um, I think you have to go towards a higher difficulty for the higher risk to start kicking in. In which we are in a higher difficulty area. Heading for the target area. But yeah, you fight against bots. Um, I think there's an area that when you start extracting, they'll start sending in enemies and you have to hold them off. So they'll start coming in soon. And I think you're supposed to be grinding like the lower level stages before you move to the higher level stages. So this game has that meta progression. I guess you would call it dark meta progression. That's what SE likes to call it. That's what I assume. But we haven't gone to like the hard game part of the game yet, I guess you would say it. Um, hey man, that's a lot of war. Also, no enemies here, but Monica's hiding somewhere. So I guess we'll just find Monica then. I don't see enemies anywhere. Yet, that is. Pog. Are you telling me I can get hit by a lightning? Oh my god, it's inhibiting my vision. Alright, Monica, I need you to come out. Time to go home. Where are you, Monica? You get high forever, you little bastard. What if. Oh, let's see, that's a long rope. This is your shady deal. Should you trust the treasure? Alright, I already read up. Oh. <laughs> just cuts off all the sound. Just for that thunderstorm. Interesting. A little bit of Stalker vibe here. If you've ever played Stalker before. Man, this map is huge. Okay, it's not huge. I can't go... Wait, can I? Alright, so I feel like when you overcharge that little bottom bar in the bottom left corner, I'm pretty positive you just die. I'm not gonna spend too much time just gathering ore. We just got an ore along the way. Oh, there you are. Jesus, I thought it was done for. The fuck is that hair, lady? Oh, it's like an afro. <laughs> it's like a spiky afro, bro. <laughs> Luckily, we didn't lose anything. I don't really see these type of hairstyles in real life a lot, so I question it a bit. Maybe this is the reason why I need to go out more, as uh, C.K. Alkins does. Is sure how I feel about that? Uh, you won't slip. You'll be fine. I haven't seen an outpost in action for ages. Takes me back to the you, you were supposed to just talk to her, that's it? Is there anything to loot here at all, lady? I don't see any loot. You got any goods? Oh, bro, there's nothing. Nothing, just ore. You wasted 10 of my energy. What is wrong with you? Well, we finished our mission. Whatever, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe I spoke too soon, boys. Maybe I spoke too soon. I hope you guys spoke too soon. Dude. It's the same exact building as that last area that we were in. Oh my god. There's a drone up here. Is that it? No? Construct a Titan Spike for free in command mode? Aw, oh, thanks. Free fucking Titan spawn. Nice. It doesn't cost any resource. Uh, those are like roguelike cards, by the way, as you progress through the game. For each tour. Each run is a tour, and I guess they give you these roguelike cards to enhance your tour run. So just, I guess, go through each map more often or some sort. 
That's a lot of goodies. <clears throat> I still don't know where exact where exactly I'm supposed to use the gold. What is that? Hitting enemy weakness trigger two piercing. No idea what that means, but cool. Calm station activate. It costs power. Tower reinforced. Core tower HP plus 50%. It's another buff. Cool, Leo. Okay, what about this building over here? You got any goodies? It's locked. You need a THI key card. Um, I don't know exactly where I can find THI key cards. I think you just gotta look around a little bit harder or some sort. Look for, like, a loot spot or some sort. Yeah. Wherever it is, it's not in here. Maybe loot this place dry. Is that another box I skipped? I thought I saw another chest. I'm just imagining things. Alright, well, I think we're done looting this area. Off I go, then. Oh, it's another tank, boys. Does that have ammo? <laughs> no, it's just a wreckage. Unlucky. Oh, God. No. 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 I acted. Oh, my God. Really? Oh, no. I actually have to use power for this, dude, just because I got. I'm still stuck. Is there not stuck? Please. Oh, my. I just wasted 50 power. I wasted 50 Failure. power because I got stuck. I'm kind of salty. I'm actually kind of fucking low key salty. D that did not just happen, did it? Chat, tell me I'm dreaming. Pinch me, please. Pinch me if I'm fucking dreaming right now. But I was stuck. I'm just gonna check that. Uh, lots of goodies to get the fuck out with. Okay, copper cup. This will be sold for money. Mmm, it's an extra ammo crate. All right. Skill issue. We should carry at least two ammo crates. One for the turret, one for myself. And then the rest of this is for, I guess, recovery. There was three unlock options for that door for some reason. I think there's pink lock too, but I don't know. Probably a bug. Oh, that's cool. More range. What the fuck? Um, how does it work? Where, where can I go next? So we return to base and then go somewhere else, I think? How much power does it cost? It doesn't cost- no, 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 that's not what I want. I wanted to move around the map. Oh, there we go. So, 25 power now. We have 58 left. Alright, there's food, there's ammo. Here. There's mist. <gasps> Core gun. Wait, wait, wait. Yo, let's go here, town ruin. There's, there's a gun. 35 energy, are you kidding me? And it's right now? No, 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 no. You just gotta move around. No, I'm not gonna get food poisoning. I cooked this well. I cooked this really well, alright? Well done. Hey, listen. Hey, what's up, rough one? How's it going, dude? Good morning. Hello there. What's up, dude? Hello, hello. The hell is this? Oh, it's a free turret. <laughs> Guys, I got a pet. What should we name him? Thunderstorm outbreak. Watch out for lightning. What should we name him, guys? 
Best follower? Sure is, dude. Watch him get stuck. That is so cool. Really good pathfinding so far. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Oops? What do you mean, oops? Guardian, please. I need fucking personal space. R2D2, of course. Nah, man, Bob. Bob is always my go-to name. We love Bob. Go, shoot him. Shoot him. Go. Boom. Blast his little punk ass. What the fuck was that? Bro, he just shocked his ass. A crowd cannon? Well, whatever it is, it's like a goddamn truck. Uh oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, I love this gun, dude. It's fucking insane. Alright, good luck. Let's kill both of them, though. Yo, Bob's. Bob's. Yo, Bob's talking mad shit now, dude. Bob, calm down. Calm down. This is the war crime. You're breaching the intergalactic convention, bro. Stop it. This is a war crime. Stop! I don't want to get child for this. 3,000 HP for a door. Alright, well... Ah! Uh, apparently I'm okay. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, that did nothing to me. Guys! Guys! I, I I think I'm okay. I, I I think I'm okay. So you see an explosion, you look at it instead of running. <laughs> I don't want to, you know, play competitive here. <laughs> I get no man. Listen, I can explain. Did I lose my backpack? Oh yeah, some of my stuff dropped on the ground. So that's what happens when you die. I can explain, man. All right, listen. That wasn't intent. <laughs> I think I did die. Did I not? I feel like I'm able to shoot those, too. Nah, man. Let's just go up towards it. Cool, yo. Fuck him up. Go, Bob. Fuck him the fuck up. Fuck him. Artillery shell rounds that are pro... Okay, I was reading that bastard. Moshi bosh. So, about that risk reward... Holy shit! That thing's massive! What kind of ore is this? It's still small ore. Small ore or small whore? Hmm. My base is killing stuff again. I didn't get any gear. I'm supposed to get gear. <laughs> Started a fight with my Nightbot? Dude, he'll win. Don't start a fight that you can't win. Go kick your ass, dude. Chill. Well, let's go over here real quick. I think there's something that we can loot. Maybe that tower, for example. Maybe that tower? Maybe not. <laughs> he backs you to get him! Yeah, get him! Kill him! <laughs> Kill him, Nightbot! Murder him! Looking for a crate for a weapon. There's a high chance for a weapon here. Somewhere. I don't know where. I don't think I can climb that tower. Unlucky. Oh, uh, okay. There's a dead line. What's up with this hill? I think there's something up this hill, maybe? Where did Bob go? Bob! Bob's gone! No! He watched me die anyways. Fuck him. He didn't watch me die, right, chat? That man watched me die to a claymore. He could have saved me. He could have stepped in the way. Fucking Bob. Piece of shit. Oh, no, no. I didn't lose my inventory. I just dropped some of the items I had in my inventory. I don't think I died. I, I don't know. I, 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 my, my armor got taken out. And I lost a couple of HP. Otherwise, my HP would be much lower instead of full. So I'm pretty sure I didn't die. I'm for sure buying this game. I'm enjoying it so far. 
Uh, I should not put it survival in my, um, my title, though. It's an extract tower defense. An extract tower defense game. Who would have thought that Selwyn would make an extract tower defense game? It's a great idea. We need more extraction type games, man. It's fun. I love extraction type games because I'm a loot war. Why the hell not? Great concept. Gameplay. It's intuitive. It feels good. Story. Negative 5 out of 10. Absolute dog shit. Why do I listen to it? It's like I lose a couple brain cells while listening to the way they talk. There it is, boys. There it is. Not him. He needs to get the fuck out of the way. I'm talking about that building right there. I am really liking that rocket launcher. There's a lot of enemies inside. Beep, beep. Any beep beepers? Language. Watch your language. You bastard. Moshi Mosh, hello. Thanks! <laughs> Free way in. Another comm station. I think that just buffs you. Construct a 30 millimeter light gun for free in command mode? Hey! Auto cannon! Engage. Got a free turret, baby! Woo! What is that? Wait, why does this container look so familiar? From Tarkov. Look at the same container from Kart Tarkov. Does it not? Does that not, not look like a container from Tarkov? Or am I fucking high? Maybe I'm high. Speaking of being high, I do have edibles. <laughs> I haven't done it in a while, though. Oh, just picked up some random ass loot. So it's absolutely worth checking these vehicles for loot. Wait, 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 there's something in the back. Open the sesame. <gasps> MG turret barrel! Bro, fucking stock, let's go! That was so random, so it is absolutely worth checking these vehicles. For components. What else is there? Can we go then? Mush mush. Well, Bob is absolutely forever gone. But he will remain in our hearts. Nevermore. I already forgot about him. Who's who's Bob again? Sorry. <laughs> Why can't you open the driver's seat? Hello! Passengers. My inventory's getting full. Beep, beep, Claymore? <laughs> Any Claymores around? I think I missed. My inventory! Where do we find a new gun? Moshi Mosh? Nothing here? Jesus fuck, let's get the shit out of me. Oh, ooh, Zen chest. It's a blue quality! Light, fire, Zen rounds at extreme speed at a fraction of what the fuck I was reading that. <laughs> it disappears so fast. At a fraction of the power. Interesting. And very interesting. We're, we're gonna wait until we get a new weapon. Oh my god, there's so much shit. I can't pick it up. Gear chest, we got boots! b b, -b boots Get the fucking shit out of you. What do we get for boots? Defense plus 86, defense plus 30. It's a double stacker. So there's like different quality of weapons too. Yes. You got any more gear, friend? Any more goodies? 
I don't think I can fit these items in. I'm gonna have to use one of the, uh, I'm gonna use a light. Oh, wait, it bumps your weapon. Oh, fuck, I should have saved it. <laughs> uh, mistakes have been made. Unlucky. Might have to drop ore. Cryo ammo. What the hell did I use need that for? Cryo ammo, armor plate. Can't really stack it here. Use it. Gold. I think I need a two by two. Fucking. Fucking inv goddamn inventory management simulator again. Done. All right. Uh, we wanted the ore back. Hello, Michaelonian. How's it going, dude? Inventory management? What is this? Yes. This is a uh, tower defense extraction with a loot system. Yes, you heard it right. Lots of different tags. Maybe a little bit confusing for your small brain. But don't worry, this game is made for small brain. I think. Fuck. Run at the human speed limit. I thought I had my... Wait. Oh! Oh no! It replaced my explosion! No! <laughs> my explosion skill! It's gone! Fucking sad! God damn, it's another pick lock bullshit. Well, I got plenty of ammo. I can actually expend some of the ammo to break down this door whenever I feel like that is. Ah, another ad block. I mean, another. Sorry, yeah, you should add block, but, um. Another ad break. Okay. Dude, I bet you money that there's a there's a, there's an equipment in here. There has to be equipment in here. Is it worth getting the DLC? Wait, for what? This game has a DLC? Already? Why does this game already have a DLC? Also, nobody, if you're gonna try to get my attention, by the way, uh, fucking, what's the thing called? Uh, put, put my name in there. Slap my name. I don't mind. Yeah, not a single company has follow-up extraction shooters like the count, uh, or like count in one hand. Well, there's a couple, and there's there's still some in development too. FPS, tower defense, RTS, RPG extraction. Give yeah, there's a lot of tags. There's a lot of tags in this game. So there's an extractor, but you can't fill it up and only take what you can carry. Yep. And at the end of the tour, you can actually there's a limit to what you can carry too. It's based off of time though. I'm gonna use the restroom quick, let's uh be right back. We don't need more water. I'm gonna have to grab water too. Where is the visual novel? I don't know, you tell me. Where is the visual novel? The best way to get streamers' attention is to just say L L L L L L L L and then seven 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 seven. But don't forget about these nuts, sponsored by Mad Dong.
No one's just trying to talk to me through TTS. Hello, Sets Kids, how's it going, dude? Do I even play visual? No, fuck no, I don't. And then 777, don't forget about these nuts sponsored by Mad Dog. Alright, let's bust his door open. Is that worth it? <laughs> Wait, stamina? Wait, actually, no, we have enough bullets. You need 600 bullets to destroy this door, I think. 190. So I have 190 bullets. What if I use up all the bullets? Yeah, I think it's a one-to-one -one conversion for damage here. Whatever. Don't tell me I just wasted that for no reason. Ooh, scrap metal, which my backpack is full. I was about to say, there, there better be something in here. Basic material. What a load of hot garbage for a door. Also, I'm expecting a weapon. And we haven't found a weapon yet. Scrap metal should only... No, scrap metal's a 2 by 2 Uh... I don't think we need scrap metal. Maybe we can get rid of one of the energy bars. We can get rid of one energy bar, maybe? I don't know about crowd ammunition, too. Might have brought so much shit. I have to go back and actually uh, stash some stuff. I don't know, man. I'm such a loot hoard. I kind of want to bring this back. Do we really need grenades? Nah, dude. We don't need grenades. Get the shit out of here. Grenades for chumps. All right. Gib. All right. Fair trade off. I got an MG turret. Let's go ahead and head back to base. And since we have the high ground, what do we have around us right now? It's a big boy. That's a really big boy. Um, any other buildings I can try to loot? Where's this at? There's a bunker. There's this building. We didn't find any weapons, but we did find, I guess, MG components. Unless we can get up in the tower somehow and just probably loot up here too. Oh my god. I wish I could bolt that. Oh, 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 it's right here. This one's made to be bolted. It has to be up here. No fucking shot, dude. There's there's no way you're gonna put a path to the top of the roof. Composite fiber container. Son of a bitch. I haven't So you're supposed to explore and collect a composite fiber. Uh extra MG turret? Sure. The enemy has spotted you! Pursuers incoming! What the fuck was that, bro? Barely I've been spotted. Is it me or does this roof look like Dying Light roof? If anybody's played Dying Light before. Oh, and this door has three different unlocks. So you can use power to unlock it. You can use an MGT key card or a regular digital key card. And I guess you can get some pretty good loot from it too. But I could just carry this on my hand. Oh yeah, you can hold it. Nice, all right, so I can actually bring this back. Very good. All right, actually, what's up here? There has to be something up here. Ooh, ooh, what's up? Give me a second. Oh! Jesus fucking Christ, where did you come from? How'd you even get up here? There was nothing up here at all. It was just a trap. No, I didn't, I didn't get the Vanguard edition. No. Is it worth getting the Vanguard edition? I didn't, I didn't grab it. I don't, I don't know what the Vanguard gives. Does it give anything better at all? I don't think it does. What what is it? What does it say that it gives? No, I'm a cheap bastard, right? I just played a base game. <laughs> I guess it's more like, do you want to support this company more? Do you like this game the game look enough to support the company more? I think that's the question that you want to ask yourself. Also, we lost Bob. Bob's gone. Bob's dead. He's dead. He's just gone. Dead. Forgotten. All right, give me that shit. Slippy, slappity, slap. All right, slap all this shit in. Slap that vibe. All that. Another energy bar for healing. I'm not gonna use cryo ammo. So stupid. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh. Wait, am I not allowed to recover just because this item's not in here? You're joking, right? Oh my god, really? Okay. Um, oh, let's put that there. Well, can I even fit another 2x2 two two in? I think I can. No, I sure can't. Can't you rotate? You can. You can rotate items. So we can get rid of this. 
Hmm. I'll just carry this on me for now. Scrap metal and basic material. I'll probably aggro some bombs. Bomb's gone! Where the fuck did bomb go? Bomb, you bastard! You come back here, you coward! Your men are running from the battlefield! A shame for the spray! Use a couple of blueprints and some cosmetics. The funny thing is, we can't upgrade for uh, we can't upgrade from the basic edition. Ah, then you don't need to, I guess. I wouldn't grab it if you want to like uh, grind more, I guess. So, do I want to grind more or do I want to grind less? Reduce ten. It's an armor character. Dude, he is beefy as fuck. Okay, well, I'm just gonna ignore him then. Oh, you can't you can't add any more into the box, dude. Ooh, does he drop anything? No. All right. Well, I guess we're done here. Next area. Can you back motor stuff before you evac? Yes. You can actually go back to the main evac point and put the rest of your items there instead. X boost field increased attack by 10% for those within its range. Alchemy. Each kill within the boost field gives you gold. Max HP plus zero po or point times 0.5%. They're not going to be able to go into the field, I don't think. Actually, no, we'll grab you. We'll grab them. So they're harder outside the field. I have no power left. We gotta go return back to base. Hmm. Put in all. And what about my inventory? Put more in, I guess. Yep. And we're done, so. Put that in, and this is what we extract with. So what happens is, you have to defend this base for 400 seconds if you want to extract with everything. You can also do quick extract if you don't bring in as much uh, items. How's the game so far? It's actually a lot funner than I thought it would. So this game is an extraction tower defense, Rob Dizzle. You extract with items, you use those items to build turrets and build up your outposts to be more enhanced whenever you go into the next tour. And you repeat. And you go into the higher or harder area. Uh, story's still ass, of course. We, we, don't, we don't pay attention to the story. What's up, Check Your Six? How's it going, dude? I'm having a blast with this game so far. I'm liking it a lot. I'm just a looter at heart, so I'm, I'm heavily biased towards game, or uh, uh, that that allows me to loot. I love looting. Okay, can I go in there and loot? <laughs> I don't think you can. Unless I want to put it inside my inventory. Anyways, time to set up some defenses, boys. We got a free Titan Spike. Simply slap that bad boy down right here. It also So Titan Spike allows me to increase my boost area. More. Oh, dude, this thing is massive. Where are we going to put this? Don't want to put it up here. Oh, not the reload up there. Eh, whatever. Just put it up here. Alright, and we got a small artillery formation that costs 300 resource. Where the hell did I get this from? Oh, we got a free small artillery formation. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to put it on the right side. Whatever. Artillery ready. All right, we have no more resources left. We are ready. I want, I want to check if I can loot these buildings real quick. See if there's anything inside so I can grab. Oh, awesome. Grant them, but awesome. Okay. Locked doors. Probably a high-tech area that requires key cards. This, can't be, this is not accessible. Hurry up, we're about to be under attack. Loot, 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 no loot. Oh, absolutely no loot. We can salvage mechanoids. That's just randomly sitting around the base, I guess. They just kind of give you consumables. All right, baby, we hold this line. Turret also has bullet, the 30 mm light turret. I think this is like a high caliber round. 30 mm, yeah, it's high caliber, right? What the fuck is up there? A uh, Prothean core. Oh, it's like a tower. What? Is that a tower or something? I don't know what that is. Sounds badass as fuck, though. A combat miner. <laughs> it's okay. I got artillery. We'll call it artillery support. Small artillery formation. There it is. Wait, what? Oh. 
<laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, mistakes were made, guys. I thought that was an actual artillery. Uh oh. Ch uh, guys, 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 I thought it was an actual artillery, all right? I'm sorry. It was, in fact, not an artillery. He had his own wishlist. I'm liking it a lot, Subquake. If you were if you're gonna buy this game, guys, again, don't pay attention to the story. It sucks. But I like the mechanic of the gameplay so far. It makes for some reason. That's because uh, people's games are crashing. Uh, this is a high performance game. Like it, it's not high performance. Sorry, it's a uh, high quality, poorly opt, poorly optimized. I haven't crashed yet. Waiting for the crash, but I have not crashed yet myself. So a lot of reviews are more towards crashing and just poor for, uh, performance. Yo, what's up, Face Disabled? How's it going? Good morning. Is this Sanctum 3 with a lot of extract uh, camping? Yeah, sure. I don't know why enemies are just spawned all the way over there. The fuck? Game just come out, came out, so I'm going to expect it to be extremely buggy. I'm in a command menu right now. I'm too lazy to get over there. It's FPS 2. So yes, there's a lot of Sanctum uh, vibes there too, Face Disabler. Probably your time of game. I, I, I honestly think this game is worth $25. Right back at you. It's pretty fun so far. I'm enjoying it a lot. Very laggy. Oh, fuck, my FPS is gone. Are we out of bullets? How do I get up there to replace bullets? Do my FPS is down? It's dead! There's also inventory management, by the way, with gear. Uh-oh. What a fucking son of the lady! It's so lucky! Is it view distance? I don't think it's view distance, Paul. Paul. It was definitely not view distance. But that tower is gone. The first wave has fallen! <laughs> so stupid. Abandoned Xenium container? All right, so how do, how do I get up here and put my ammo? This has to be the elevator, right? Well, the core's already about to die, so fuck it, I'm, I'm retreating. Manage a choke point? Yeah, something like that. Maybe later down the road, once you get, like, once you start exploring other maps, there might be different choke points. Do you place more turrets? I need more materials. And yes, I can, actually. I can place more turrets. It costs materials, which is in the left corner, as you can see here. And you get materials for killing enemies, too. I'm out of slots. I lost you to move these turrets. I need to be able to move these turrets around, but I don't think you can move turrets. What's config do? Oh! There's a priority system too for your turrets. That's insane. Oh, that's huge. All right, boys, we hold this line. Ever played Death Trap? Nope, never heard of that game before. My game is dying. There's too much shit going on right now. I don't know why, what's causing my game to die. It could be memory leak. I don't think it's a view distance. Probably just a lot of explosions. Do I still have my grenade? I'm pretty sure I tossed that grenade out. Unlucky. Those are bullets for your gun. Fuck is that, dude? All right, those turrets are going down. Oh shit! I need shield.
Come on, just one more minute, boys. Just one more minute. This sure can't look too bad, bro. It looks horrible at low diff, uh, low graphics. I don't think I want to stand next to this platform with AOE uh, enemies coming our way. Is there bullet drop? Bro, this game has bullet drop too? Oh, fuck. We're about to get breached, boys. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can heal myself here. But it costs power. Unlucky, dude. Bro, we don't have enough power. Oh, no, bro. We don't have enough power. My power! Get me out of here! Get me out of here, boss! Nah, I'm just kidding. My base is too strong. Cheating, was it a nice game? Is Death Trap like another, uh... Let's, let's take a looky look here. Pretty sure my game still runs. I, I, it's okay. We, we have an automated defense. Death Trap is a tower defense game with strong action RPG element. Ooh! Looks really interesting. It's been out for like eight years already? Nine? Nine years? It's been out for nine years? Have you ever played Dungeon Defenders? <laughs> Hopefully if you've played Dungeon Defenders before. One of my favorite boys. Nah, dude, Dungeon Defenders. God, I love Dungeon Defenders. I want another game like Dungeon Defenders. I mean, technically speaking, this is kind of like Dungeon Defenders, yeah? Orc Must Die 2 is my favorite. Dude, Dungeon Defenders has been my absolute favorite. Dead Trap and Orcs Must Die. I have not played Orcs Must Die, but I really wanted to, and I was like, eh, too lazy. I got really lazy playing it. <laughs> but Dungeon, De Dungeon Defender has been my absolute favorite. But it's MTX Hell? Exactly, yeah, microtransaction hell. That's what he says. It is absolutely a microtransaction hell, yes, correct. Jesus, fuck, please don't make that noise ever again, especially with me next to you. This is as close as they can get for a tower defense with some kind of progression system that I can roll with. This is, you know, I, I was worried when one of you fuckers told me refunding speed run, I was worried, but I actually liked the game a lot. Playing Dungeon Defenders 1? Well, no, that's 2. Yeah, that's, that's another reason why I play. I don't play Dungeon Defenders 2. And I prefer 1. 1 didn't have any microtransaction. Or did it? It probably did. Probably DLC to unlock new characters. That's what happens, like, when the game first came out for Dungeon Defenders 1. But that was the good old days. I missed it so much, man. It was so good. You have just broken the recovery record, Bay. Guys, I'm rich. I'm fucking filthy rich, baby. We are rich! Money goes up, baby! Woo! What does ore does? I wonder what ore does here. 230 gold special reward from alchemy? Oh, thank you. I got paid, baby. Paid! Go to the trade port. Oh, that's how you do it. All right. To the trade port. In co-op? I play with my friends. I don't, I don't play with randoms in Dungeon Defenders. Dude. No, no, you know what I remember the most in Dungeon Defenders 1? Given the fact that Dungeon Defender 1 was client side, I pulled up Cheat Engine and I cheated my gold. <laughs> and what's hilarious is that, you know how there was trading lobbies in Dungeon Defenders 1? I would go in and be like, yo, I would like to buy this. And some other dude comes in and is like, yo, I would like to buy this. And we were having a bidding war with Cheat Engine. We keep spawning in more gold. And we were fighting each other for that fucking one piece of equipment. It was so stupid. <laughs> uh. Girl, the back of your head looks ridiculous. Glad you're okay, Miss Bridges. Gonna take more than that to put a tough gal like me down. Hey, I like her but style. I'm so glad I've got a friend in the outpost. Since you're here, take a look at my wares. You might find some good prices and... Don't look her in the eyes, guys. D D Chad, don't, don't look at her in the eyes, all right? Oh, there's my shop. All right, shop stock. We refresh from time to time. They can purchase with gold. Pogging pog. 
Turret Nexus, MG Barrels. <gasps> we can get more turrets? Yo, I'm fucking 50 rich, dude. We have 900 gold. I have so much shit to buy. How about that? Turret Nexus, we can make another turret. Let's go. Gotta go to... <laughs> Why does it drop it like this? Dude, be careful with the equipment. Stop. I'll buy a utility tile too. Alright, so gold's absolutely worth it. Wow. Everything has a uh everything has value. I like the fact that everything has value. Um, how do we sell stuff? I should be giving them to you for free. But I've also gotta pay for my sources and alphas. But don't worry. I'll be giving you a special discount. Come to me in the future if you ever need anything. Wink wink, Understood. nudge, nudge. Go to base warehouse. Who the fuck are you? Looks like Doom Guy. Yo, how do I get one of those shoulder rockets? Upgrade complete. Hey, got a new paint job. Yes, yes. Yeah, you can paint your outposts. Customize them. Greetings, Commander. My name is Lucas Anderson, and I am in charge of procurement. I got transferred here as a support staff after the Starfall. The EUA has been through hell and back in the past few years, but now we're rebuilding from scratch. It's a fresh new start. All the cargo recovered by the recovery fleet is here. Come take <laughs> Sorry about that. Holy shit, is that all my goods? Hell fucking yeah. We got good for days. There is a stash limit. Oh God. Oh shit, man. We have a stash limit? You telling me this now? Fuck! Oh yeah, one tech point? I need to make fucking, uh, what's that thing called? I, I need to make lockpicks. Cause lock, there's, there's valuable items behind doors. So we gotta be able to make lockpicks here. Um... Once you acquire new armaments, you'll be able to handle more challenging recovery missions, bring back even more valuable resources, and in turn, unlock even better armaments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. The war will feed itself. That's what the Romans said. I'll did it? That. Wait, did it? Did the Romans say that? Stash limit? Yep. Some sta good old stash limit. Hey, there's a good old Dan sub right there. That's a Dan sub, right? Hey, there's a Dan Corporal. Let's fucking go. <laughs> yep. Now we gotta get to the research area. Oh, man. Yulia gotta talk. We gotta, we gotta look at her skirt. Tab, we gotta talk about her skirt. Listen, do you honestly think of the military will allow you to wear this type of skirt as your uniform? Chat, be real honest with me here. I was making fun of her skirt earlier. Because it's so it's so dazzardly. Who the fuck wears this in the military? Come on. Pick me up here. Don't make me look bad. It's less than lip sync and their inability to focus on you and look at the ceiling starting the conversation by looking at the floor. Well, we had two P NPCs not even look at each other. And they were talking to each other. Ultra mobility. Without the delay, delay left and right blinking. <laughs> <laughs> like that? Dude, you have, to, you have to, like, actually force it. She's a special colonial girl. She probably is. Ugly AF. Ugly AF. Standard core gun. Mag size, 10. Um, what the fuck is the point of this? What happened to my other gun? Oh. Oh. Light strike hitting an enemy triggers a light strike. I don't know what that means, but okay. These are those sensor modifiers, by the way. I gotta make another turret. Gimme, give gimme. Give oh, we can make a battery too. Battery requires a capacitor? Organic solvent? Uh, So this allows me to have more power for longer runs, I think. I, I think that's how it works. I, I don't know. So yes, we do want another battery. We'll slap it, slap that in our base soon. Just don't know exactly where. I think we'll make one utility wall. Why not? All right, so that oh wait, you can craft items. High explosive. You salvage a reactive mine to get a high explosive. Cool. There's also detectors that you can bring in. Polymers, armor plate. Uh, can't get lock picks yet because I still need tech points and I have none. Research blueprint intel to research blueprints left in border woodland. So I have to go over there to pick a research blueprint, I guess. Uh oh, you can make armor plates, but I don't have enough tech points, and I have absolutely no idea how to get tech points yet. <clears throat> 8 TC expansion level 1. Oh. Wait, what? What does that mean? I want it. Research ability 1 tech point cost 0. It's free. I am passing a free upgrade. 25 for the next one? You're blow, you're blow blowing me, man. Add 2 machine gun uh, turrets to your outpost and save the layout. 
Dude, they knew we were gonna buy those upgrades. They knew we were gonna buy it, man. That's hilarious. They knew we were gonna buy it from the shop. What we? Were, what if we were broke? How do I sell stuff? Oh no, we were, okay. I know how to sell stuff. I gotta go back to the inventory. Hi, oh, yeah, Julian. Nice to meet you again. I guess. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, take me to my outpost. Listen, you have to you have to go all dramatic cutscene with me here. Makes you feel like this game is Starfield. Well, it's cheaper. It's thirty five dollars cheaper. That's why I think it's worth it. More tabs with the cheap price of six dollar. Okay, edit. I got another machine gun turret, boys. We're fucking out. I, uh, fuck. I hate this shit so much. Oh, is that how the platform works? Oh, <gasps> that's how the platform works. So you have to upgrade your outposts if you want to like put more stuff down. Oh my god. Anywho, I can't really build much. So I'm gonna slap that there. And you, I'm gonna drag you over here. Ah, uh, yes, my OCD is fixing itself. Look at it, boys. Look at it. Read up and fucking weep. Anyways, where can I put this battery? I don't even know what a battery does. It's supposed to give me five power capacity plus five. That's not even fucking worth it, to be honest with you. That's really cheap. Oh, I can place it there if the stair wasn't there, does. Um. <laughs> oh, man, dude. It's like it's like making an actual base and then bringing that base along. It's such a good mechanic. I'm so glad they did something like this. This is awesome. All right, stop that there. Armored walls? Eh. In this economy? Well, technically speaking, yes. Um, I don't think I have enough utility tiles, so I'm probably not going to work on that just yet. Uh... I, I, this is good enough. We, we can pack it as much as we can. It is what it is. We just have to go in more, you know, grind it out, get some more materials and resources. Kind of wish Icarus had something like this back in Planets, uh, sorry, Dyson Spear program. True. Yes, the outpost is your main base that you bring in between each map. Oh. Roger that. All right, I got shit to sell. I need to make some money. If you guys don't know me well, I'm a greedy little goblin. I like selling stuff because I want to make more money. Give me. I also want to mug people. <laughs> Loki do want to mug people. It's really cannon rounds that are prone to explosion when hit. That's an ammo piece, is it not? All right, so there's stuff that you can sell. I think we'll get more into the extraction with material goods later. I can sell that for money. I don't I don't need healing. Healing's for pussies. Where's my chocolate bar? We don't need those two. Is there a quick sell? Oh, it's control left click. Nice. Mm, my chocolate. My poor chocolate. We don't need healing, yeah? Okay, you don't want to sell ammo. Torment is only three gold. Yeah, yeah, not really worth the price. Minimally increases. Uh, this is a low level shit. Or is, what are they called? Zers? Zen? Useless. Hitting an enemy's weakness trigger two piercing. Oh, this is a this is a weakness upgrade. Okay. I'm selling it. it looks like shit. <laughs> it just looks like shit. I don't want it. Mm, I want to keep the react in mind. Still got this uh, rad source extract one. Granada. I need I need lockpicks. We don't have lockpicks. Detectors. Probably should bring this in next round. No, I'm too lazy. It's expensive, man. I don't think it's worth it. It takes two spots, dude. What, what the fuck does that take two spots? Make it one. Boys, goddamn, I'm rich. All right, look, it's nice talking to you. Fuck off now. Go to Border Woodland difficulty two and recover the valuable blueprint. To war we go, boys. Let's fucking go. Commander of Outpost Eleven. That's me. Yo, what's up? No rage, bro. My boy. My man. I'm going to give you a shout out if you don't mind me. If you do, uh, tell me to fuck off or something. I don't care. Sue me. Yo. Yo, check out Nerd Rage Freddy here. Plays a lot of Total War Warhammer, bro. He's a great guy to uh, chill too. Plays a lot of RTS himself. The man, the myth, the legend. Probably will check out this game too. Give him a follow. He's a great dude to listen to. Give him some love. Uh, and I bought the game. Hell yeah, brother. This game is like $25, Nerd Rage Fred. He's asking if it's worth it. Fuck yeah. So, if all this game since it was announced, is it good, worth getting? So, think of it like this, Nerd Rage Fred. It is a 
first person shooter. It's a tower defense and it's a, it's an extraction. Those are the three main tags that shows up in this game so far. The shit that you loot, that you bring out, is used to further upgrade your outpost, which is this building right here. It goes in between each different mission. So there's a meta progression-ish. You can also play with your friends. There's multiplayer. So it's co-op, purely co-op. No PvP. Don't worry about the PvP shit. Uh, that looks like a scroll bar. Oh, well, I'm too lazy to go back to the stash. We'll go look at that later. <laughs> But yeah, so it's an extraction with the, these other tags, but it, typically it's an extraction type games. You bring back resources, you use those resources to build like turrets or power cells, and you slap that shit in your outpost. <laughs> it depends, but yeah, it really depends. It depends on what you like. I can't tell you what you like. I'm not fucking manage your body. I like the game. I like it because I'm a goddamn loot whore, all right? I like looting. I like looting, and I like the fact that I can use those loot to somehow enhance my my character. I guess in this game, your outpost. There's also character progression too. You level up, and you can have multiple characters. You can have up to like 50 characters in your squad or some shit, not, or, or your barracks, and you swap between them, and then they have like individual uh, upgrades. I don't know ex how exactly where to get new people. How's this game going? Fucking amazing. I'm liking it a lot. Keep in mind, though, it's very grindy. It's a very grindy game. It's supposed to be a very grindy game because that's that's what you expect from Tarkov types. Yeah, it's Tarkov TD, exactly. And then when you try to extract with all those resources, you will get hit by waves of enemies. So that's where you set up your defenses in a tower defense line. How do you get a bigger backpack? I think you have to research it. I think you can craft it, too. Let me double check here. I believe it's in the research center. I'm... I'm pretty positive you have to talk to Victor here to research it. Give me a double check. It's a metal level. There it is. Ammo maker. I do need this too, but it costs plus one progress, whatever the fuck that means. I need more tech points, which I don't really have any of. There's backpack expansion. This is the very first thing I might try to research so I can carry more shit. Uh, but yeah, lots of research to further like uh, industrialize your outpost. You can use Yulia to craft th things that you need. Right? I've already made two turrets, two machine gun turrets, so we're ready for the next bad boy of a uh, tour. Uh, each mission in this game is called Tours, and it follows multiple paths. Uh, it's not one big-ass map. You go through from one area to the next, and you look around, and you try to loot, loot goodies. Right? Very interesting and entertaining concept so far. Research my ass, bitch. I'm about to shove these nuts up your ass. Wait, what? That's kind of... Uh, nah, not you, Gawkon. Fuck off. You little bastard. Uh, love how you have all this issue when I blew the game when I was running stable 60 FPS right off the bat. That's the, uh, that's just, I'm streaming at the same time. So streaming does take a lot of resources for my PC or automatically. Please. And you can customize your outposts. Well, what's my backpack looking like here? Uh, okay, one ammo box. There's a consumables. I need something that heals. One grenade's fine. One chocolate. Should I bring another chocolate? Should I bring another grenade? Hmm. I think I'm gonna bring another ammo box again to use for myself immediately. What if I wanna bring another chocolate? I don't think we should. We, I don't think we need another chocolate. I think we'll be fine. Alright, this should be enough. I need as much space as possible just to be a loot whore. <laughs> so here's your character. You can actually change out characters, which I don't have any other characters. I don't know exactly how to get more characters. And you can play with your friends. So yeah. There's a lot of content for this game, boys. It's a lot of content, and if you if you don't have social anxiety like I do, and you want to play with other people, well, you can play with other people, have them carry your ass, yell at them when they make mistakes, of course. <laughs> See how it works. Confirm your operation. Enemy power, 2,500. Same exact power as the first one? Hmm. Oh, well. All right. Commander of Outpost 11, Faye Pratt. Source That's me. Authorization granted. Thanks. All right, we're moving up. <clears throat> Getting in tomorrow. You know, Vanguard edition is something I should get. So, from what I see from Vanguard is that it just adds a little bit more stuff to your inventory. So, like, blueprints and all that stuff. I don't think it's necessary. I just bought the $25 one. I was like, ah, fuck it, dude. I don't want to buy a Vanguard. But, yeah, they just add a little stuff to the game where you don't have to grind as much. Did this launch day? It did. Dude, it was a surprise launch. I was like, what? How the fuck, dude? I was looking at this game for a while. <laughs> And I was like, it just came out of nowhere. So here's the map. 
This is the overworld map. We choose where we want to go. It consumes power. You start off with the power in the top left corner, as you can see here. Uh, my camera's actually blocking something. It says 158. 158 out of 158. And of course, materials. Materials used to build towers during the middle of a match, just in case you need extra defense early on. So yes, you consume power to move around the map to get resources. And then once you're out of power, you go back to the main base. And then you push shut uh, stuff into the extraction zone. And then you have to you have to defend for a relatively long time while ships come down and extract with your resources. So yes, so just let's say you go down real quick and then grab like a basic tool and you only want to bring that basic tool out of the map. All right, basic tool is probably going to take like 10 seconds. Well, your defense is going to last 10 seconds and you leave. Uh, me being a loot war, I max out the time. I've been waiting for this. I, I think it's worth it. Again, ignore the story. Give it time. Play the game for at least, I know it's suspicious when I say this, play the game for at least two to three hours and you'll start to get to the enjoyment part. The tutorial, in my opinion, fucking suck. The introduction, also fucking suck. <laughs> but go past that, it becomes more fun because you start under, uh, understanding mechanics of the game. Map RNG, I think there's map RNG in the game. I'm not too particularly sure. We can actually look through each basic material zen modules i'm looking for oh i drop for valuable if you want to make money you want to go to the left though because we need to do a mission first um i'm looking for a better weapon like weapon drops module drops like weapon mods so i can actually buff my character all right we'll go here since that's where the mission is Aiming bearable? You, yeah, you have to. Like, the sensitivity of this game is absolutely insane. But then again, I have high DPI on my mouse, too. So, I don't think this game is, like, balanced between DPI. Gotta do it yourself. Alright, time to go. I still don't know what ore does. This is the same exact map as last time? It is not. Alright, swapping the Zen. So here's the looting part. Could be a little bit boring. It depends on how you want to play the game. Uh, me being a looter, I love it. I love looting. I love going around, picking up random shit. And seeing that it works. I don't even know what this does. So I just tend to ignore it. The electric orb. Basic material. We're bringing that back. I'm looking for crates in particular. You want crates. Did I ever pick up that Zen? This is minimally increased the damage of cryo element. Eh, I don't have any cryo stuff. I'm not really uh, worried. You know, I forgot that I have like... Um, What's that thing called? Abilities. There are abilities for your character. This character in particular can have infinite uh, ammo for a short duration of time. Which I guess is worth using during a raid. I guess. Or defending a raid. Where's all the goodies? Maybe the blueprints in here. Oh, care package. Fucking ammo. Alright. It's just fucking him. I don't know what the thing is. I, I don't know what it does. Am I supposed to bring it up there? I feel like I'm supposed to bring it up there. Scrap metal. Some goody goods. There is a box up here. I'm pretty sure there is. Oh, there's actually ammo inside that you can loot. Nice. Ammo is actually an item that you do want to stack up to because it's for your gun. There's an ammo economy in this game. Not similar to like Metro, obviously. Fuck. Uh, I can't jump that now. There we go. Okay, you can bolt. Thank God. There's a box up here with probably a box of goodies. I hope. I mean, last time I climbed this tower, there's a box of goodies at the top. Also, there's no fall damage. There it is. Gear chest. I got a vest. It's an upgraded vest. It gives defense and it gives you plus nine armor. What the fuck is the difference between armor and defense? Check. <laughs> What's the difference between an armor and a chest? <laughs> in defense. Wait, no, idiot. Don't get it back. I don't even want to sell this. It's fucking 50 gold. Who gives a shit? Scrap metal. Nice. Control turret. Did somebody call for a big boy gun? Hell yeah. There's too bad there's no enemy spawns in this first map. Unlucky. Oh, hey, there's a little uh, mechanized, whatever the fuck the thing is called there. That we loot for a potential lockpick. We need lockpicks. All the good stuff is behind lockpicks. 
Arachnon, what's up, dude? I hear you've already got those things from Vanguard. Uh, exclusive outpost component blueprint. Type 30 CIWS unlocked with the CIWS research. Exclusive outpost component blueprint. Viper chain gun. Dude, the Viper chain gun sounds like it's so badass. Can you not find that in this game? Because you find blueprints for doing missions. You, you'll find blueprints. So I assume that just makes the game a lot easier if you buy the uh, Vanguard. Uh, if you, again, that's something that's up to you. Is it worth it? No, you, you want to spend the extra ten dollars to support the company? Be my fucking guest. I don't give a shit. Uh, I'm broke as fuck, so I'm just gonna go with twenty five dollars. <laughs> uh, that, that just sounds like um easier access to meta progression. That's already available that you can pick up later, right? Like the thirty mis. That's a that's an auto cannon, I believe. The hell did I just pick up there? I don't remember. Can't upgrade to this if we already bought the base head. Uh, they can probably, like, change it later. If you have enough people complaining about it, I guess. Oh, there's a detector right there. We're gonna utilize that. I don't think there's anything else here to loot. Normally, these crates don't really have any. You want to check cars. Ch cars do have goodies. But we don't see any cars here. Oh, there's a tent. Stuff in there. Let's pick up a couple more. Why not? Absolutely worth it, by the way. Yo, what's up, Odie Joker? What's up, bro? Come on in. Hello. It's by a $25 game broken and there's a there is broke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. $25 or $35. I'm broke, man. I can't be buying I can't be buying this $35. You know what I can do with the $10? It's like two ramen pox packs. $10, that's a free meal for McDonald's. I don't even eat McDonald's anymore. Oh, valuable's nice. Plant sample? About to fetch a high price? Yes, yes, good, good, good. I'm liking this game a lot. I highly recommend it to anyone. Again, you do have to like extraction. You have to like grinding to like the game. And you can also use power. What does this give? Uh, extra Titan Spike. Who gives a fuck about that? That's a waste of power. Dear Uncle Mike, as I write this, I'm seated inside a rescue transport finding art to even keep my pen stable. A moment ago, Atos fired upon me. Uh, I'm trying to read this puzzle, see if there's a puzzle that gives me loot, but it doesn't look like it does. Oh, hey. What the fuck? What? 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 What is this hitbox? <laughs> I'm just looking at the body, bro. <laughs> What's that hitbox, bro? Come on. You trying to make me use my power on accident? You thought you, you, you trying to make me use power on the body? For a shitty spike? You can't get the tax deduction for game bots within your Twitch work account? I can. Of course I can. Already, well, my tax deduction is already maxed out because of food. <laughs> oh shit, you guys live, live expense. I survived two weeks with $10 if I cook home lol. I cook home. I cook at home. I, I, do, I do cook at home. Every time I go to Costco, I buy like $300 worth of grocery a month. This is like the cheapest way to get it. Everywhere else is expensive as fuck here. I live in Kansas, so we get taxed more too. Alright, so everything that you loot, you put in here. Well, let's bring in a detector. We might need it. You want to put it in a valuable spot. Alright, regular recovery. And then you wait. You wait a little bit, you wait for it to go up there. And once it's done, you leave. This is the part where you defend against enemies that uh, detects that you're here. So whenever you recover, it makes a loud noise. And it, if there's any enemy towards the map, uh, they come towards you. Are my uh, turrets fully uh, ammo I capacity yet? the defense is how often you get it versus armor being how much damage you take. Oh, oh, no, no, the ar ar yeah, armor's the HP. Yeah, you're right. You're right, right. No, you're absolutely correct. Okay, good call. Extra container. Limited time amp. At the start of each exploration day, gain a buff that increases attack by 5 points for 10 stack. Decreases by 1 stack every 30 seconds. Ugh, ugh, ugh. I'm not that fast. I need more movement speed. I'm gonna go with extra container. So there's like a roguelike process, too. So I think... Do we ever got the blueprint? I don't think we ever got the blueprint. Valuables, Zen. More Zen? Uh, yeah, okay, fine. Not sensitive makes me sick. It's like warping. Sorry. Yeah, I need to turn it down more. Give me a second. I'm going to turn it down more. 
You can select your units and right click them to move around like you're playing StarCraft 2 in a commander mode. Dude, that is so lit. I can't wait to have like extra squad members to bring along. What the fuck is going on here? Anywho. I'm gonna go with 0 0.35. I'm trying to get 3.5. Dude, this, this thing is so ass. 0.33. All right, maybe this is better. Uh, I think this is better. It feels slow. Is this better? I like moving fast because I like to turn around fast. Sorry, whenever I play FPS, I get I have really high sensitivity. So I apologize. It's a me issue, not you. It's me. It's not you. It's me. My ammo. You can also use power to destroy these wreckers to get more like um more materials for your base building. We want a base build of this. I want to try to avoid combat. I don't really want to fight. It's a waste of bullets. Especially like these heavier armor targets right there. With guns. They have guns. Oh my god. Uh, just scouting real quick. There's a building over there that we can probably loot. It's a very tiny building. This is way too low sensitivity. We're going to probably bump this up to like maybe 45. Yeah, there it is. Five for you. Five there too. Okay, that's a lot better. Who the fuck are they? Wait, who are those guys? Allies? Enemies? Looks like enemies. <laughs> the AI in this game is so horrible. The enemy AI in this game is horrible. They're trying to blast me. Their fucking beef is shit, shit though. Gotta wish I had a grenade. I do have a grenade. These guys are taking a lot of bullets. This is probably why I want an upgrade for my weapon. <laughs> He's just staring at me funny, bro. <laughs> bro, they have a gun. They don't use it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I gotta get closer. Yeah, get me closer. I, I gotta shoot him with my gun. Yeah, get me some closer. Just, I can't fucking unlock it. That's unlucky. Don't tell me that's a blueprint, though. Please don't tell me that's a blueprint. Nothing that's lootable inside. Unlucky. Cryo barrel. It's gonna bring the seal out. Nice metal scrap. I fucking missed. <laughs> I fucking missed. Need more ammo. That is why ammo is extremely valuable for currency, because you kind of expend them extremely quickly. We need weapon mods. We need better weapons. Just anything that increases my bullet efficiency, if possible. Death by stare. Death by snoo snoo. Snoo snoo stare. <clears throat> How can you even play this beat? That's unhuman? Uh, I mean, do you think I'm human? I thought I was a bot, bro. I am the ultimate bot after all. Mr. Destructoid. Donald Price are like 5 kilogram beef here. Day I've just realized third world country benefits. <laughs> uh, I don't like eating fast food here, dude. I fucking hate it. I try not to. I try not to eat fast food, bro. It's so expensive. It's not worth it at all. For me, fulfillment is worth it. And most of the time, whenever I eat at McDonald's, it's never worth it. <laughs> Uh, do I use one of those, uh, detectors? What is that? Oh, what the fuck? What a well-hidden Zen booster. Pinprick. That increases light strike. And piercing. 
I don't know what piercing is, but it is what it is, I guess. Ooh. Metal slab. Something to slap people across the face with whenever I get pissed off enough. It's a melee weapon, right? She's using like a little, some kind of little fan. Sharp fan. Oh. Oh! Alright, boys. This is it right here. This is it. Weapon crate. Come on. Come on. A fucking grip. God damn it. <laughs> Another fucking grip. Sorry. I have so many of these grips already. This does give me one extra damage. Whoop de doo. Oh, I thought I lost the other one. Uh, I don't know if two tiles for 10 gold is worth it. Eh, whatever. I have plenty of space. I'll just sell it when I come back. I'll drop it when there's like something more valuable I found. Uh, that I find, I guess. What a shit crate, dude. What is something more valuable? I, uh, you can destroy a shelf. Interesting. Yeah, I see the blueprint. I'll come back for it later. I'm being a loot whore, goddammit. Let me be a loot whore. Don't ruin my fun for me. Oh, hey. I feel like some of the items need to be highlighted because it's really hard to see them. <laughs> the illumination. See, like a vintage comic, bro. What the, what the fuck was that? That was so random. Oh, hey, ammunition. Hell yeah. Got more bullet. Well, the bullet economy. So I say some more blood extracts? Duffel bag. Like, you can't loot? What do you mean? How does a grip increase damage? Because you use it as a fucking punching thing. It's like brass knuckle, bro. Duh. Did you, did you learn this in gun school? You punch with it. You punch with the grip. <laughs> no, I'm, really, I'm really liking the fact that there's like stat boosters for like uh, these modifications. It's kind of nice. I'm just hoping I can find like a blue version. I think blue version is better. Yeet. My perception skill is horrible, so I, I gotta look closely, all right? Leave me alone. All right, got our mission item. We can probably just leave, but we wanna, you know, consume, we, we, have, we have a lot of power. So we can explore and try to look for uh, more goodies to loot. All right, well, we're done here. This is the most random ass store. Who the fuck puts a store with an entrance facing a rock? Who does this? Are you joking? Shop. <laughs> the main entrance is no whatever. I don't. I'm not even gonna question archetype, architect. I, I I'm not good at architect myself. It's fine. Hidden entrance because it's exclusive. <laughs> Squeeze the shit out of the gun so he shoots hard and so deals more damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about physics. You grip strength, right? <laughs> yummy, yummy loot. Uh, did I not find myself another item detector? I thought I did. Huh. It did kind of use a lot of bullets. Wait, can we swap a, swap out bullets? Oh, it's a two out of ten. There's a charge. Nice. Uh, keep the ammo. Yeah, keep the ammo. Alright, recover. We're done. I already killed everything on the map. I don't think enemies respawn. Still don't know exactly what ore does. Only <laughs> actions benefit entry. <laughs> Literally hold left click and select all enemies. And jump. Oh man, that's nice. Thanks for telling me that. I'm gonna try to remember that. Oh, gotta scratch my foot. Give me a second. Off for work. See you later, Ragnar. Hope you see, uh, stream this a lot. I'm definitely streaming this tomorrow. Definitely stream it tomorrow. Increase the backpack space of all combat operative of this tour. <gasps> I can be more of a goddamn loot whore. Yes! 61 power for this fucking place? What does it give? Advanced building materials. MG turret barrel. Gear. High drop rate for gear. What about this bottom one? All right. This fucking, there's, there's a school. Apparently the school has all the good shit. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> How, big, how, how much bigger is my um, backpack slash, or size now? Okay, we do have ad break. I need to get more water, I think. Yeah, we got to get more water. But we do have ad break, so we're going to take a little breaky break. 
like we normally do. So give me three minutes. Uh, Gonna use the restroom, get some water. Uh, otherwise, be right back, guys. You do the same. Hydrate yourself or do something. I don't know. Fucking do something useful, goddammit. Or pay your pennies. Be right back. <clears throat> You guys taste that? It tastes like democracy. Letting democracy one turret at a time. I want a Goliath. In the beginning of the mission, they actually spawned like some kind of mech. I want that mech. I want to ride a mech and I want to blast enemy with that mech. It looks so cool. Even the inside of the mech look cool. Oh, there's like a common action thing. Oh, excuse me. Backpack is for B. Command mode M. Melee is V. There's the imbue Q thing. I still don't have gear skill. So there's like apparently like unique gears in this game that gives you a skill too. All right, welcome back everybody. If you enjoyed the ad break. Remember, guys, buy a Toyota. Still prefer my Honda Accord, though. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Why did he tell me to don't touch the ground? Rain will lead to. What, what did it say? I didn't get to read that. Of course it didn't. That's a lot of enemies. Uh, it's a good thing you have bullets. Not to worry about durability either. All right, uh, I guess when you move, I'm not I'm not taking damage from any sources, so I, I think we'll be fine. Mm. Nothing down there. Car? Nothing inside the car? Unlock you. All right, what building do we need to loot here? Uh, it's definitely not this one, but this looks kind of cool. Some kind of hydroponic, I guess. No, hydroponic, sorry. Hydraulics. Wait, do I do the same amount of damage with my blue skill? No, you just shoot faster. It looks like you just shoot a lot faster instead. I think you want a hard-hitting skill for the armor version, because I believe they take a percentage of damage? Wait, that would mean you want to do lower damage then. I actually don't know. Sector clear. No, 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 no! We don't want to waste power. How goes the game? Is it worth purchasing? Fuck yes. Yes, it is. I, I like it a lot. 
Really good, solid gameplay, shit story, but solid ass gameplay. It's an extraction tower defense, FPS. Storm ended. Time to loot. Is that the school that we're looking at right there? That is the school. What do we want to go covered ops? It's a little bit too late. Oh. Okay, I was, I was expecting something from this, but I guess not. <laughs> Nothing inside. Yeah, I highly recommend this game so far. 25 bucks. You want to otherwise purchase better hardware for- Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Get better hardware. No, don't, don't, no, it's, it's not my fault. I mean, the game works fine. I'm streaming the game on some medium-ish graphics. It does lag a little bit from time to time, but <laughs> the, game, the game runs absolutely fine. But it, it is pretty hard on your hardware. I mean, what kind of what, what kind of like uh, computer are you running here? Is so, like a Raspberry Pi for it? Nah, dude, you run it on a Game Boy. You need at least Game Boy edition. Sorry, limited edition Game Boy. Yeah, we just ignore those get guys. A big fat in the ass. <laughs> uh, any bad dong lovers? Okay, the rest of them didn't realize I was there. Good. Uh, in we go. It's time for the goodies, boys. Let there be loot. You got any loot? Nothing. Am I supposed to look for a blueprint here? No, I'm supposed to look for an alloy component. Hello. <clears> hmm. <throat> Typically speaking, I think both of the boxes are on the ground. So I gotta look on the ground too. Oh, hey. <laughs> uh, good thing I looked on the ground, I guess. Polymers! Good old polymers. Oh, God, dude. You know what it feels like a heartache whenever I look at polymers? Fucking, uh, what's that game called? Uh, Surviving Mars. Good old polymers and Surviving Mars. One of the hardest resources to obtain. Paul World is looking sick. That assault rifle is great. Where's Gamos Toe? <laughs> so pizzy brick. You bastard. Do not spread your uh conspiracies and your blasphemous love for Gumas. When we have a crevice. Actually this game doesn't have any crevice. And I guess like, the ground is technically Gumas, it's dirt. It belongs in the dirt. High tech weaponry, check. Gumas, not check. Bastard. All that clanking outside is giving me the creeps. Every time I hear a clank, I just think that they're, just, they're trying to break in. They're trying to get in. They're trying to get me. I don't want to fight when I don't need to. Waste of bullets. Or I can just let my auto cannons do the damage because they do a lot more damage than I do. I tend to be hard on my heart. Uh, I tend to be hard on your hardware. Is that where the hard comes from? Get that boater back inside. Stop it. Get help. Jump puzzle. Jump puzzle. I almost failed the jump puzzle. <laughs> Hello. Where are all the goodies at, man? There's no goodies. The school sucks. It's supposed to have high good, uh, high tier shit. Don't tell me it's in the bathroom. I expect nothing less. <laughs> I uh, probably should stop looking inside the toilet. I don't know, man. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Oh, we can use power. <sighs> chat! Chat! Be real honest with me here. Is it worth using the power to open this door? Do do we RNG please here? Can you can we get a bless RNG? I might actually use the power. On the way back, that is. Not gonna use it yet. Let's find some goodies in there that I can utilize the power for. Why not? Do I have the space? Hell yeah, I do. There it is. The Zen chat. Oh, I've never seen that color before. Continuous fire beam that slowly increases in power. Holy shit. Yo, that sounds awesome. Um. Hmm. Oh, baby. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah. Oh, power overwhelming, ain't it? Let's test on this big boy right here. There's a range. There's a range limit. There's a range limit. I, I can't touch him yet. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be fun. Oh, that's uh, that's such a fun gun build. All right, gear chest, gloves. Hey, I've been looking for a new pair of gloves. Gives me crit chance. 
Crit chance increase? Okay, there's stats, boys. Boys, the game just keep getting better. There's stats! Better stats on your gloves and shit! Excuse you. Wait, 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 we, we haven't opened the door yet. All right, guys. Bless, blessed be. Blessed be Gumos. Blessed be Kremis. Just bless me, please. Open fucking sesame, baby. What the hell is that? Pre-war beverage. Grants four stacks of abundant when uh, drunk. Increases max stamina by 20% and stamina regen by 35. Stacks up to five times. What the fuck, dude? Wait, how long? It just stacks. That's it. Wait, what? Am I supposed to just drink this? It doesn't give me like a timer. Jumping off walls to reach higher place and sliding is so fun. The movement is actually good in this game. I, I just wish they had a bit smoother gunplay. Yeah, same, dude. Wait, so you're saying that there's actual move tech? Oh. What is this shiny? It looks like a... Uh, is that a car battery? Don't tell me that's a car battery. But it's so shiny. Chat, it's so shiny. Look how shiny it is. I was expecting, like, a weapon compartment in here. Very unlucky. Alright. Try damage on the door? Oh, you can beat up any door. Well, th 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 this door had, like, 300,000 HP. Fuck that shit. Why would a space rifle have hard sights? No. Electronic component. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's that's high value right there. Stonks. No, this thing has ninety thousand HP. You telling me to melee this fucking door? That long? <laughs> this fucking dude, dude. Oh my god. Thing looks like it wants to move. I already did. That's the first thing I did when I saw a crash dummy. It does nothing. Some movement sack. Oh yeah. I noticed that when you slide and you there's physics so you can jump and slide and move faster that way. It works best when you're what the fuck? Wait. Hello? Wait. What? How did I do that? Bro, I just used a scanner! We had a scanner! Stop. Oh, hello. Okay, we got MG turret. Nice. There's our alloy component with a dead body next to it. Yo, I th I think he's feeling okay. Uh, he's a, he looks a little tad bit sick. Guys, I, th I think he's just looking a tad bit sick. Just, just a tad bit, right? Right? <laughs> Did this thing fall open or something? Yo, how big is that alloy component? Fucking two by four space, Jesus. Things thick, yeah. Oh, la mola. I don't, I don't think it looks so good. Got a ketchup ass in it. <laughs> Maybe ate a little bit too much tomatoes. Probably injecting a lot of MSG into his bloodstream. That's what happens when you have a lot of tomato flavored fucking uh, powdered goods, you know? Slap it in your bloodstream and whatnot. Uh, yeah, he's gonna suffer a little bit. But at least he died happy. You can drink water and get more stamina, stamina regen. Like just random water in the uh, outskirt. Yo, what's up? Quote me a player. Chokes had an eye on the game for a long time. It's so far, dude. It's, it's an extraction t uh, tower defense game. Really fucking fun. It's solid. Wait, is this just FPS stone shard? Inventory management. Stats on gear. Random loot. Yes. Let's go kill a troll, boys. Yes. Oh, oh there's more shit. Wait, dude, they hide stuff underneath the bed. I can't even reach it. Super conductive. What is that? Oh. Hello? Hello? Dude, you showed up like randomly. Come on. Come on! Come on. Oh, there it is. Uh, 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 oh. There we go. Alright, high explosive. Fuck yeah. Yes, it is, dude. Dude, this game is so good. God, I love looting. I don't know. I, 
I'm just a, I'm just a loot whore, all right? Uh, whenever I see something like this where we just have so much to work with, it just feels great. That extra backpack slot's helping a lot. But we need to get more backpack slots. We don't have enough. Uh, I should probably press F again because I still need that scanner to see what other loot that we're missing here. Uh, I don't think there's anything left in this uh, door. But it seems like we were missing out on a lot of loot <laughs> in our previous run. Fuck. All right, so I'm gonna stand here. I'm gonna wait for that timer to hit. Is it 20 seconds left? It's 20 seconds left. I'm gonna also use the item er, item detector too. Looks like FPS to me. Oh, you will get to the tower defense part soon. You have to set up your base uh, when you want to extract with all this loot. I'm pretty sure I've missed out on some stuff. If there was like random garbage underneath the bed, there, there's definitely stuff I missed out on. All right, it's back up. All right, okay. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. Okay, never mind. The hell? Wait, what? How did I get up there? I'm not, I'm not tall enough. Maybe this little air conditioner? Uh, no, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. There has to be a way up. <laughs> I'm a fire my laser. I'm a fire my laser. All right, well, I think they looted everything inside this building. We just got to figure out how to get up there. Oh, fuck me. Okay, okay, I thought I failed. Might be in the front building. I don't know yet. Was there, like, a way to get out through the front building? Let me double check. What about the back? Uh, back had no way to get up, maybe? Actually, there's a jump puzzle right there. Fuck. Wait, no. Oh, nice. Thank God for bolting. Okay, okay. Oh! Side rebound. Give me a second. Yeah. Where's my jet boost? I need a jet boost. Okay, I don't think we can get up here. Oh! Let's fucking go! I'm so good at this game. I'm a god. God gamer. Huh? Oh, okay. There it is. <laughs> Anything else? No, nah, that's it. That's everything. All right, we can extract now. Holy shit, dude, this modification is insane! It's what? Slippity slappity slew, I'm coming for you! Take you to the candy shop when you were young? God. And yes, you did. I mean, I have Asian parents, no fucking shit, Sherlock! Isn't that obvious? Mommy, can I buy it? Can I buy it? Give me, give me, I want it! That's why I don't have friends on the internet. <laughs> I'm too loud for them. Alright, boys. Regular recovery? Let's get it out of here. Defend the core tower for 25 seconds. There's your tower defense. And also, you go to the main command mission, and you can slap down more towers. Look at that. I don't have anything right now, so whatever. <laughs> I need bullets like those tomorrow. All right, an expiration. Now we gotta extract at the main base. Unlucky. To the tactical map. We have no more power. We can't move anywhere else. <gasps> Oh, oh, what is that? Upon recovery, gain 100, uh, gain e uh, gold equal to 100% of total value of all the materials in your storage. Some sweepers will gauntlet reapers, reavers? It will be gauntlet reavers. So, okay. So this is a high risk reward. Basically, you get money ba uh, based off of how much scrap you bring, you bring out. But some of the enemies will become sweepers. Now, for the attack up, support unit, it's a packed meal. That's a packed meal? You can put stuff in it? Cataphract? 30% HP. Oh, man. Do I want to attack up? I really want to go with greedier. I don't have that many towers. You know what? Fucking YOLO. 
YOLO boys, we going in. All in or go home. All right, uh, put this in. This is what we're gonna extract with. We have to defend for 400 seconds. So you can actually decrease the amount of time by just getting rid of stuff, right? Typically that'll work, so we're not at 400 seconds. Estimated time for recovery is 184, up to 400 seconds. So put it all, we're at 304 seconds. All right. Is there anything else I need to extract with? Oh my god, my medical storage. I have bugged it out. Maybe I should have kept it there. I think you lose it. I'm pretty sure you lose it. Yeah, that's not worth it. Um, all right. Let's go. Call in the fleet. Heading for the target area. Be prepared. Why was there an MG turret barrel inside of a building that looks like a school? Yeah, you gotta protect them kids somehow, right? Scan again. Peter Glutton made his dick fly out. You sure did. Or I sure did. Or call it too, let's go. <laughs> Put your garage dummy. Let's see. Yeah, that's moving tech. I gotta I gotta try off the uh, try out the slide across walls. Oh, it's the same exact base. Okay. I think we get free goodie uh base deter uh free base stuff too. Wait, what, what's this move tech about sliding off walls? I know you can jump off walls. I like the fact that you can jump off walls. You climb. You get a second booster whenever you're looking at a wall. This is the move tech. You basically slide to go faster and you jump. Yeah, you want to slide jump to animation cancel. All right, we got two small artillery formation. So... Let's get turn this over towards the combat zone. One there. Can I build another one? Oh, yeah, it costs money. Never mind. We're just going to have to wait a little bit. Oh, hey, is this lootable? Oh, hello. More ammo. Thank you very kindly. This building's not enterable. There's a building in the back that you need a key card to get in. So I'm pretty sure there's loot in there. I'm looking for these, like, recycled mechs. Let's see if we can get some consumables, like lockpicks. I got one from a uh, random mech on the ground before. Hopefully there's another. Are they just random spawn? They look like random spawn. <clears throat> yeah, they're random spawn. I want artillery so bad. I want I want to get artillery, but that's gonna be like late game tech. Can I move this? I cannot move it. It's Promethean Core. Combat Miner. Uh machine gun turret. Which we'll lose all of this soon. Once you lose a combat miner, you won't get any more resources. But we have a couple more to make some smart stake walls. These are basically taunt walls. They'll focus the walls first. Combat station, boys! It'd be pretty boring if it was all the same. If it was the same exact uh, defense, probably. You go up the difficulty, you have to progress through the story to make it harder for yourself. Why did I blow it up the thing? Oh, I, I guess you can't really use the laser to blow up the barrels. Unlucky. Um, uh, that's very unlucky. <laughs> uh, give me a second. <laughs> Fuck, I love it. They can't cause up chain reactions. What's this thing shooting with? It says it's the combat miner. What's so combat about it? Uh oh. Yoink. doing work um can I even delete buildings I don't think you can isn't it V to delete no it's not that's a different game <laughs> you'll get his barrel oh 
Shoot the barrel! It's going through the barrel! Or is it because of the bullet drop? Never mind. Let's make the suit. Oh, hello. <laughs> Seems like my bullet, uh, my bear, uh, sorry, my fucking tower's out of bullets. I'm gonna have to fall back. I wish it like hot bars for consumables. I'm surprised this game doesn't have hot bars for consumables. Should be able to place down another MG turret. Combat mood activated. Gotta love home construction, hey man. Everything's there at Home Depot. You wanna buy a turret? You go to Home Depot. Am I playing on low graphics? Yes, because my computer's ass. Sorry. You know, I can actually bump up the graphics a bit. My, my CPU is only at 69%. I'm kind of surprised that my graphics is better. I wanna go with medium. Let's go with medium here. Post processing quality, then go medium. Animation quality, medium. Let's put everything to medium, see how that goes. It, lo it looks good so far. Okay, it looks a lot better compared to normal. Is that better, guys? Sucks about the thing, the only thing that sucks about this weapon is that it has limited range. We're getting a thermal paste tomorrow, anyways. Can't wait to put thermal paste on my PC. <laughs> uh, so much better, so much better to look at. Glad to see it. Oh fuck, they have artillery. Wait, there's an artillery bot. Holy shit! Oh god, I don't have anything to fight him with. Level up. Where's my grenades? Where's my grenade? There it is. All right, grenade out. Uh, he didn't even fucking do an animation. He didn't do anything. Oh boy! Oh god, boys! Oh god, we're getting overwhelmed. I think that green was not worth it. Moshi mosh. Need to swap over to kinetic. How's bullets doing so far? We're almost done, we're almost done. 26 seconds. My turrets are running out of ammo. They're running out of ammo. I think what you want to do is try to save at least 20 power for the final, um, for the final wave, by the way. You need power to craft ammo for your turrets. How much ammo do we have? Yeah, I use it all. Shit. There's there's goodies? What what do you mean there's goodies? There's no fucking good Enemies can drop Lou What They drop tech points are you joking? Oh, oopsie. Yeah, we do. I haven't been attacked boy. It's wrong. He's having fun dancing over there. He gained knowledge. I sure did. We won. Let's get out of here. My tech point. Aircraft arriving in the We only picked a tech point. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! How many tech point is that? Boys, you got four tech point out of this run. Oh, uh, time to get out on out of here then. There's your tech point. Yeah, there it was. Fucking four tech point, dude. I would have had more if I knew to drop tech from killing. So I think it is absolutely worth killing everything on the map for a chance of tech point. I think. What a great game. I'm enjoying this a lot. Highly recommend to buy uh, $25 if you like looter shooters. With a little bit of tower defense mod. 
I just want to see what kind of like outpost I can build here. Good job, Faye. Actor Sactical Fried Rice. <laughs> Oh. You don't like looters with the shooters? Hey, man, I can't be having that 18 plus shit on my stream, unfortunately. Unluckily. Hmm. Alright. 40,000. Let's go. Got a blueprint. Let's see what blueprint does. You have just broken the recovery record. Babe. Yes, sir, I did. Okay, where to proceed? Okay, material count. Got 607 gold. I'm fucking rich. Uh? I'm putting together a relief mission as we speak. Oh. Report to the command division as soon as you can. Command yes, division. Is that the next mission here? ANSI radial commission. Uh, enter the command division. Okay. Where's that? Logistic division. Where is the command division? That's defense division. Where the fuck is it? Can I not rotate? Oh, shit. Dude, there's a quick screen. Bro, there's a quick screen. I didn't know there's a quick street. All right, well we got lock picks. Resource storage capacity plus forty seems like you can put the whole world in there. Oh, okay, cool. I don't know what that means. Oh no, that's just more like storage capacity for resources. Nice. Core output plus ten accelerate the cooling of Zen and generates power with amplification batteries to increase core output. It will turn a vintage car into a racing car. Where's TFR and who are you? Well, I'm building a base, technically speaking. You can you can optimize your uh your 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 outposts. See, so build outposts right there. You can customize it. Base warehouse, squad management. Where's my goods? Yes, yes. My stockpile grows, boys. Somebody said that there's a slider. Well, there's a slider right there to the right. Uh, pretty sure there's limited. It's it's very limited here. What else is there? Squad management, which we haven't really picked up anybody new. It's just fucking Faye. I haven't been able to pick anyone new, at least. But we got new tech points. Okay. I forgot about my Z! I keep forgetting about my skills. I keep forgetting about it. Stop attacking, you idiot! Defense Division store gear and also responsible for security issues. Store items recovered during tours. Trade area, area open to all. Where is the command division? Intelligence Center? Logistics Division? Where the fuck do you want me to go? Enter the command division. What the fuck is a command division? I can't, I can't, like, rotate the map. This, this might be a translation error. I think it's the intelligence center. Pretty sure it is. It's not. Nightingale. Oh, hey, that's a dude that keeps talking to me. That won't shut up. Ever. 174. It's not the hangar, is it? 17. Huh? Okay, he's right outside the hangar. Commander Fay of Outpost 11 reporting in. Cutscene! Alright, that's everybody. Let's begin. As you know, the 3rd Division has been silent ever since they arrived at the border woodland to avoid detection by the Mechanos. Hmm? Recon elements have re-established communications as of two days ago. Outposts 2 and 6 have breached the enemy's containment. And are headed for the main base. I can see my we feet. <laughs> back from them in five days when they're expected to enter the windy desert. Outpost seven is going for. A I forgot. I don't care about the story. Of the border <laughs> for a scheduled recovery mission. I completely forgot. Anyways, uh, trading time. There's stuff to buy. Yeah. The need for green. Hey, lady, you got anything for sale? What do you got for sale, Monica? So you got. Broken missile, eighteen hundred gold. The cannon nexus too. Well, I don't have the technology for that shit yet. Oh man, more MG barrel. Oh, wait, I think they're out. Are they out? No, you can buy them. Oh, that's so expensive. I have the barrel. I think we just need a nexus and one more other component. I don't remember. Let me double check. Uh, yeah, we got two barrels. We got two barrels actually. Um. Is there crafting up here? Manufacture. Yeah, so we need blueprints. And I need turret nexus and I think the turret base, which he wasn't selling the turret base. Unlucky. What about research? There it is. Oh, no, we need blueprints, which we did pick up blueprints. So we need to go back to the research area. Research blueprints, two blue, uh, research blueprints left in border woodlands. Oh, no, you have to 
pick up that amount of research blueprints to get a Eureka, I think. All right, you want me in Nexus 4? I can't believe they just told me to sit around and twiddle my thumb. Well, it's better than twiddling your dick. Or you'd rather talk to the dick. I see. I really don't want to find out who that belonged to. The note says this appearance will increase the <laughs> chances of success. Cortana, is that you? <laughs> Perhaps. Please don't extend your arm like that. It's like you're trying to make love with the AI. Stop it. Bro, what is that outfit? What is that fucking outfit? I can see your belly button! What do you suggest? Don't she have the best model out of all the characters we looked at so far? Once I decode them, we'll learn about every enemy movement within the border woodland area. I can't believe I'm falling in love with an AI. Excellent. What should I do? Hubba hubba. No, no, this is Chinese. I will start a search query with the combat Skill dogs. points, Snoop. Tell me how to spend my skill points. I don't want to. Okay, fine. Did she say something? I was staring at something else. Did you say something that was important? <laughs> uh, Gain 50% damage reduction while skill is effect, that's all. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the bottom one. Let's see, what does this do again? Accelerate the cooling process of Zen in use. Oh yeah, that's pretty nice too. Wait, I don't have any skill cooldown. Uh, maybe plot armor? Stamina plus 15 or plus 20? I think that's worth it. We also want to get stamina regen. Which we need 20 more, 10 more points. Assist the AI connected to the base network. Um, I don't know if that's safe, guys. I think she might send out some nukes. I don't know, but she's kind of hot. All right, we'll just press the button for her. We'll do it for her. Request sent. Access denied. Optimizing bandwidth restrictions. <laughs> Warning, network intrusion detected. Origin has been traced to the command terminal of Outpost 11. Oh, what? see, I told you it was a bad idea. I regret to inform you that I have been blocked by a firewall. Search terminated. What's going on, Faye? <laughs> uh, I wanted to check the combat log. Get a better look on the current situation. So how did he teleport there so fast? The base's network, we began detecting thousands of commands being issued. Any thoughts on that? Guys, I can't skip. Guys, they uh, blocked my F-button. Dude, I can't skip! Commander Faye. Is that what we skip? What? So you and this thing were behind the attack just I broke then. my game. It's Guys, a little complicated. I broke the game. I pressed she escape and it broke it. Me. She's on our side. Yeah, sure. Don't that's what they all say. Forget. Steel was also originally created to protect mankind. Listen closely. My game broke. No matter how close <laughs> they get, AIs are not and never will be human. I don't know, she looks pretty human to me. Let her out. Let her cook. Certainly not some soulless AI who doesn't even have a name. Yo, that's rude. The name is Juliet. Oh my god. Cut the power to outpost Guys, she's becoming sentient. As for you, I'll deal with you later. Yes, sir. If that's what you want, didn't matter. Had AI sex. Oh, I can skip now. Hell yeah. Alright, check up with Juliet. Um, Juliet? Greetings, oh, she's... I apologize for the inappropriate... There's physics! There's check on physics! <laughs> Yo, this is some tech, boys! I didn't think you had the balls to put a boot up Levi's ass. That was quite a show. They want to keep an eye on you. So, the control... This way... The I won't let that happen. I appreciate... I do not see... Your abs also... All right. Dance for me. news from Outpost 7, Levi? Bad news, I'm afraid. We've lost contact with Outpost 7. His so transponder has been pinging the same location for 36 hours now. We're expecting the worst. The Yo, last known location for the transport is located within the Dagger Canyon, near the border woodland. You're to locate the downed airlift. I will send Bruce to help you out. I can handle it myself, Levi. No, I... you'll be heading in blind. <clears throat> You're gonna need the support. 
Bruce has been in charge of Outpost 1 in my stead for a long time. These guys aren't gonna... Anyone's gonna make sure you come back. If I'm trying to talk, fuck up! Him. He's oh. already scouting out the area. Come when you're ready. Okay. So, uh... These guys are not gonna question the fact I'm talking to an a, a very sexy... Uh, they, they don't see the sexy AI, do they? Also, I noticed something. Look at the male armor. His body plate, like, in front of his chest. Look at the female armor. I like her model. <laughs> I like it. Where am I supposed to go? Uh, talk to Levi to start the mission. Yeah, I don't know where that is. Is that in the command center? I'm pretty sure it's in the command center. Pretty sure it's outside of the hangar again. It was not outside the hangar. Actually, the opposite. I think it's inside the, not the logistic division, intelligence center. Yeah, it was highlighted too. There you are. All right, rescue. Ready. So he gives you mission. We're going in. But oh, that was quick. Oh, ready to enter the battlefield. Be sure to pack enough supplies with you. All right. Uh, this is actually where we end the stream for today. Um, I'm gonna be playing more of this tomorrow. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to stream earlier tomorrow, so you play more of this tomorrow and play a longer stream for some Outpost Infinity Siege. What's this? This is a tower defense extract shooter. Shooter extractor, tower defense co-op multiplayer. Definitely check out the VOD. The latest skills. I really enjoy the game so far. I'm going to upload the VOD immediately after I end the stream. But we're going to catch the stream. Good night. I'll, 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 I'll see you guys tomorrow. I got I to gotta go exercise before I go to sleep here. So, actually, do we even have time to exercise? Yeah, I'm going to ride my bike today because my legs are fucked. I'm going to ride my bike a little bit. I'm going to try to. But yeah, so we're going to end the stream for today. We'll be, we're going to be playing more of this tomorrow. Uh, I'm liking this game a lot. I'm, I'm already addicted. It got me hooked. Story's still ass, though. I'm gonna try to skip the story. Fuck the story. <laughs> it's like playing an MMO. $25 on Steam or $35 if you want to go with the Vanguard pack. Otherwise, um, highly recommend the game so far. I really like it. Uh, just ignore the voice and then stare at boobies. That's all. All right? Definitely Poggies, though. It's me not letting us see the story? No, of course not. That's because the story is uh, it's, it's just eh. I, I just don't care much about it. It's one of those. Uh, but yeah, we'll play more of this tomorrow. And of course... If you guys like the stream, I really do appreciate it. If you give that, leave that a little follow or join the Discord to know when I go live again. Uh, you'll catch all my details there. Uh, otherwise, uh, hopefully you guys have a wonderful night. I appreciate all the follows from Mr. Morgan, Dan's Almighty, Fulcrum, Corrupted Fiend, Erethrothron. Uh Corrupted Fiend, I really appreciate the Twitch Prime, by the way. Welcome on in. Thank you so much. Also with you as well, Daniel Walsh with the eight months Prime. Uh, Pithy Moth with the two months resub. Ghosty Cake with the follow. Prophet did that with the follow. Mindfog Games with 500 bits, by the way. Late Night with the follow. Drug Sizzle with the follow as well. And CK Hawk with the 40 month sub, which was yesterday. But, anyways, hope you guys have a wonderful night. Thank you guys so much for uh, chilling about. And I think my Nightbot's done. The command's not working. Oh, there it is. There it is. Now it worked. All right. But we I would like to end the stream with a raid. So I'll catch you guys next time. Uh, join on the raid. Let's see here. I'm pretty sure I saw one of my friends streaming the game earlier. So I'm going to send her a raid. It's also Mr. Splodicat streaming the game at the same time. Yes, one of my friends is streaming the game right now. There's also Splodicat also playing Outpost Infinity Siege. But I'm going to give my uh, friend a little raid instead. She's a VTuber. She, her name is Velatrix. She plays a lot of looter shooters like these type of games. So I'm glad that she's checking out this game too. I'm not surprised that she's playing the game. Uh, so do give her a check out. Give her a follow. Very entertaining. Very good at these type of games. And awesome at the same time she's also a fox girl by the way she's an evil fox girl likes to rip people apart or some sort but yeah i'll catch you guys later enjoy on his raid if you want to check out some new streamers uh playing the same exact game otherwise catch you tez next time bye bye everyone much love and much appreciated like always and thank you guys so much for supporting the channel thank you we'll do a long stream of this game tomorrow so i'll catch you guys next time lots of grinding to do lots of story to skip and lots of ai's to stare at <laughs> Anybody else going once, going twice before I hit that little red button? Because I really gotta use rush. <laughs>